Nation Studios of Arizona, UFC on ABC4, Almeida versus Jarsenio Rosenstrike. We're going to react to the entire card with the M M A. Coffee. Wonderful, wonderful. Good morning. Welcome, MMA Holes, to the live stream. We're here for. Uh, Rosenstrike versus Almeida. 10, 11, 12. Oh, it's afternoon to some people, and who knows what time it is. Let me know in the chat what time it is. As we are here, we are live, and we are ready for some fights. We're ready for some carnage. I'm always pumped up for the UFC, and if you're pumped up, hit the like button because we're going to react to the entire card. We're going to bring you into the Dragon's Lair. We're going to hit the goalie goals. So beat up this like button, ground and pound it. As we are underway, I have a massive parlay, $5 to win $2,800. That's right. A six-legger. $5 to win $2,800. We made the bet last night. I got a bunch of bets on this card. If you'd like to play some bets, shameless plug, plug uh, mybookie.ag. The promo code is MMAHOLES for 100% match on your first deposit. Who's riding with me, baby? Wonderful, That's wonderful. right. Use our code MMAHOLES at mybookie.ag. Get 100% match on your first deposit. 100%. You know, I, I've heard 50% matches from actual UFC fighters like Covington's and Kamaru Uzman. We got 100% match. All right? So use that MyBookie promo and get the deals. Head rush, head rush, 20% off promo code MMAHOLES. There's a link in the description down below if you'd like to get yourself some head rush sheath underwear. They're actually live right now. So go on over to sheath underwear. Go over to the YouTube channel. They're live. They're streaming. I don't know why they're streaming. There's some fights on. But go live over there and uh, go over there and say hello from the MMA holes and uh, get yourself a pair of underwear. For 20% off, you can use promo code MMAHOLES. E S M M A H O L E S twenty percent off. Let me know ones in the chat if you want to raid real quick before the fights get going. Uh, CBDX.com. The promo code is M M A H O L E S. So go over to CBDX.com if you want to get high. Use promo code M M A H O L E S for twenty percent off. That's right, twenty percent off. You get a free gift on your first order. It must be twenty one plus or older to purchase. And if you want to watch E S uh, U F C, it's on ESPN Plus. Link in the description and live chat. Okay. My allergies. I woke up today and I don't know what I, I feel like I got hit by a truck. I don't know if anyone has allergies in the chat. I took myself I took a Zyrtac. I wanna I wanna just inject Zyrtac into my veins. I can't breathe. I put some eye drops in, but they still look bloodshot. I don't know what the hell is going on, but today was a rough one. Yesterday I was good, man. I was out there with the pollen. Doing some yard work, no problems. But today, I wake up, I'm like, ah, it's, it all hit me. Anyway, let's see what's going on over here. As I'm curious, is let's see, sheath underwear, are they still alive? We should go over there and, and mess with them a little bit. Uh-oh, we got a do-no. Yeah, come on. Get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. Dodo time. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the Early dodo. MMA, MMA holes in, in the, the crowd. crowd. Yeah. MMA holes in the crowd. MMA holes in the crowd. We got a top fucking dog right off the bat. Randy Rhodes told me to tell you you're doing a damn good job. <laughs> Thanks, Moss. Thank you so much. 206. 206 sexy 6 coming in with the 
donation, a $6 donation, and that makes you the top fucking dog, baby. Yeah. Come on. Thank you so much for the kind words and being so wonderful, wonderful over there. I'm going to let the dogs out right now. They need to go to the bathroom. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, do your business. Do your business. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Thank you, 206. That was very nice of you. Opening up the show with the dono. Wow. Ah, oh, super chat. D Man dropping deuces. S S S S S S Super Chat. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so Sheath is live. So before we get into the Jessica Rose Clark fight, you guys want how you doing, Jeff? What's going on? Uh Jeff Champion said, Let's go. Thank you very much, Jeff. You are a champion. You're an orange belt. Congrats. Congrats, Jeff. My name is Yeah. Here's Sheath. They're live. No. DJ. Sued yet, Mr. Clinton. I think you're in the clear. All right, guys. Okay. Let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, Sheath Underwear. Ooh. Sheath Underwear is fantastic. They make you feel good right downtown where it matters. <laughs> yes. Right. You got two pouches there. You put a twig in there. Okay, Sheath is live. Hop into live chat. One of our sponsors, Sheath Underwear, and go, MMA Hole says Sheath is wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But go into live chat and say, MMA Holes, MMA Holes say Sheath is wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, hop on over. Sheath underwear. I dropped a link in the live chat. We're gonna open up the stream with a little raid action over here. Go shout out. Go over to Sheath underwear. Show them some love. Here we go. There they are. The MMA holes. They're already making their move. Whoa! What the fuck? What the? What are they playing? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can play that. But anyway, yeah. Go give Sheath some love over here. Drop in the live chat, ladies and gentlemen. Raid! 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 Morning, morning raid! Morning raid! Let's go! Raid! That's Rob in the top right corner. Yeah, it doesn't really look like Bill Clinton. Definitely looks like Paul McCartney. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Raid! Nobody. Dropping the link in the chat. Dropping the link in the chat. Go give a little raid action. Sheath underwear. If you're going commando, you're chafing. Actually, get, let me give my like too. Skin on skin contact at times. There you go. It starts. It gets like sticky and sweaty and hot. You're Rob. Something else, but he is something else. Pouch from your inner thighs. There we go. Here we go. Slowly trickling in. The morning raids are a little slower than usual these days. Here we go. They're coming in. They're coming in. If we're talking about attack. 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 Get an iceberg pair. And you would film yourself doing an ice. All right, hit the like, for a attack. Of Thirty seconds. We'd really like to see five minutes, just because that's you get the most benefit out of it. Um, and we're gonna be picking a winner. Matt said, I think in about a month for the thousand dollars. So I guess they're doing a giveaway too over there. So look at that free underwear. So you got in a chance. The iceberg pair, guys. In the iceberg pair. Someone said we're getting up. raided, which means like some viewers are coming from another channel. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I see. Oh, I do. They're coming from MMA holes. They must be. What's up, MMA holes? <laughs> Shout out to Chris, yeah. Chris and Jesse. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, see, the raid is coming in. The raid is coming in. They are doing a live stream over at, uh, 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 you know, talking about the fights that are going oh, on nice. right now. Oh, yeah. Let's go, MMA holes. All right. There MMA. we go. There we go. I have a question. Of, like, who do they got on the fight? Because I don't even know who's fighting. Bish. Tell them yeah. your picks in the chat. Tell them the picks in the chat. All right, all right. Shout out to Sheath Underwear. You know the deal. MMA H O L E S for the discount. Okay, we're gonna open up the stream over here. Man, nonstop excitement. <laughs> nonstop excitement. 
All right, so right off the bat, I could be miserable because I have a bet on this fight. I can't even believe I bet on Jessica Rose Clark. I never thought I'd ever do that. I I like Jessica Rose Clark. I think she's the prettiest girl in the on the UFC roster. Um, but she's not very good. She hasn't been doing very well. Um, but I got to say, the parlay starts with this as well. So Jessica Rose Clark, if she loses this fight against Lisboa, who I did my research, and yeah, she's you know she's got a couple of wins here, but she hasn't really fought anyone um, notable or worthy to be in the UFC. If Jessica loses this fight, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna rage. Uh, I'm simping for this. Good luck. Well, listen, the formula is in play. I showed you this girl is on a three fight win streak and she fought girls with like a combined win of two, maybe, maybe one win, like one in five. And like these girls that she's fighting were just cans. If Jessica, if Jessica loses this fight, she does not belong in the UFC. She doesn't. She doesn't. So check it out. If you want to try to get the bet in, I don't recommend it because it's Jessica Rose Clark. But still, I feel pretty confident. I feel pretty confident about this one. So we have a solo bet on it, and we we start the parlay. So the parlay could explode right now. It could explode right now, and uh, I'm a little. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried. <laughs> the five dollars to two thousand eight hundred. I'm not even kidding. I'll show you the betting slip over here. Five dollars for two thousand eight hundred. Jessica Rose Clark is one of six. On that parlay, so we could we could have a complete meltdown from the beginning, or this could start the most epicness. Two thousand eight hundred seventy nine dollars is what I could win for five bucks. I kid you not. Check it out right over here. Oh, that's not it. That's that's Jessica's single bet. And where are you? Do 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 do. There it is. $2,879. My God. Dude, that'd be nuts. Right over here. That would be $5 for two. <laughs> so the, the people that are on the bet, <coughs> we got Anthony Smith. Okay. We have uh, uh, Daniel Rodriguez. We have Matt Brown. We have Poteria. We have Chase Sherman, which, oh my God, I can't even believe it. I never thought I'd bet on him. And uh, Jessica Rose Clark. There it is. So if you want to get on the massive super duper uber parlay at mybookie.ag, use promo code MMAHOLES and you get a 100% match on your first deposit. So a 100% match and you have a chance to win 2,800. <laughs> uh, you know, 2,807. Yeah. We, I, listen, we're rolling. We're rolling the dice. Now, if that doesn't work, that's fine. It's only a $5 bet. Um, we have a bunch of bets throughout the card. Actually, all those people in our parlay, we bet solo on as well. So, you know, the goal is always to either make your money back or plus money. You don't want to be in the red. That's what you don't want to be. So we have some fun bets. And here is the sheath underwear. Tail of the tape. Clark, 5'5". Five, five. Lisboa is five foot six. 135 is the weight for Clark and under championship weight. 134 is Lisboa. Lisboa age 32, Clark 35. 64 inch reach for Clark, 67 inch reach for Lisboa. Uh, extra reach for her, orthodox. Both fighters stand. Lisboa. Hmm, let's see, what the heck? I don't like that the, uh, the bottom is cut off. Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, hold on. There we go. I'll change this. There we go. That should work. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. I can't breathe. I can't breathe through my nostrils. $400 on Lisboa, and I don't like to bet on women, but why not? Well, 400 <laughs> There's no fucking way. There's no way. $400 on Lisboa. <laughs> There's no way, bro. I don't believe that. I, I'm sorry. That one, I, I just... <laughs> 400 on... Oh, my God. On Lesbo. 
Yeah, I <laughs> I don't I don't believe that one. I, I I feel like that's an impossible bet. No way. You put four hundred dollars on Liz. Why? What was the reasoning? The three fight win streak. Did you see who she fought? I listen. Hey, I, I hope you win four hundred. Oh my god, dude, that that is definitely putting your money where your mouth is. You clearly did not watch the prediction show last night, but good luck, man. I, I hope you win, man. Oh shit! And look at the. Oh my god, dude, we got a bomb of a donation coming in to follow. Now I'm really rooting for this guy. Here we go. Round one has begun. As a That's super so super chat coming in. D rest. Uh, member for 36 months says, help me. I'm not a member. I don't know what this is. Yes, you are. How dare you? Okay, so round one has begun. I have a lot uh, of interest in this fight. Normally, I wouldn't, but I have a solo bet, and I have the opening of my parlay here. So Clark in the red-wrapped gloves and Lisboa in the blue. Clark has to win this fight. She has to. She can't keep losing. Like, if you look at her resume... She's only on the roster because of how pretty she is. I, I mean, that's the brutal honesty here. So let's see if uh, Clark can get it done. And bounce back for a win. Clark hits it with the right and left hand. I, I, gotta, I was not impressed when I saw the resume of Lisboa. I was like, yeah, she looks scary, but not impressed. Lisboa hits her with a nice little jab there. Four minutes on the clock. So we were watching UFC Charlotte early. A combination of strikes goes to the chesticles of Liz Boa. So both girls back in the center here. Jessica Rose Clark hits her with a nice leg kick. Ooh, nice flurry of punches by Liz Boa coming in machine gun style towards Jessica Rose Clark. Oh, super wow, dude. Chat. Like my God. Dude, that's insane. That is that is absolutely insane. Early in the morning, my man boxing history. Box, dude, what the fuck, bro? You have become the top fucking dog over here, dropping a forty nine ninety nine don't. Oh, what the, dude? That's craziness. Craziness. Thank you so much, my man. Got to put the amount here. Holy smokes! Great googly muggly. Wow, W's in the chat, baby. W's in the chat. What a donation. Holy smokes, bro. That was very generous of you. Thank you. So Jessica Rose Clark working against the fence right now, trying for the takedown. She's trying to get things done early here against the cage. A nice knee from off the cage by Liz Boa. Lisboa trying to press the body off, and Jessica Rose Clark looking for two legs, now a single leg, and a lock by Lisboa trying to stop the attack. Rose Clark is gobbling one leg up. Lisboa doing a good job staying upright with 2.15 on the clock. Oh, wow, it's gonna be, that's going to be a tough one to beat. But <laughs> no fucking way. Dude, are you kidding me? He did it again! Wow! Boxing history made. <laughs> Bro, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Back to back 49.99 donations. That is nuts. Ooh, it's boxing history in the making. <laughs> and D-Rest hit the fucking likes. Let's go. Thank you, D-Man. Appreciate that. Wow. Man, boxing is making history for sure. Dude, that was nuts. I'm going to put this down over here. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. What a start to the show. Lisboa does a good job spinning Clark to the fence now. Now Lisboa has control. 130 left in the first round. I mean, a close round here. Lisboa trying to finish strong. Uh, Jessica has the underhook and trying to spin off the cage. The ref walks by. A nice knee. And Jessica is still trying to get this takedown. She cannot get her down. And Lisboa with the hip toss gets uh, Jessica down to the ground. Oh, my God. So Jessica Rose Clark fell into the trap of Lisboa. Lisboa on top half guard. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, no. 55, <laughs> 55 seconds left in this round in Lisboa on top. Late, big takedown in the first round, and Jessica's trying to get back up here. Jessica on a two-fight losing streak from Australia looking... 
to, I guess, survive here. I don't think she's going to be able to get back up. 34 seconds left. Lisboa is just laying on her. Not much action as Clark is holding her tight. And Lisboa is trying to adjust the mount position and pull from the grasp of Clark. But Clark is just holding on here. So it looks like Lisboa is probably going to get the first round. And in a female fight, every round is very important. You, don't, you do not want to lose a round because most likely it's going to be a decision. And the chances of Clark pulling this off are slim now. Here's some left hands by Lisboa. Clark eating it right to the mush. Oh, my God, dude. What the... F Oh, my God. Dude, Clark. What the fuck, man? Just trying to get her down to the ground and... Oh, my God. Terrible. All right, so one round going in the favor of the Brazilian here. Let's see what the second round brings. She could be just that bad, man. She could be that bad. <laughs> uh -huh. She's so frustrating, man. She had such high hope in the beginning, but... Can someone so please explain why I suddenly have a $400 and $250 charges on my credit card? I suspect that my nephew is ordering desserts from only flans, but he doesn't <clears throat> eat that much. Thank goodness I have a strong back to make that money back. Thank you, Vishwana. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Vishwana. Very nice. Oh, my God. I'm so frustrated with Jessica. I can't fucking breathe right now. This is crazy. Dude, who's got allergies in the chat? What's up, James? Love you too, man. Uh, who's got allergies in the chat? And and are you guys having a massive... I woke up today and I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. My whole fucking head. Pressure. All right, Clark. Get going. Get going. You are 0 for 2 with the takedowns. And then Lisboa does that fucking toss and wins the round. So let's go, Clark. Clark hits it with the straight right hand. I mean, she can't afford to lose. Oh, there's that blitzing combination. Lisboa hurts Clark. Clark levels down for the takedown. So she goes around the hips. So Lisboa does this flurry of punches, and Clark just walks into it. It's like she walked into a blender. So Clark is just diving the head in. Wide legs is Lisboa. Clark is doing everything she can to get this takedown. Elbow comes into the rib cage by Lisboa. Clark is trying to trip the left leg of Lisboa. Lisboa is doing a very good jo job defending from the fence. Clark is trying to go all in. She's just not strong enough, man. <laughs> D-Man! Come on, plus money, MOS. I said never be E.T. Rose Quack. She a fraud, plus money mistake. <laughs> Kai no to. <laughs> oh, the takedown! Thank you, D-Man. Thank you. So Clark slowly gets her down here. She successfully gets it, but Lisboa is, gets right back up. Clark is just trying to go all in on this takedown. If Clark could get some top position on her and land some damage here, she could swing the momentum of this fight. Lisboa is doing a very good job, though, defending. She's hooking under the arm of Clark, and Clark is she's going all in. Clark is just trying to break down Lisboa against the cage here. Lisboa is staying upright. Clark is still trying to go for the takedown. And the more Lisboa defends... The less likely Clark is going to pull off a W here. Clark is still trying to get this takedown here. Lisboa gets that underhook, and Clark separates. The knee lands as well. Clark looking frustrated. They reset back in the middle. Oh, my God, this girl, man. Oh, nice right hand by Clark. Comes in there. Lisboa just eats it. Lisboa's got that look on her face like she's going to come in and do some work. And there she is with the combo to the face of Jessica. Jessica backs up and flurries in with a nice right and left hand to the face of Lisboa. I would never have any interest in this fight other than Clark being pretty and uh, me having money on it. I would actually start the card later. Like I would just show up later. But, you know, we got some interest in this thing. So I'm on the edge of my seat with 230 left in the second round. It's still up for grabs. And, oh, nice left hand by Lisboa landing over there as Clark is trying to do it, whatever she can to get back into the wing comp. Beautiful right hand by Clark as she collides with the face of Lisboa. Clark backs up. She trots around, resets. Clark tries to carve him with an elbow. That just grazes on the face of Lisboa. Lisboa tries for the leg kick to the body. Nice right hand by Lisboa moving in. Two minutes on the clock. 
as Lisboa walks forward. Clark throws a jab out there, and Lisboa backs up. Beautiful combo. Three-piece to the face of Clark, and she stumbles back to the cage as some damage appears on the face of the Australian. Aussie, I need some Aussie power in the chat. My parlay is going to explode if Clark doesn't get going. Ah! <laughs> 55 strikes to 13 in favor of Lisboa, and here comes that machine gun combination style. Clark tries to go for the takedown. She eats a nasty knee, and Lisboa comes in blitzing with the combinations. Clark wraps around the body of Lisboa and then pushes Lisboa to the fence. Come on, Clark. Get that fucking takedown. 120 <laughs> left in the second round. Ah! ah, my parlay. Oi, oi, oi. Help me. Help me, Australia. Help me. I'm drowning right now. I'm drowning in kangaroo piss. Clark has Lisboa to the cage. 102 on the clock. Control time will not win this round. Clark's got to get busy. Clark still has Lisboa against the fence. She's trying to get this takedown. I mean, the control time is there, but she's just not doing anything with it. She's holding Lisboa there with a very damaged face. There's a knee to the body by Clark. 40 seconds left. Clark's nose is bleeding. The face is all busted up as she's locked around the body. She's driving some more knees towards the body of Lisboa with 30 seconds left. The ref is very close to the girls. And Clark, wow, the ref breaks him up. Damn, ref did not see enough action. That's bad news for Clark. 18 seconds left. And here comes the combo. Damn, I, I tell you what, that was a pretty... That was a pretty quick separation. With 30 seconds left, why break him up? What the fuck, man? Now Clark shoots him for a takedown again. And she does not get it. 0-2 for Clark. 2-0 for Lisboa. We're going into the third round. Clark's going to need to finish. The $2,000 parlay will explode. If the parlay is going to explode, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it because I don't want to be on the edge of my seat. So if you're going to explode on me, do it now. Get it out of the way and I'll get my other bets to get me over. But my goodness, Clark. How are you losing to this girl? How? I, I, I am like baffled. How? How do you lose to this chick? <sighs> Damn, man. This girl, I mean, it's just, she's the most frustrating fighter to watch. It's it's crazy, man. She lost to Stolyarenko. She lost to Edgar. You look at the resume of this uh, Lisboa, uh, Liz Bo excuse me. She fought nothing but cans. Nothing but cans. But all right, here we go. Clark's, she's smiling. <laughs> what are you smiling about, Clark? Get to work. Get to work. Okay, third round. Third round of action. Clark blitzes in with a combination. Leg kick, and Lisboa gives it right back to her. Lisboa, I mean, she should be up to zip unless the judges are on crack. Hopefully the judges are on crack. And Clark just walks into <laughs> like four punches. Oh, my God, dude. This is terrible. Clark shoots him for the takedown. Stopped by Lisboa. Lisboa. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Clark. Clark fell on top of her. <laughs> a sloppy mess of an exchange. And Clark just falls on top of her. So Clark is inside the guard. It's a miracle. Lisboa hits her from, with an elbow from the bottom. They are away from the cage with 410 left. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Clark, this is where you wanted to be. You're away from the fence. Now, granted, you're bleeding all over the tits of Lisboa but with your, <laughs> with your face. But uh, I don't know. Do something here. So they're clam to clam. Clark on top and Lisboa more active from the bottom. Clark's laying on her. Looks like she wants to motorboat her. She puts the right hand over the face. She's like, now what do I do? Lisboa's trying to get the legs up high on Clark. And Clark's hurting, man. You could just see blood just squirting out of her face. Lisboa's getting those legs up very high, very flexible. Very flexible Lesbo. Clark's still on top, getting nothing done here. Lisboa doing a good job defending here, having the high guard. And Clark is standing... 
bent over, holding down on the face of Lisboa. Lisboa is like tangling her up, and Clark can't get anything off from the top. Just throw an elbow or something, Clark. Give me something. Clark is holding her down. And there's an elbow from the top. She heard me. There you go, Jessica. Throws the elbow down. It's 254, and Lisboa is just trying to tangle her up. And Lisboa getting those legs really high up on Clark. Rubbery guard. And Clark is all tangled. She's trying to get something going, but Lisboa is too flexible. Lisboa, she might look for an armbar here. She gets the leg up high. She's setting it up. Dude, if she armbars Clark here, I'm, I'm about to... <laughs> oh, my God, dude. So now Clark is defending an armbar. 225 left. And blood is on the face of Lisboa, but it doesn't look like Lisboa's blood. I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, Lisboa's cut. So that elbow, the one strike from the top actually caused some damage. So Clark is trying to stay patient. She's nodding over, it looks like, to her corner. And she has a face full of ass as lisboa has got the legs up and she's attacking the arm. Clark is trying to stay patient here. And you could just see the defeat in Clark's face. You could see it. I would not be surprised if she just leaves the gloves in there. I mean, if she loses this fight. <laughs> so Clark escapes the arm bar. She's back on in the, inside the guard. And we have 143 left. The control time. I mean, maybe the control time will do something. She's got almost seven minutes of no, doing nothing. Come on, control time, Clark. She's taking the gloves off after this round. She does. She does. She looks like she's so frustrated and defeated. Let's see. Come on. Dig deep, Jessica. 120. And Lisboa is trying to attack from the bottom here. Clark hasn't really. She only got one strike off. And that one strike created the damage. Like, I would love to see Clark land more. And Lisboa is on the knee. She's back up. Lisboa is back up to the feet. And Clark is attacking the legs, trying to drag her back down. Lisboa is on the knees. She's draped over Clark's body. My $5 bet. <laughs> My $5 parlay. Poof. 48 seconds left. Now Lisboa has the backside. Just choke her out. There you go. At a girl. Lisboa's got the neck. Good. Choke her out. There you go. She did it. Yeah. <laughs> Lisboa got the submission. Just grabs the back, grabs the neck. Just finishes her in the third round. Clark. Why are you in the UFC? And congratulations to Boxing History Made dropping that $400 bet. What in the fucking hell? Jesus Christ. You could possibly be the most overhyped female fighter of all time. I thought Paige Van Zandt was that girl. It is Jessica Rose Clark. She has been nothing but a disappointment. Oh, my God, dude. I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Because when we made the parlay pick in the bet last night, I was like, I can't believe I'm betting on this girl. But, uh... Let's go. Uh, Carnage. No question. <laughs> carnage! Oh my God. Let the Carnage embrace the Carnage. Go on a date with Carnage. Uh, Vote for Carnage. Make babies with Carnage. Play like jokes on Carnage. Masturbate with Carnage. Dude, ejaculate the Carnage. Propose to the Carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the Carnage. Celebrate the Carnage. She is the definition of terrible. She is she is horrific and 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 I'm, I don't want to I don't want to slam on her too hard here. But what is going on? How do you lose to this girl? This girl's not even good. She's not even good. Ah. <sighs> Jessica Rose Clark gets submitted in the third round. All that control time, nothing happened there. 101 strikes to 25. I mean, Clark needs to hang it up. Yeah, I mean, listen, you're a pretty girl. Stop collecting more damage. Stay on Instagram. Make your money off simps. You know? Like, I, I mean, there. You, it could be worse. You could be ugly. You know? It, it could be worse. But you're a pretty girl. Just, you know, you can, you can figure it out. The UFC, I mean, if she fights, if there's another fight in the UFC, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're thinking anymore. This is, it's getting to the point where it's like, that was, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. The gloves are still on, guys. They're still there. <laughs> Sherry won because she's pretty. Yeah, I mean, she's a pretty girl. So, you know, 
So she's got like she does have a backstory to her. I think she's been through a lot of shit in her life. I think, and she's crying there. I mean, this is just, you know, she needs she needs to find something else. This is not it. This is definitely not it. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> first, he's celebrating the first bit, <laughs> bro. I mean, how many people pick Jessica Rose Clark to lose? I mean, there's got to be a lot. Hold on, let me let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on a second. <laughs> He's celebrating the first. <laughs> yeah, get it while you can. Uh, hold on a second. Let's go over to goat milk over here. The D's official. You're in, baby. You're in. Nice profile picture. Oh, my God. Dude, that was terrible. But I do have to say this. If you do have a parlay, let it explode early. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Don't <laughs> don't celebrate too quick. Um, I would say ninety five percent of goat milk probably picked uh, against Clark, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First pick. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate while you can. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was it, L. Try to try to swing for the fences early, and uh, Jessica Rose Clark has failed. Has failed us, but it's all good. We have six bets tonight um, of solo bets, and <laughs> one of them is Chase Sermon. You might as well chalk that up as a loss as well. But we do have some other bets on here where I feel like I could still at least even out, hopefully get plus money. But we'll see how this plays out tonight or today on the MMA holes. I, I mean, Jesus Christ. Dude, what in the hell? It's nuts. I, I honestly can't believe, dude. That's she's gonna she's gonna be a wreck. She's gonna be a wreck when she gets back to that locker room. I kind of feel bad for her, man. I do. Like, whew, that's rough. That's a rough loss. I got three hundred on uh, Mandy Bohm. I think she'll win, dude. Uh, just keep <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, man. So four hundred bucks, man. That is a fantastic bet. Fantastic bet. I licked my ex's butthole on accident, but I was high on crack. I didn't taste anything. Nice. Okay, next fight is Gabe Green versus Brian Battle. Let's try to bounce back in the win column. I got to be honest. I'm not even confident about this pick. I picked Battle, but he really didn't look great in his last fight. Um, and Green, Green was kind of a dog against Ian Gary. So this, this, is, this is a tough one, and it's pretty close in the odds. But they have Battle as a slight underdog. So I didn't bet on this, but I did pick Battle for the win. Uh, he's got that uh, longer, lankier body. So I went with that. Well, people are asking for autographs from this girl. She just beat Jessica Rose Clark, and they're asking for her autograph. Uh, meth Capital. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, meth is pretty high here. Yeah. Meth in, uh, in AZ. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very popular. It's very popular. Every state's got their their uh, their perks in Arizona's meth. Green is going to win for a second round. Green he very well could win this fight. Yeah. I would not be surprised if Gifted uh, wins. Brian Battle kind of disappointed me in his last fight, but I picked him anyway. Just because of that shiny Ultimate Fighter trophy that he has. I got to get a tissue, man. Because I got to cry after that loss, and um, I got to get these allergies out of my nose. So uh, stand by. I'm going to play this over here. The tail of tape, but let me let me blow my nose and cry about my parlay.
Dude, I, I can't breathe. Ugh. <coughs> Come on, Zyrtec, kick in. You know, let me ask you guys this question. Since, uh, and we're going to move on from Jessica Rose Clark after this. <laughs> the, uh, I love animals, right? I'm a, I'm a big fan of animals. I, I love them very much. And uh, one of the reasons why I don't get an animal is because I don't want them to die on me, man. Like, I, they, they live these short lives, and I, I'm a big baby uh, when animals pass away. When my cat passed away, I was a freaking wreck. Um, when I was a kid and dog passed away, I was a wreck. Like, it's just like everything is a wreck, right? Um, Jessica Rose Clark is a big animal lover. Like, she's a, uh, like, anytime you see her doing posts and stuff like that, she's always got, like, a dog in the car and this and that. The dog's, like, licking her face and her mouth. There's nothing worse, and I love animals. I do love animals. But there's nothing worse than a pretty girl that has a lot of animals and lets them, like, lick her face. And then they like they like you ever see a hot girl, right? And then they smell like animal. <laughs> it's the worst. What's up with that? Like, and they don't even realize they stink of animal. It's like they're trying to counterbalance the hotness. Like, <laughs> like I, I love animals. I do, but I don't. I would never let them lick my fucking mouth, or lie in my bed, or, you know. And, you know, put that stench on me where I'm walking around public and stink and, and I'm covered in hair and shit. What's that about? Well, why, why do hot girls do that? Do they do that to try to, to lower their hot status? Have you ever come across a hot girl that it was a deal breaker because she stunk like a fucking dog? Like a wet, she smelled like a wet dog? What's that about? Stinks like cigarettes. Yeah, it's another thing too, right? Other than smoke and don't smell like that. And them, like, yeah, like why, why? Why is that? There's nothing worse than a hot girl that smells like a fucking animal. Like, I don't understand. Oh, I just love dogs. Okay, dogs are great. Dogs are great. Don't let them lick your fucking mouth. That doesn't bother me. I love dogs. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, that's right. You make out with your dog. That's true. That is true. I, why? Why do you do that? They lick their assholes. Why, why do you let a dog... A dog licks their asshole. People say that let their dogs li lick their mouth. They say, well, a dog's tongue is cleaner than human tongues. It's like, all right. They lick their fucking pussies and assholes, and then you lick their tongues. <laughs> it's crazy. My, my poor daughter, she loves animals, right? She's young. She's only two years old, but she loves dogs. But she she's inherited the, uh, the allergies like, like me. And any time a dog even comes near her, her face gets all red. I feel so bad for her. Not your mouth. I saw I saw your dog lick your mouth. I'm not going to lie. I did see that. Um, but it wasn't on purpose. It's not like you purposely tongue kissed her. But I saw the dog close to your face. And the tongue did go to your mouth. And I almost vomited. I, ha I have a hot chick uh, friend who smells. But you're a guy, so you can get away with it. Stinky dogs, uh, LOL. I've always had dogs, and uh, they don't stink. Yeah, I mean, I, some people don't bathe their animals, too. I think that's the problem. I guess if you bathe your animal, they don't smell, you know? Some people, like, I don't need to bathe them. They naturally, like, what? Fucking give the animal a bath. It's a living creature. Is he doing willy time? No, I didn't see that. What is that? Nothing worse than going to some hot chick's house and it smells like an animal. I know. I, I there was a girl that was kind of seeing, and she, yeah, she smelled like cigarettes and animals. It was a double whammy. And anytime they smell like animals, it, it was it's not, it's like you they smell like piss. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It's like they smell like animal piss. It's like how how why do you smell like animal piss? How does that even happen? They go from a ten to a five, like a four. What is that? Yeah, cigarettes is bad. Like, I used to smoke, and um, I've dated girls that smoked, and it's like it's literally like making out with an ashtray. Hot girls have always been with the most dudes. You ever think about that? That's not that's not true. Not really, because hot hot girls, have, they can have, like, standards, you know? Ugly girls been with... Most likely, ugly girls been with more dudes because they lower their standards. That's actually... You know, 
Dogs uh, salivate, roar breath. And listen, I have no problem. I have no problem with animals. I love, I love animals. I really do. But as soon as I let animals lick me and shit like that, I got allergies. So I gotta, I gotta wash my arms and shit. I gotta wash that stench off me. <laughs> I gotta get that stink off me. Smelling like Keith Peterson. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So every time I see Jessica Rose Clark, I'm like, yeah, she's a hot girl. But I guarantee she smells like like animal piss. There's no doubt about it. Like if I go to her Instagram now, let's say, I guarantee there's something about a dog on there. Uh, Miss Jessie Jess. It's got to be something. Let's see. Well, it's a lot of training stuff. <laughs> I guess not enough. Okay. There she is. She's cold in that picture on the right. Was she in a was she in a dog cage? Wait, what is this? Get out of my fucking yeah. face. What is this? Yeah, she's look, she's in a fucking cage. She's in a dog cage? What is this? I don't know what the hell's going on here. Actually, no, no animal stuff. Maybe maybe she doesn't smell like animal anymore. I don't know. Okay. She 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 got rid of the animal posts. Maybe she she caught on. Maybe too many guys were like, "Hey man, you smell like dog piss." Okay. Got that out of the way. I hate cats. I just wants to take them and throw them away. <laughs> I I like cats though. I do. You know why I like cats? I love dogs and I love cats. I love both. Like if I see a dog in the street, I'm gonna stop and pet it. I am. Um, but uh, I, the reason why I like cats is they're self-sufficient. They're not. They're not so clingy. You know, you could leave them for like a week, and as long as you have a cat litter and and food, they're fine. They're like, go ahead, have a good time. You know, a dog's like, can you take me? Can you take me? But the cat's just like, yeah, go ahead, have a good trip, get laid. You know, that's what I like about cats. They're not clingy. It's self-sufficient. Sheath underwear, tail of the tape. Brian battles 6'1", 5'10", green. 170 the pound for... What? Battle missed weight? I didn't even know that. <laughs> well, I picked him. Uh, 28 years, so he's 173. 28 years of age is battle, 30 green. 73 inch reach, uh, 73 inch reach green. 77 for battle, orthodox battle. Switch hitter green. I, I had no idea. I had no idea. I, did you guys know that he missed weight? I had no idea. Hey, cats on my pillow. Uh, get a spray bottle. Give him a little squirt. They'll get off that pillow. So Brian Battle pounding on his chest. Wow, he is fired up, man. So Bruce Buffer. It's always good to see Bruce Buffer announcing a fight night. And Battle is fired up. Respect the felines. Let's go green. I bet 747. <laughs> Do you have a bet on every fight with a crazy amount of money? <laughs> 747. <laughs> oh, God. My God. Well, I mean, he dropped two, you know, massive donos, so I'll believe anything he says. <laughs> 747. Now. All right, here comes Green. He's charging in. Yeah, Green convert. Oh, man. There's oh, battle with the right. He dropped him. Let's go, champ. Whoa. Holy shit. Green came in uber aggressive. Super duper aggressive. And battle's like, chill, chill, chill. Crack. Right hand. Green goes down. And now I see battle on the cage. He's just kissing the crack. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Wow, Battle is emotional. He is very emotional getting that win. He really wanted this thing. Wow, Green came in like a lunatic and got sparked. Dude, that was super quick. All right, we're back in the win column. I guess I should have bet on... I guess I should have put Battle in the parlay. <laughs> Why didn't I put him over Jesse Rose Clark? I don't know. Oh my God! Oh, what is up with that ad? An, a shirtless Burt Kreischer on one of the pillars. Burt Kreischer could be the most, oh, the most annoying comic ever that's ever lived. All right, I'm gonna watch this whole fight again. 
Yeah, man, Green came in crazy. Battle just, he got popped a couple of times. Oh, my God. Dude, that was, dude, that was insane. You know what that reminded me of? That reminded me of Perea versus Izzy. But Battle wasn't even doing head movement. He was just kind of, well, he did a little head movement. That right, oh, oh, my God. Dude, that was legit. He should have shot an, a couple of arrows into him. Yeah, Green coming in aggressive. This goes to show you, man. Stay patient. Wow. So Battle was in the zone. He had enough head movement to avoid the strikes, and he was watching. And he saw his moment, and he fucking cracked him with the right hand. Green was just way too reckless. I'm back in the wing column, boys. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! Oh my god, dude, that was wild. All right, I'm back in the wing column. He's crying. What's uh, this? Uh, Jessica Rose Clark crying. Brian Battles crying. Everyone's crying. Everyone's everyone's sad. Brian Battle, che tears of joy. Wow, he's very excited. Good for him. Good for him. Seems like a nice kid. I'm done. I'm out. Did you really bet seven hundred dollars on that? So what did you do? Did you bet that after the the Clark loss? <clears throat> I agree on about Bird. I can't even listen to him on the podcast. Dude, he is like, you know what it is? He's not even a happy guy. Like, it's an act. His laugh is is an act. It's it's like his bit. And it's annoying. Like if he was genuinely laughing at himself, uh, or laugh you know, he just had the giggles. I laugh a lot, you know, but like I don't know, I find a lot of things funny. I, his thing is like he's like monetized his laugh. It's really fucking weird, man. Damn, I should I should have switched. Yeah, imagine fucking why didn't I put put battle? I thought this fight was. Whew, that was a beautiful combination, man. Yo, battles. He's all happy talking to DC right now. Very nice win for the kid. Damn, Green got smoked. <laughs> Don't cry, Mister Battle. I must let. Yeah, you know what, Jake, I'm with you. I'd rather listen to Brendan Schaub over Bert Kreischer. 100. I do not like Bert. I don't at all. He doesn't like. He doesn't seem like a happy human being. There's a reason why he's always drowning himself in alcohol. He's taking his fucking shirt off and acting like an idiot. Like he just. He seems like a very depressed, miserable human being. That has this like persona that's supposed to be this happy guy. Wonderful, wonderful. Sinose. I think people forget battle last loss was a Russian with 20 to 2 and <clears> great <throat> grappling. People forgot how deadly battle was. Glad had a prop on core decision. <clears throat> nice, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I dropped the ball on battle. I should have. I mean, I picked him, but I, I did. I should have. Uh, I definitely should have uh, thrown him in the parlay over Jessica Rose Clark. And it would have paid out more. That's the ironic part about it. But uh, Brian Battle gets the job done. Very nice win. Um, Gabe Green is a is a dangerous guy, though. He is a very dangerous guy. He just came in way too reckless. So next fight, we got the ladies. We got Kim versus Bohm coming up next. Let me look at Goat Milk. Let's see if there's any shakeup over here. That was an underdog. But I think a lot of people probably picked Battle as well. I think. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so Rockstar and Guitar all by himself in first place with 165 points. So we got a little separation here. A little bit of separation. Meridian Heights. So this guy showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not Meridian. No, is this the guy? I don't remember. There was an old, There was a guy from back in the day that showed up. Here's Sinosi. There was a guy from back in the day that showed up. Ozzy Cat up in the mix. All right. So, yeah, we got a little bit of separation here now. With battle winning. Okay, good luck, everybody. Good luck. We got the ladies fight over here. So this one here, you know, you think bathroom break, but they had a really, like, really um, intense face-off. The most intense face-off of the whole card. I really like this one here. So I picked Kim by decision. I She's on a four-fight skid. 
If anyone needs a win, this girl needs a win. Another one, I mean, if she wasn't from South Korea, she probably wouldn't be on the roster. But she does have that, you know, she's, you know, she's got that fan base. So the UFC is trying to push her. And I mean, will she go five in a row? Losses. And then you got this other girl, Mandy Bohm, who's on a two fight skid as well. So Lipsky and uh, Victoria Leonard. So that's that. We'll uh, wait for this fight to get going, but it's going to take a second because it was a quick finish in the battle fight. <clears throat> yeah, Kim looked crazy. She looked crazy at the face off. So this is next. <laughs> Dude, that picture of Boom. <laughs> Look, at <her. laughs> Look at her over there. Oh, God. So many jokes to be made. So many jokes. She looks like a possum. Uh, yeah. Were the odds on tears dropping in the next fight? I, that should be. Like, I kind of wish my bookie did do stuff like that. Like, like live, like weird bets. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks that with Burt Kreischer, man. Because I, I kind of felt like I was like the fun. I was like the fun police criticizing the guy. But I, he clearly is doing something well, right? He's got a movie coming out. He's on, like, everyone's podcast. It's nuts. I bet on Bohm, uh, too, but now I kind of regret it looking uh, at the pictures. Oh, you bet on Bohm? Okay. Damn, you bet on... Did you bet on every fight? So, Boxing History Made, how many bets did you place? Did you bet on every single fight on this card? This one here, man. I, I mean... This is a this is a wild one to bet because you got both girls that really need a win. Um, they're both not very good. Or oh, it's the last one. Yeah, it's always tricky early in the card to place bets because there's there's more unknown. I feel like if you're gonna really place a lot of bets, you're better off later on in cards because you got guys with a lot more and gals with a lot more experience and you have more data to go by. Like in this fight, nine, six and two, seven, two and oh. Both girls are desperate for a win. Um, it's it's a tough one. It's you got limited information. It's basically going on a hunch, you know. Is Boma man? Uh, not that I know of. I could see she has breasts. It looks like from this image, but I mean, you never know these days. You just never know. You know who is a man, though. I'll tell you this, and we showed it earlier. You know who is a man? Jarzinho Rosenstrike is a man. And you know how I can tell? We, we've we unlocked this earlier in the week. Got biggie feet. He's also got a biggie fucking pat. Wait. Wait a second. <gasps> they took it out? Oh my God. They photoshopped his cock. They photoshopped his cock out of the picture. No way. No way. They, <laughs> they photoshopped. <laughs> they photoshopped. They photoshopped his cock out of the picture. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> Do you think someone's watching the MMA holes? Someone's watching the MMA holes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. It's definitely on our stream. Ah. Oh, hold on. Fuck. All right. Okay. All right. I think it was the I'm almost positive it was the Matt Frivola stream. I'm almost positive. We did a bit on his cock. It's on our stream. Can someone screenshot that and drop it in Discord? This is an emergency. This is an emergency, guys. They took his cock out of the picture. They <laughs> he had a big cock in his picture. Right? It was that stream. Okay, Matt Frivola stream. If someone could screenshot that and throw it in Discord. Oh, my God, dude. That is so fucking funny. Dude, what a blunder, man. Dude, they literally photoshopped his dick out of the picture. Like, like, think about the meeting that they they probably had like an emergency phone call. Guys, 
Air, immediately airbrush his dick out of the picture. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. All right, let's see. If, if someone could drop that in Discord, that would uh, be very uh, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Dude, that's so funny. I wonder when they photoshopped his dick out. He had a battle axe. Dude, that fucking thing was mad. <laughs> the shit was... It was like taped to his thigh. The thing was on the side. It was just like... A, it was like they just shoved a log in his pants. <laughs> and then they, they gave him... They gave him a vagina. They just... The poor Biggie boy. Biggie boy is packing heat. And the UFC is like, nah, bro. Nah, man. Kids. <laughs> they took it out. They airbrushed it out. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that. Oh, God. I have to make a short of that. 100%. The UFC airbrushed his cock out of the picture. <laughs> now he's got a vagina. Uh, it looks like his pants are on backwards now. Oh, that's so fucking funny, man. <laughs> Do you even need a cup? Yeah, if you kick that thing, you'll break your foot. Like if you kick Biggie Boy in the in the fucking cock, you'll you'll f your your foot will crack in half. Hold on, is there someone? Is, did someone get it? Come on, someone on Discord, baby. Let's see. Can someone get? It? <laughs> Let's see if there's a, there's a hero. <laughs> dude, dude. I shit you not. Oh my god, Sinosi's a legend. Yeah, look at this. I shit you not, guys. I shit you not. This is actually the picture they had on the website. I shit you not. That was the original picture. Not photoshopped in any way. Not show not photoshopped in any way. You want a side by side? Man, your people, you people are asking for a lot over here. Okay, I got you guys. Here's the vagina. Okay. This is the, the updated picture. And give me a second here. Window capture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's the before and after. We have cracked the case, and this is why you need to subscribe to the MMA Holes, because it's the only channel that has talks about the real things, the real issues of the UFC. Okay. Dude, we have to put this on Twitter. We got it. We have to. We have to let the UFC know that we are on to them. They are not fooling anybody. Here is a side by side. The picture on the left is the original picture of Jarzinho Rosenstrike, aka Biggie Boy, perfect nickname. And they take away his manhood. They take it away and give him a vagina. UFC. You have to answer for this. You must be held accountable. Whoa. Brian Battle likes what he sees. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Brian Battle likes what he sees. All right, you have to be. <laughs> Brian Battle just pops like, yeah, baby. Wow, UFC. You must answer for this. All right. Holy smokes. Could you believe they did this? <laughs> Dude, what a catch. They're probably thinking no one saw that. No one caught it. No one caught it. <laughs> try to try to pull one over on us. We're we're the cock we're the cock police. Oh man. <laughs> if he wore sheath, it wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> I've never seen that. We've been doing this for almost seven years. Ne never in my life have I seen a photoshopped uh, removal of cock. That's the first. That's the first year of the M Males. Biggie boy. <laughs> Dude, that's a terrible airbrushing job, too. Absolutely terrible. This is the UFC. He was manscaped. <laughs> he chopped his whole dick off. Oh, God. You clipped it? Hold on a second. Wait. <laughs> what did you put on Twitter? <laughs> oh, God. It's so fucking funny, man. <clears throat> I 
That's so funny. Yeah, we got to get that out there. We we need to share this. We need to share this. The side by side. Dude, that's crazy, man. <clears throat> so fucking funny. Someone make a mold. <laughs> Who are they fooling? UFC. Oh, it's on Discord. Okay, hold on. Who is the UFC trying to fool? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Not show. Not photoshopped in any. You want a side by side? Man, your people. You people are asking for a lot over here. Okay, I got you guys. Here's the <laughs> vagina. Okay. This is the the updated picture. <laughs> We're gonna drop this the best of our males. <laughs> Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Here's the before and after. We have cracked the case, and this is why you need to subscribe <laughs> to the MMA holes because it's the only channel that has it talks about the real things, the real issues. Okay, the UFC. hold on. Okay. I right, copy the link, dude. We have to put this on Twitter. We got it. We have to. We have to let the UFC know that we are on to them. They are not. <laughs> not show. Not photoshopped in any. You want a side by side? All about right. The real if we things, can. The uh, real issues of the UFC. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me clip this a little differently Dude, so it gets right to, to it. We have to put this on Twitter. We got it. We have to. Hold on a second. Let the UFC know. All right, I'm gonna clip it. Let me click it because people have very short attention spans. Like they'll see the beginning. Be like, what is this? Hold on a second here. Can you get a clip of that? Alexis talking to me. Can you get a clip of that? Just like right when the point where we're showing the side by side. If you get, if you can get a clip of that, I'll throw it on Twitter right now. Dude, that's hysterical, man. <laughs> I can't believe the, I can't fucking believe the UFC did that, dude. I, I can't believe they did that. That's so fucking funny. They literally photoshopped his cock out of the picture. I'm curious. I wonder. Do you think like because on Wednesday's show, we were we did a whole bit on it, like the cock, and then all of a sudden it's mysteriously gone. I wonder. I wonder if someone hit up the UFC like, bro. <laughs> Yo, I was watching this weird show. Uh, I think you guys made a mistake, dude. That's on the UFC website. That that cockgate. Yeah, we have cracked cockgate. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny. That is so funny, man. The UFC we website had a big picture of a schlong. And then they photoshopped him and gave him a vagina. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me look at this here. Hold on a second. <laughs> Stand by. Yeah, the vagina's in this picture. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, UFC. What a bummer. Yeah, so it, was, it must have been on the ESPN website as well. It looks like it was on ESPN's website. And... Okay, yeah, that works. Hold on a second here. Let me save this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that's so fucking funny. All right, hold on. Let me, um, how do I save this? Download. Ah! All right, I'll get to do it on my phone. All right, so I'm going to put a tweet out. I'm going to need you guys to share this real quick before we get into the next fight. Uh, here we go. Here's the tail of tape for this thing over here. We're trying to we're trying to expose UFC for getting rid of Biggie Boy's cock. Kim 57, Boom 57, 126, both girls, 33 years of age, virtually identical, and the reach is pretty much the same as well. Uh, here we go. Clock has started. Actually, I don't know if Jesse's watching. Jess, Jess, are you watching? Let me know in the chat if you're watching. Oh, if you could grab that screenshot, we'll put it on Twitter. Let's get into this fight because this thing might not go to distance. As Bohm versus Kim are throwing down. Winner stays in the UFC. A trip. They both fall down and Bohm winds up on top of Kim. Oh, bad news for South Korea. As Bohm 
is trying to get the backside of Kim. Kim does a good job rolling around to the knees and now is trying to get back up. But Bohm is looping around to the back again. Kim is trying to dump her forward and Bohm is going for the choke. Oh boy, Kim's in trouble. Oh boy. Bohm is trying to sleep Kim, but she is over the chin right, chin right now. She is not under, she is over. And Kim is just trying to stay patient. Kim is trying to stay patient here. Wow, Bohm almost putting Kim out quick. But Kim is still, in, she's okay right now. Bohm is trying to adjust the grab. It's over the chin. So Bohm is just basically hugging her right now. And there's a stalemate on the mat as Kim is trying to push up on the elbow and separate her face from the hugging attack of Bohm. And Kim probably is going to wind up on top here. She does. Inside the guard. Clam to clam. Kim on top. South Korea in control. Good patience. Good poise. By Kim. <laughs> so funny, man. <laughs> the people of South Carolina showed up. In the, uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I haven't really looked at the crowd. It looks like a small venue. But that's pretty. Yeah, South Carolina getting some love, man, with combat sports. All these organizations having their shows there. Bone putting the legs up high. Might hit her with a triangle. So the right leg over the left shoulder of Kim. So Kim was trying to settle into the guard. And, and Bohm is doing some good work from the bottom here. Defending and making it very awkward for Kim. So Kim's all tangled up. She's over Bohm with 2.49 on the clock. But Bohm is just, just has her all tied up here. Kim can't get anything off. Is her name Kim or Chin? Kim. 2.30 left. And Kim tries to drop an elbow in, but it's a very far reach. She can't really get there with it. And Bohm's putting that right uh, leg over the shoulder some more and pressing down on the head with her hamstring. Then rolls around to the knees. Kim to the backside. So now Kim got control of the back. She's trying to put a hook in here. Bohm is turtled up on the mat. And Kim now going for the neck. So a reverse of submission attempts here. And Bohm is cut. She's tucking her chin in. Kim is trying to get under without the hooks in. 145. Very slow maneuver here as Kim is just trying to slowly pull the forearm under the chin. Bohm hits her with a left as her face is smushed into the mat. So Kim is draped over Bohm. No hooks. Looking for a choke. And Kim's just trying to fight her off here. 125 on the clock. Kim's still sitting on the backside. Or laying on the backside, I should say. Oh, they're in North Carolina? Yeah, where are they from? Where are they? Oh, yeah, North Carolina. Ah, Carolina, Carolina, close enough. <coughs> they trans the biggie boy. All right, so Kim rolls her around. Now, boom, trying to spin inside the guard. She's almost there. And, up, oh, she's there. She's inside the guard of Kim. Now, boom, on top with 50 seconds left in the first round. Back and forth action. By the way, hit the like button. We moved them up there, and we moved the chat over here. So if you want to get your comments seen on the show, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. I appreciate it. Well, first goal before 20. So Kim trying to pass the leg. And she does, I mean, uh, excuse me, Bohm passes over to side control. And Bohm is on top here, ending the round in a strong position with 14 seconds left. I mean, not really much to talk about. Five strikes to two. As Bohm is ending the round on top. And I got to be honest with you, I, I guess we're going to have to give this to Bohm finishing it strong. And not much landing. Six to two it strikes. Oh, my God. So that whole bathroom break talk that we were having yesterday, well, there it is. Um, I thought this would be a little bit more feisty from that face-off, but I thought wrong. So one round in the books, and it's another lackluster situation here. 
Very close. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how... I don't know how you give it to Kim. She landed two strikes, and um, they didn't even credit her with a submission attempt, which doesn't make sense because it seemed she was going for the choke. She should have at least one. Um, but I think Bohm did more in the limited information we have. I think Bohm did a little bit more. So I'm going to go with Bohm. I'm so happy for Ian Gary. <laughs> Why? Funny how you're making fun of uh, Biggie Boy's cock, and there I am, a Suriname laughing a lot. <laughs> well, I'm not making fun of his cock. I'm, it's more of a celebration of his size and envy. <laughs> it's envy of Biggie Boy's size. But I am making fun of the UFC for erasing his cock. That is the weirdest thing. And if you're from Suriname, um, well, you, you guy has a Biggie Boy. He does have a biggie boy downstairs. It's very obvious. All right, we're in the second round. And let's see what happens here. I apologize if my commentary is not spot on or, or very energetic. I'm having a lot. I can't breathe through my nose. <laughs> I can't breathe. It's just, it's really nuts, man. These allergies, the worst they've been ever. Like, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. A nice combo by uh, Kim coming in there. Rights and left hands to the face of Bohm. Bohm darts in with a shoulder to the belly, but cannot get the takedown. They collide. They exchange knees. Kim gets pushed back to the cage. And Bohm hitting her with some nasty elbows. Bohm fighting like a dog right now against the fence. And Kim might be in the same boat as Jessica Rose Clark. Kim trying to spin Bohm to the fence. Can on can violence right now. Kim had Bohm first round. Wow. You think Kim? I hope you're right because I picked Kim. I don't think Kim won that first. I don't. But, I mean, not much to really work with, with evidence, with um, um, strikes landing. So Bohm's still in control against the fence here. Kim's stuck against the cage. Kim trying to hit her with some knees to separate. But Bohm's still holding her against the fence with 319. Now Kim spins her. Kim in control against the cage. Oh, take down by Kim. That's massive. That is absolutely massive. Sitting on, on top of the half guard position. Kim on top with three minutes and two seconds left. Big takedown. Oh, man, Bohm's trying to reverse this. Kim holding on to the top position. Oh, boy. Let's see if Kim could get going here. Kim's got to, she's got to land some stuff because Bohm is looking a little tricky from the ground. Bohm pulls her into guard, but Kim's still on top here. Clam to clam. We got 2.30 left in the second round, and Kim is kind of just pushing her face. She's looking like she's giving little smooches to the cheeks of uh, Bohm. No strikes landing. They're tied up. The arms are tied up by Bohm. Bohm's trying to get those legs up high once again, and Kim is looking to get something off. Oh, boy. Come on. Such feistiness at the face-off, and these girls are kind of hugging each other. There's an elbow from the bottom by Bohm, and Kim is still on top. If Kim loses this fight, say bye-bye. I mean, yeah, you would think five in a row would be enough. I tell you what, even with his performance... I don't know how she stays on the roster with a win. Boehm still has her in guard. This is this is tough. This is a tough watch. Kim is not able to land anything from the top. But right now, Kim is a minus 250 favorite in the live odds. Even with doing nothing from the top position. She just... Wow. Wow. Inside the guard, the ref stands him up. That goes to show you... How little action was going on there. Kim was on top inside the guard. They got stood up. Okay, here we go. So stalemate on the ground. And Kim lands a nice combination. Kim comes forward with the right. All right, Kim's looking good now. Kim comes in with the inside leg kick. Nice left hand by Bohm. Bohm hits her with another left hand. Kim just eats it. She just kind of rubs on the eye. She says, I'm good. Inside a minute. Outside leg kick, Bohm. Mid-kick, Bohm. Shooting in for a takedown is Bohm. 
Kim gets taken down. Oh, boy. Late in the round, Kim gets taken down. Ouch. But Kim goes for a guillotine. Smart move with limited time left in the round. I like it. So Bohm is trying to defend, and Kim has her in the guillotine. And she is trying to pull on it. She's taking her time here. 30 seconds left. Let's see if Kim goes all in. The problem is Kim... I can't tell if her legs are around the body. This is a weird angle. Are they? I guess they are. This is such a weird angle. All right, so Kim still got this guillotine going here. She's trying to lock it up, but I don't think she's going to get it. Bohm is just kind of staying patient here as her neck is compromised. All right, so Kim should get this round. All right, here we go. Two seconds, one second, round over. So Kim, nice job putting her in a... Whoa, Kim gives her... <laughs> Kim goes to get back up, and Bohm gets up, and Kim just kicks her over. After the bell, after <laughs> Kim a little nasty, a little feisty. <laughs> How many people in the chat just saw that? Right before they went to the commercial, Kim gave her a little kick after the bell and knocked her over. Feisty, Korean, feisty. You're 03 this morning? <laughs> you saw it? That was a little dirty. They were they were not very friendly at the at the face off. There's no love lost between the two. <laughs> that was funny. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Kim's just like, get the fuck off me. <clears throat> Kim is ready to kill. Yeah, she's she needs this win, man. She needs it. I mean, four fight lo losing streak. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're showing it now. They're showing the the replay of the kick. <laughs> Kim kicks her over And the ref's looking at her The ref took a point? Oh, stop Oh, come on Oh my god Dude, get the fuck out of here The ref took a point at the beginning of the third round That is Oh my god Oh my god. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I mean they're in a fight. Jesus Christ, ref. Maybe you should do a better job at separating the girls. What the fuck? Dude, who is this ref? And now I got this ugly ass picture of Burt Kreischer with his shirt off. Dude, I'm sorry, man. He thinks he's him. Dude, that's just that's that's bullshit. Give her a warning or something. Yeah, where's the warning? Give her a warning. Dude, what the fuck? Now, Kim, the best she's going to do is a draw. If she's lucky. All right, so they're tangled up against the fence here. I do not like that at all. Listen, is it is it right? No. Oh, a nice knee by Bohm in the break. Kim comes in with the left. I mean, Kim's probably going to need a finish. Yeah, draw, draw looks very likely now. Kim is controlling against the fence with four minutes left in the third round. I don't like that. Like, give her a war give her a stern warning. You know, if you do anything shady, I'm taking a point. I mean, that literally changes the everything. So Kim is trying to get this takedown here. She looks fired. And she better be because she just lost the point. Kim is controlling with some knees to the hamstring of Bohm. Bohm's bent. Up. Here's Bohm. Another situation of a fighter grounding himself. I hate this. I can't stand it. So Bohm just got the hand down. She's protecting herself, bent over. And now she can't get kneed in the head. This rule has to go. Bohm is stalling. And Kim is trying to take her down here. Bohm's in. Oh, that was an illegal knee. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God, dude. God. Oh, that drives me nuts. That drives me nuts. Anyway, Bohm... Grounds herself, stalling, and Kim just drives the knee to the head. Oh, my God, right on the temple. Dude, Kim, what are you doing? You know what? Kim might not even want the win. She just probably wants to kill this girl. And Bohm's not going to. Yeah, Bohm's like, Bohm's going like this. She's going like this. She just quit. She just quit. Boom, legit just did an aljo. That knee, yes, listen, the knee came in and hit the head.
but stop it. This girl literally just quit. She's going like this. She's saying she can't see. The doctor's looking at her. She's looking for a way out, guys. Boehm is legit looking for a way out. The, the doctor is doing everything to try to keep this going. Boehm could see. She's saying she can't see. She's lying. She's straight up lying, man. She's saying, I don't think the doctor even believes her. The, the doctor. So the, the, the ref is looking for time. So this is kind of interesting. The doctor usually, if, if a fighter says they can't see, the doctor would like call the fight. I don't think the doctor believes her. So the doctor is now giving her a second to shake it off. This girl is trying to quit right off the bat. She's going like this. No, I'm good. She knows it's an illegal strike. And now, look, the doc, oh my God. Yo, the doctor is calling her bluff. I I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Bohm is just trying, she's trying to, like, she's trying to talk the doctor into stopping the fight. Oh my God. The doctor is kind of like rolling his eyes. He's talking to her some more. He's telling her to get up. He's literally calling her bluff. Dude, this is crazy. Boehm is whispering into the doctor's ears. The doctor brings over the ref. They're whispering to each other. Boehm is saying something like she can't see over here. I don't, I honestly don't believe it, man. And they called it off. That, dude, fuck off. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I'll do, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Listen, I don't buy it. Immediately after the illegal strike, Boehm goes like this. And the doctor, credit to the doctor, man. The doctor stayed with her and was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Dude, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Bucket girl. Uh, she getting paid? Hope not. Dude. She's probably going to get the win. Unless it's a no contest. It should be a no contest, but I think she's going to get the win. Point deduction, illegal strike. I think she's going to get the win. That's worse than Aljo. Like, way worse. That's that's probably the worst I've ever seen. Like, she literally just, she's like, nah, I'm losing this fight. Here's my out. She did what Anthony Smith should have done. It's over. The fight is over. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to hear what they decide it should be a no contest, but it's not. It's not going to be. Holy crap, man. Oh, my God. You imagine she gets the win here and she's the under... Oh, my God. This is worse than Aljo. This makes Aljo look... Oh, my God. Dude, that's nuts, man. She literally wanted no more of the smoke. So if you just jump it in, Boehm got hit with an illegal knee. I think they're trying to decide what, how they're going to say. She's she's telling her corner. Like, she's going like this. Like, I guess she has no... Hold on a second here. DC's flipping out. Hold on. I have nothing, so... Hold on a second. Okay, so... The referee is saying it's unintentional. Hold on a second, guys. They're 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 trying to figure this out. DC's rambling about something, but he he's saying this is crazy. It is. I mean, did they? I guess they didn't take a second point away because they said it was unintentional, but they took the original point away from that kick, which I they should have never took the point there. <laughs> they said Larry Carr, the referee, did not win the fight. <laughs> Yo, this ref's got to go, man. Larry Carr, 
Dude, this guy's got to go. They're still trying to figure out the scores. Dude, this ref could possibly be the worst fucking ref of all time. The ref's still talking. I mean, the uh, the doctor's still talking to Bohm. Bohm quit, man. She's still trying to play this off. Larry Yamazaki. Dude, this, it's, it's like... I don't even know why he took a point the first time around. I'm curious. Did he take a point the second? Bruce can't even get the scores. They don't even know how to score this. Is it very rarely you see something new? Yeah. This has never been done before. <laughs> Which Dana with a belt. They're saying for Kim, there's a lot of potential, bro. Attic, would stop smoking the Korean pipe. Stay cut. <laughs> He's talking about potential, dude. There's no potential here. I, I mean, I think she got the shaft in this fight, but we'll see how they score this. He's dude saying his potential. I don't think she did do it on purpose, but. They're showing the kick with the point induction, which I don't agree on. And they're showing the knee. That knee looks like it was intentional to me, to be honest. <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. The knee, the knee did, I mean, that was very reckless. That wasn't like unintentional. She set it up like the girl was grounded and she threw the fucking... She threw the knee. I, I got to be honest with you. I think that was intentional. Them saying that wasn't intentional is a little weird to me. But they're still trying to get the scores. The judges are all confused. This girl's saying she can't see. Boom is just standing there confused. Kim is standing there confused. Oh, what a mess. This is a mess, man. So I don't know what they're trying to do now. They're trying to figure out the scorecards. The scorecards are computerized. What? Oh my God, this delay. Well, it's not going to be a no contest. I don't think it was unintentional, guys. I don't. I don't. She was clearly grounded. And Kim was purposely not hitting her in the head because she knew she was grounded. And then she just looked frustrated and she just fucking kneed her in the head. She, I mean, she was looking right at her. But the first point deduction, I don't agree with. You take, you know what? You don't take the first point deduction away. You give her a warning. Then the knee happens. Then you give, take away the point. You know? Stop squinting already. <laughs> She's like, in my eye. I can't see. I can't see. You got like 12 fingers up. I can't see. Stop the fight. Stop it. Doc's like, I don't know. You seem to be fine. You seem to, you seem to be okay. Nah, you got like 20 fingers now. I see 40 fingers. You got to stop the fight. Uh, you see, I don't know. It looks like you could see me just fine. No, I can't see anything. No, you have a foot on your arm. Is that a hand or a foot? I can't tell. It was 100% intentional. 100%. It was just like uh, bad judgment, you know, by Kim. She was like in the moment. She knew what she was doing. I think it, it just didn't, she didn't process it, you know, correctly. I'm not saying she intentionally wanted to do an illegal blow. I think she was like, she was in the heat of the moment, man. She looks like Napoleon Dynamite. All right, we're still waiting. So if you just jumped in, this is they went to a commercial. This is really nuts, man. So this fight has been a complete shit show from the very beginning. Both girls don't even deserve to be on the roster. Both girls don't deserve to be on the roster. There was a kick at the end of a round. The ref didn't like it. He took a point. Wonderful. We got a donation. 
in one night the impossible has occurred. I no longer can hate on Olio. Boom the new Olio and I need to find the address of the ref. Don't ever allow him back into Upke events. Woman was pulling the Olio egging on for the knee. Sick of this rule. Yeah. Thank you, Sinosi. Unintentional foul. 28-27 Kim. 28-27 Boehm. Winner by split decision. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Winner by split decision, and Boehm's like winking over there. She's like, got it right. Oh, I do not like this girl, man. I don't like this girl at all, man. I do not like her. I, oh my God, man. I don't like this girl. She's like, yeah, I got it. I got it. Bro, you, you literally, oh, she faked a fucking injury. She faked an injury. Dude, like what the fuck? <laughs> Boxing, there you go. You got the win. <laughs> I had a boy. <laughs> he won $900. It worked out for you, man. Dude, she is, oof. Very unlikable. Dude, that was insane. Such an unlikable fighter. She's like not in like B I mean, what the fuck? It's almost like she's like, I see my out, I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy, man. That's crazy. Congrats, man, on your win, man. Congrats. That rule has to change. I agree. A grounded opponent. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, well, yeah. Here's the thing. That rule... Um, well, yeah, it did affect the fight. It did. <clears throat> it did. Um, yeah, it, it's got to change. A grounded opponent, enough's enough. These fighters stalling and stalling and stalling, hoping that there's an illegal strike that lands because they don't feel like they're winning a fight. They They take the out. Come on, man. Aljo did do it um, against Cejudo where he was stalling on the ground. I mean, Henry could have just fucking blasted a knee into his head. That would stop that real quick. You know? Like, I'd rather, if, if a fighter's bent over against the cage, I'd rather have them protecting themselves. It's going to give up the body shots, but that's part of the game. You got to get away from the cage. You have to. You, gotta, you just got to get away from the cage. You can't just bend over, put your hand on a mat, and say, okay, I'm protecting my fucking body. Try to hit me in the head. Oh, wait, you're not allowed to. And you can only kick me and knee me in the legs. Like, it's just it's just weird, man. This is a fight. Now, I agree. All right, if you don't want to do soccer kicks, fine. You don't want to do headbutts, fine. If, even if you don't want to do 12 to 6 elbows, fine. But the grounded opponent, enough's enough, man. Enough. Because now fighters are manipulating the system. It, I mean, and I, I don't I don't blame them for doing it, you know. They just want to get the win, but I don't understand how Bohm earns any points with the UFC from a fight like this. You know, it's crazy. Like, if anything, the UFC's got to be like, I don't, you know, I don't know how many fights she has left on the roster, but that was just nuts. Holy smoke, that was crazy, man. Now get back, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track here, man. If you're just jumping in, the picture on the left is the original picture of Biggie Boy. It is not photoshopped. In fact, the picture that is photoshopped is the picture on the right. They took Biggie Boy's cock off the picture, guys. And we need to expose the UFC for this. We have visual evidence on Wednesday's stream. We went to the UFC website. It was not photoshopped. In fact, that was his big hog. Okay. They took it out in the picture on the right. They literally took his cock out of the picture because the MMA holes exposed him. They have turned my man into a Bud Light model. And we must hold the UFC accountable for this. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Why would they take his cock off the picture? I mean, what the heck kind of, what kind of organization is this? Cock gate, cock gate, a uh, cock phobic. Black cocks matter. I agree with all that. 
It's discrimination against the BBC, and I feel like the UFC should let the BBC fly. Craziness. Craziness. Could you freaking believe? And you think I'm going to let this go? You think I'm just going to sit here and let the UFC rip off the main event's cock? No. I don't stand for this. I don't think you should cancel a cock. I think if a man has a big cock bulging out of his fucking pants, he just let it sit there. Let the Just show it off. If a girl's got her breasts popping out of her top, is the UFC going to Photoshop the tits out? No. Cock lives matter. Cock lives matter. UFC. The Photoshop picture, you can't even make it up, is the right one. The right picture is Photoshopped. This needs to be shared all over the internet. Expose the UFC for this disgraceful photoshopping and chopping of peen. Next fight. Cody Stamen is 5'6", 5'7", is Andrade. Uh, 139, the weight for both boys. We got a catchweight fight over here, I guess. 33 years of age for Stamen. Man, he's still kind of young. It's crazy. Stamen's been around for a minute. 37 for Andrade. 68-inch reach for Silva de Andrade. And 64.5 for Stamen. Both orthodox fighters. They took his cock off, Suriname. They took his cock off. You should be very upset with the UFC Suriname. Why am I fit? Could you imagine that was you, Philip Tuck? It's a fitting name for this conversation. Could you imagine if that was you? Here you are fighting in the main event, biggest fight of your career, right? Against an up-and-comer, uh, Jalton Almeida. And they Photoshop your dick out of a picture and make you into a woman to publicly humiliate you? Could you imagine that as you? And you're trying to stop me from fucking bringing this up? Dude, you must drink Bud Light. You must be pro Bud Light. Round one, 420 on the clock. Puff, puff, pass as Cody Stamen throws the left and the left hook. I got Stamen by a decision in this fight. I was going back and forth. But I went with Cody. Cody's got that. Oh, nice uh, right hand to the chest of Andrade. Good start for Stamen. Stamen coming in a little aggressive here. And Andrade slowly circling around. Andrade's got power too. Stamen's got to be careful. Stamen's shooting in for a takedown. Andrade just spins him around and says, nope. And Andrade does a wild right hand that hits the gloves of Stamen. 3.47 on the clock. Inside leg kick Brazil. Cody tries to go to the body with the left. Cody Stamen. Cody, Cody, Cody. Cody, every time I win, is a decision Stamen. Cody eats one to the body. Cody comes back with the left. Nice left hand firing to the face of Andrade. Inside leg kick. Brazil. Oh, head kick coming in by Brazil. Left hook missing by Andrade. Stamen eats it. Now he's showing some more head movement as he tries to move in. Outside leg kick by Andrade. Andrade is just, wow, that right hand was goofy. Just ugh, throwing it in there. I don't know what the hell that was. Just hoping it connects, I guess. Misses by a mile. A lot of swinging and missing going on here. And there's a left hand. Whoa. Last swing and missing both ways. So they're saying Stamen is 2 for 11 and 7 for 24 in Drage. Wow. They're giving him no credit. I feel like they landed a little bit more than that. But there are some swinging and misses. Ah, yeah. You know what? They're still swinging and missing. There's an outside leg kick by Andrade. Uh, inside Andrade. Andrade doing a good job attacking the lower half of Stamen. Andrade is going to loop it in with the left. And misses on that. So Stamen showing some good footwork. Stamen tries to step into a right hand, but the kick lands outside of the left leg of Silva de Andrade. Andrade with a outside leg kick. So the leg kick seems to be the plan for Brazil. Uh, uh, 
I'm not saying you suck it or anything. I'm just saying you might hold it in your mouth till it went limp. You got some weird, there are weird fantasies coming out of you, man. Uh, I am sorry. I do not go that way, but whatever, whatever tickles your peen. <laughs> Never mind. They just gave me my win. Let's go boxing. Whoa, Stamen lifting up on Draj. Draj is upside down, and Stamen is trying to dump him on his head and drops him on his shoulder. Brazil rolling around from the bottom, and the up kick. Wow, that's an illegal shot. Hits Stamen in the face. Stamen was complaining to the refs, like, yo, bro, bro, illegal. And more illegal activity as the up kick lands, and Stamen now gets a, a, a second to. Yep, that just pushes off on the face of Stamen. Stamen realizes that's illegal. And now Stamen gets a second to recuperate. Stamen's good. And there we go. Stamen's like, yo, what the hell is that? And Andraj is like, I'm sorry. So they're back ready for action. Let me uh, sync this up at 125. Here we go. There it is. Oh, nice whipping jab by Stamen. Stamen moving in. Man, he's got to watch out because those wild strikes by Andrade, they connect. That could be a problem. Stamen was relying on his head movement there as a right hand slips in by Andrade, a left. Stamen could be losing this round. I mean, you're looking at the strikes. Andrade's definitely landing a lot more. Even though Stamen's the aggressor. There's a nice combo by Stamen uh, finishing with the right hand. Kick towards the body. This fight feels closer than the stats show. As we are only in the first round here. 47 seconds. And Stamen puts a kick towards the body as Andrade just punches through it. Um, Andrade's trying to kick to the body and Stamen just swoops over to the side. Matador style. Andrade shoots him for the takedown. Gets it late. Stamen rolls him over. Good defense and pops him with a left. Wow. Stamen just bucks him off and says nope. So no takedown there. As Stamen moves in. Comes in viciously with a right and left hand. Nice combination by Cody. Whoa! Spinning back fist by Andrade. Lands off the side of the head of Stamen. Stamen known for his big dwarf head. Can take a punch and he is eating a lot of strikes now by Andrade at the end. The knees and the, the lefts and elbow. Andrade resets. Damn. That's a close round, man. That's very close. <sighs> I mean, you look at the stats, you got to give it to Andraj. I just feel like what I've seen, it's it's closer than what the stats show. I guess, all right, I'll go Andraj, but I, I I do think this is a very close round. These guys are a bunch of crybabies. Just fight for the lay, legal kick. Uh, beat his ass. The ref and judge uh, of the UFC are really starting to disappoint. Uh, amateur level. Yeah, the, that ref did a really poor job. I agree with that. And the judges have been notoriously bad for a while. I hate this ref so much. <laughs> Pretty fun fight, though, especially from where we came from. 1-0 Brazil. Yeah, how you guys, how you guys uh, score in this fight? W what do you think got the first round? I mean, I'm going to give an edge to Brazil, but I'm not like, I'm not confident. Thank you, Dib Keith, for the subscribe. Appreciate uh, the subscribe over there. Sorry for the delay. I was uh, wrapped up in show. I was wrapped up in too much show and uh, congestion from this. this these allergies. He fucked up one of my small parlays and goat milk, so I want to hang the judge literally. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he really, he really messed up. There's no doubt about it. That's the thing with this game. Wonderful, the judges wonderful. and the refs, when they start determining things. Thank you, B-Man, for 237. Appreciate the donation. When the judges and refs start, you know, swinging the outcome of fights, it, it try. I don't. I feel like the it, that should be up to the fighters, you know. So if you have money on a fight, it is very frustrating for sure. But then if you're on the beneficial end of the judge or the ref, you know, it could it could go either way. Really, realistically. You, you could land on either side. So you could either hate a judge for screwing up or love a judge for screwing up. And we have do both situations in the chat. So 
So four minutes on the clock. Cody shoots him for the takedown, and Andrade just squirms away, spins around, says, nope, no takedown there. 355, second round. Yeah, it's like this fight over here, even though they're hitting each other, like the, the fights that are connecting, I mean the uh, punches that are connecting, are you know pretty savage. But I, I don't feel the... I don't feel knockout. Like, I don't feel it right now. I just feel destined for decision, you know. So, we'll see how this thing plays out, but I would be shocked if there was a finish. Inside leg kick on Draj, and Cody tries to go in for a takedown, hits him with a nice left hand. They separate right back to the center. 3.23 on the clock. Cody trying to move in. Andrade just pushes him off. Cody keeps coming forward. Oh, nice right hand by Andrade. That cracks the left side of the face of Cody Stamen. Andrade hits him with a left, but that hits the blocking arm, the right arm of Cody. 305 on the clock. Catch weight bout between the boys. As Cody and Andrade looking filled out here from the extra couple of pounds. Whoa, right over the top by Andrade, just giving Cody a haircut there. 250 on the clock. Inside leg kick by Andrade. On paper, oh, beautiful body hot, uh, shot by Andrade, man. The meat hook, left hand to the body, rips in. I think we're going to see more of that from the Brazilian trying to slow down Cody. Cody's been very aggressive. The uppercut misses, but the left hand lands. Andrade follows it with a leg kick. Andrade is showing a, he's showing a lot of volume here. You know, he's not a spring chicken here. And Cody tags him. Oh, Andrade backs up. So Cody's trying to wait for Andrade to make a mistake. And he connects there. He hits him with a flying knee. Cody definitely looks like he's got more spunk, more pep in the step. Couple of left hands by Stamen. Landing on the face of Andrade. Nice body shot by Andrade again. Kick to the body by Andrade. Andrade keeps on winging that right hand over the top and missing. So we're in the second round with under two minutes now. MMA holes reacting. Uh, Misfit Prelim <laughs> Stop it Are you really Is that the uh, KSI Event No way You watch <laughs> That craziness man That shit has Jerry Springer Written all over it I was watching A little of the press conference The girls I thought they were gonna Fucking start Finger blasting each other It was bizarre It was like I was watching a porno <clears throat> Which is not a bad thing Of course But Anyway 122 on the clock, Stamen versus Andrade. Guys, if you want to watch this, we got a link pinned in the live chat, ESPN+. Plus. Main card's going to be on uh, ABC. I hope they keep this on ABC for me, too. I mean, on ESPN+, Plus for me. Very nice combination by Andrade, but Cody Stamen just walking through these things. One minute on the clock, and Stamen moving in. Stamen is the aggressor, but Andrade is landing more. You know, some that aggression doesn't really mean much if you're not landing anything. There's an inside leg kick by Andrade, and Cody Stamen puts an inside leg kick. This fight is it's very close to me. With 40 seconds left in a round, I'm just going to say 1-1. I mean, it's very close. Either round could go either way. I mean, let's see who finishes this one stronger. Stamen with a nice combo there. But... Yeah, I'm going to say round two, Stamen, round one, Brazil. You could mix and match if you'd like, but let me know what you're scoring it so far. We've got 17 seconds left. Cody trying to finish strong with a takedown. Andrade wide legs against the cage. So he stops it for the time being. I don't think Cody's going to get this. But let's see. Six seconds. Cody's trying to trip him down. And Andrade stays upright. Okay, that's over. Right? No clear winner. I think it's very close. But 1-1. One, one. Uh, technical fight? Yeah. Here's my thing with Cody Stamen. He's he's very aggressive. Right? Um, he's always pushing forward. And, you know, he he's looking for the kill. But I always feel Cody Stamen's, like, just decision, decision. Like, when he wins. You know? Even though he got the knockout on Wineland. Wineland's, you know, he's old news, man, when he fought Cody. Cody had a minus 45. DraftKings, 19 to 19. Two O Silva, way more strikes both rounds. He did land more, but I think Cody got round two. I do think Co round two. Wow, another two zero Silva. Okay, Stamen needs to do more. Wow. All right, how many people think that Silva got first two rounds? Snowbunny, I'll get back to the cock in a second. Don't worry, I got you, man. I got you. 
I know I know people love it. I mean, it's like Cockgate is real. The the entire if you're not into cock, I mean, this might not be the stream for you. But if uh, Biggie Boy, ha the left picture, not photoshopped, the right picture is, the UFC has removed the picture of Biggie Boy's cock. And we will not stop until the UFC apologizes for taking that cock out, okay? I got you, Snow Bunny. I got you. Don't worry. It's with the, I, I'm, I'm for the people. Like, Matt Frivola is for the people in the UFC. I'm for the people on YouTube, okay? I got you. I'm the people's champ over here. I got you. I will not stop unless I get justice. Justice justice for Biggie Boy's schlong. We will make sure we get a written statement from the Dana White himself. Mine isn't nice, nobody. Unfortunately, I wish I could I wish I can, you know, say it is. Maybe that it's cock envy with me, you know. That that his his could make such an impression on the pants. I put it on. I people think I'm. If you look at me, waist down. If I were to shave my legs, you think female. Might as well put a thong on me. I got very skinny legs and a, and a, a, a very a not very intimidating cock. <laughs> but that's why that's why I keep this desk over here to cover my non intimidating cock. <laughs> but thank God I have sheath underwear. To make that that small pecker very happy. Oh, nice left hand by Stamen. Backing up Andrade. Who wants it more? Some people in the chat say Stamen's down to zip. So does Stamen need... Oh, beautiful spinning kick to the body by Andrade landing. Andrade trying to finish strong now. Oh, boy. 320 left. Who's going to win this decision? Because no one's getting knocked out. That is just not on the... That's not, a, that's not on the, the menu. For this fight, at least. Stamen showing a little damage on his nose. He is still aggress aggressive. Although I feel Andrade fighting... I was going to say a little bit smarter, but I don't know. He's having a little more success, I would say. Oh, Stamen cracks him with the left hand. Holy shit, I might eat my words. Andrade is really hurt. He's down on the ground. He rolls over. He is definitely hurt. And Stamen cracks him with a couple elbows. Wow, he is not feeling good right now. And Stamen is trying to put the man in the dirt. He is inside the guard. Well, Andraj got popped twice. I don't know how he didn't go out. And Brazil has Stamen inside the guard. Peen to peen, biggie boy to biggie boy. Elbows from the top by Stamen. Who knows? Maybe Stamen will make me eat my words. 210. Wow. That's a big sequence there. And Andrade is now trying to attack the legs of Stamen. Stamen might be better off just getting back up. But let's see. Oh, Stamen is... He's trying to manipulate the legs for a mount. And Andrade just bursts from the bottom. Stamen tries to get the backside. He puts a hook in, Stamen. 147 on the clock. And another burst. Man, that is crazy, man. The way the Brazilian just bursts and spins. Now Stamen on top half guard. So Stamen has the top position. Andrade's trying to stay active from the bottom. But that was big for Cody. Big, big, big sequence there. And Andrade just pulls him into guard now. It's kind of crazy when you see these Brazilians. You know, they're in a really bad spot. But they could always find themselves in the safest position. Now he's not out of trouble. He's trying to buck him off. And there we go. He's right back up. Wow. The almost 40-year-old gets back up, and he is fighting very aggressive as he gets back on the feet. And Andrade is just trying to wing anything forward to connect. One minute on the clock, and this fight has gotten very interesting. As Andrade comes forward back from the dead, Cody Stamen hits him with a left. Yeah, entertaining finish. Wow, Andrade is trying to go for the home run right and the home run left, missing on both. So many wild swings and misses, though, by Andraj. 163 strikes thrown. 69 now. 81 landed. Uppercut left hand. Wow, Andraj is trying to back up Cody, and then Cody cracks him with the right. Andraj with the right. In the pocket. Both boys swing. Body shot by Andraj. Cody with the head kick. Left hand Andraj. Left hand Stamen. 
20 seconds left. A spinning kick to the body by Andrade. Andrade moving in. Cody tries to hit him with a hook. Misses on that. Andrade's walking him down. As Andrade is a plus 200, he walks Cody forward. He's eating him up with the right hands. Both guys with kicks to the body. Simultaneous. Andrade with a flying knee. Wow, where did Andrade get this energy? What an ending to the round, baby. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Okay. Who invited Eddie Machetti back here? Who invited him back? After he does... Eddie, after I gave you the actual clip of the stream that you denied saying those horrible things about my daughter... You denied it. Do you have anything nice to say before I execute you again? Before I execute you again, before I lop off your head. Do you have an apology? Bend the knee, bruh. Bend the knee. Eddie of the chat, not Ed Boy. Edward A.B. Let's be cool. Okay. Will you apologize not only for saying horrible things about my daughter, okay, but will you apologize for lying in the last stream, in the comment section, lying in the Discord, accusing me of not saying the truth? Oh, you folly. You're sorry that I feel that way. Well, I'm sorry to do this, but get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here! Get out of here! What a cunt! Anyway, scores? Unanimous decision? I think Cody's got it. <gasps> Whoa! Andrade got it! <laughs> Andrade got it! Oh my god! Wow, Cody looking stunned. Andrade got it. Mama Mia. I, I think one in three were Cody. He looks very stunned. But listen, you go to the judges in a fight that was very competitive. Andrade did outstrike him. Although this is per round. It's not. Anyway. All right. It is what it is. It is what it is. Outstriking, though, does not. So this is the thing. It's not. I, I keep on saying this over and over again. It's not the overall strikes. It tells some of the story, but it's not completely accurate. You go by round. 10-point scoring system each round. I don't agree, but I don't care. More importantly, Rosen Strikes cock was taken out of this picture, guys. Okay? And um, if justice is not served, we're going to have to go to the UFC headquarters. We're going to have to go to the training facility and tape this picture all over the facility. This needs this needs to be everywhere. In fact, I'm going to make this should I make this the <laughs> on Twitter, should I make this our <laughs> should I make this our our header or whatever the hell this is called up here? <laughs> Until they respond and apologize. <laughs> should I should I put it up there? <clears throat> uh he's still talking about his Suriname. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a joke that, that goes throughout the whole stream. Because uh, you know, people are gonna be coming in later on. Suriname represent your boy got his cock ripped off. I mean, that's the least we could do is justice for Suriname's cock. Let's look over at goat milk. Oh, my goat milk's about to spoil here. Let's see. So, that's all right. It's okay. I just got to win some bets. That's that's all I'm looking for. Man, this is a rough. This is turning into a rough day for me. A decision I don't agree with. A point deduction ruining Kim. Jessica Rose Clark completely sucks. And Brian Battle's the only guy that got me a victory over here. So a rough start, a bumpy start, but it's okay because I got the goat, Chase Sherman. 
That's right. I got the goat Chase Sherman. I got money on him. <laughs> I'm looking to bounce back in the win column over here with the greatest fighter to ever do it at heavyweight. The guy that got cut and then came back to the UFC. Chase Sherman could indeed be the herpes of the UFC. He just keeps coming back. My man's almost at 500 resume. He's looking to bounce back against the guy that is only 8-1. and one, That may not even... I mean, he almost didn't get a contract in the UFC from the Contender Series. But he's got one, and he's a massive favorite over Chase. So I couldn't resist that plus money. I had to drop the bet. I got Sherman, a big $10 bet to win almost $30, guys. So let's go, Chase. That's where I'm going with. I'm going Sherman knockout round two. Now, more importantly, let's go over to Goat Milk. And let's see if there's uh, any movement over here. Classy Choke in the lead with 275. Congrats. Oh, super chat. Okay. I said 15 times I posted and tagged you on Twitter. You said 15 times you posted and tagged. Let me check this out. What do we got? What do we got? What did you tag? Oh, let's go, champ. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on a second. All right. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a retweet over here. All right, we need we need an explanation for this. So I'm going to like and retweet. I, if this is you, thank you very much. Tag us. Guys, if you're on Twitter, I need you to tag us and this image. Okay? We need justice. Also do hashtag. Uh, what's their hashtag? Is it UFC... What's what's their hashtag? Is it you? I guess it's UFC Charlotte. I guess it would be UFC Charlotte. Justice for Biggie Boy. Justice for Biggie Boy. Tag us on Twitter. I'm gonna retweet anyone that tags us in this picture. Anyone, anyone that gives us a retweet on this, or or just tags us or whatever. Put up the picture. Give it a retweet. We need to find out what's going on over here. And there he goes. He puts UFC Charlotte. Good job, Ryan. Very nice, nicely done. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. What the hell is going on? No, it's not, he doesn't. Have, listen, we dissected this on Wednesday before they rudely took it away from us. His cock and nuts are so big. They're pushed to the side, right? And you could only see one bulging nut coming out of there. The other nut is just squished into his body. I mean, this looks like a very painful situation. So what did the UFC decide to do? They decided to just take it off of him and give him a vagina. How dare they? Not wonderful, wonderful. Anyway, here we go. Carl Williams versus Chase Sherman. Let's get back to business here. 6-3 Williams, 6-4 Sherman. 254, the weight of Sherman. 239 for Williams. 33 for both boys. 79 to reach for Williams. 78 for Sherman. Orthodox. Sponsored by Sheath Underwear. Okay, who you got, Williams or Sherman? Chase Sherman, a man who I do not recommend putting money on. Well, I did. I dropped $10 on him. Chase Sherman, <laughs> here we go again. Here's another L for me. Round one has begun. Who wants it more? Sherman in the blue wrapped gloves. And Williams in the red. Williams starting off with the right hand over the top. So Williams got that chin tucked in. He's throwing that left hand out there now. Williams, very light on the feet, bounces and resets. Sherman throwing the jab forward. Williams looks like a scary dude, man, as he's got that vicious stance. He looks like he's packing a lot of power, throws the hook in there, and Sherman backs up. Williams shoots him for the takedown, and Sherman stops it for the time being. Williams trying to go all in on this takedown. Chase trying to spin off the fence. Nice right hand by Williams, and Sherman's like, yo, you messed up my hair. 
So Sherman fixes the hair and moves in. So far, Williams starting off pretty good, throwing the jab out there. Chase trying to throw the jab in. Chase with an outside leg kick after a left hand. Looking a little frustrated landing that combination. Keith Peterson, the referee. Man, they picked a really small ref to take on these big boys. I don't know what Keith Peterson's going to do if anything really pops off. Wow. Wow. Williams, like, with that right hand setting it up, man. He looks like he wants to smoke Sherman with that thing. Williams shoots in with the takedown. Oh, Sherman. Ah, oh, God damn it. Sherman's down. Sherman's down. He's looking to get back up. He's on his knees, and he is back up. Good job by Sherman getting back up to the feet as Williams goes aggressively for that takedown. Williams with control against the cage, and Sherman stuck in place. We are in the first round. Sherman is a big-time underdog here. $10 on the line, and Sherman spins him around, hits him with a knee, and they separate. Sherman fixes his package and moves back to the center. Williams greets him there. So Sherman, who is uh, holding a little bit more weight on his body, it seems like that's helping him with the uh, getting back up. And but, it, but Williams looks like the bigger guy, man. Sherman hits him with the right hand. Sherman with the outside leg kick. So Sherman trying to mix it up. I did feel that Sherman was the better striker. That's why I picked him on this. But Sherman's not very good. We, we've known what Sherman has done in the UFC. He's still pretty young, though. Sherman trying to come in there. Both guys are 33 years of age, and Williams hits him with the left. This is a big opportunity for Williams to make a splash in the UFC. Only 8-1-0. As he throws the right hand in there, Sherman steps back. Nice leg kick by both boys. They both land. Sherman throws the left to right. Oh, here comes Williams, and Sherman tries to use the head movement, ducks underneath. Williams is coming in hot with the hands. Sherman throwing the right in there on the face of Williams. Sherman with the left, the right, nice leg kick. Like how he finishes his strikes with the leg kick. Beautiful job by Sherman with the combination there. There's the jab. Okay, Sherman, here we go. This is what we need you to do. Get that boxing going. Oh, here comes Williams with the right and left. Man, Williams is just throwing more heat in those punches. Sherman just piecing him up with points, whereas Williams looking to take his head off. 145 on the clock. Chase moves in with the one-two, backs up Williams. Williams, ooh, walks into a left by Sherman. That got Williams' attention. Here comes Williams with the heavy hands upstairs. Chase's head is like on a T, man. He's not really moving it too much. Oh, Chase tags him with a nice right hand. That stumbles the legs of Williams as he backs and resets to the other side of the cage. Sherman eating him on the way in, and Sherman just keeps on fixing the hair. He's like, bro, I just got this fresh fade, bro. Sherman trying to come in. Now Williams going for the takedown. Wow, big takedown for Williams. He leaps in on Chase, and Chase trying to push him off. Let's see. He's been successful getting up every time, but now Williams has the half guard on the top. Massive takedown Ugh, at the end of the round, 102 on the clock, and Sherman trying to get back up. Williams looking to hold him in place. Williams hits him with a nice left hand. 53 seconds on the clock. As Chase is trying to scoot the hips out to the side, Williams is hitting him with some lefts. Oh, nice left again by Williams. Williams trying to do some damage. Chase trying to hit from the bottom. Chase Hooten scooping the hit out to the side, but Williams just keeps him there with lefts. Oof. Williams hitting from the top. 35 seconds left. Williams is about to win this round as Chase is trying to get back to the cage. Williams does a good job staying on top. More left hands coming in from the big heavyweight. 20 seconds left in the round. Man, that was a beautiful takedown by Williams. He was trying to set it up over and over again. Finally gets the most important one at the end of the round. Now he's landing some points with some lefts again. Sherman slowly trying to get back up. He eats some vicious left hands by Williams. And Sherman gets back up. Sherman pushes him off. And they both reset with one second on the clock. They high-five each other. Chase fixes the hair once again. Shows some damage over here. One zip in favor of Williams. Not surprised. But don't worry. Chase will knock him out in a second. <laughs> Have no fear. Second round, Chase got him. Ah, guy Chase. Chase, yeah. Chase, you know. He did get cut by the UFC. He won like a bare knuckle belt. Then got back in the UFC and still kept losing. And I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. But I was hoping experience would take play here like with the Jessica Rose Clark thing apparently experience means nothing these days 
But we'll see. We'll see what the vanilla gor gorilla can do. He's got to stop fixing his hair. Yeah, he cares more about his hair than the fight. Every time he gets popped, he's like, yeah, bro, my hair. But Chase is a tough dude. He could take a punch. So um, I'm curious of the gas tank of Williams as his fight progresses. Uh, Chase is, he is a dog, man. That's one thing about him. He is a dog. So we will see where this fight goes as we get ready for the second round. Round two. $10 on the line, guys. Fingers crossed. Now, the first two bets on this card I was very worried about. Actually, a lot of the bets I made I was worried about. Like, even the Matt Brown one. Not very convinced, but I did it anyway. Anthony Smith I felt good about. Uh, actually, you know, Jessica Rose Clark, she should have fucking won that fight. She just completely sucks. And uh, I dropped the ball on that. But let's see if Chase will redeem me here as Williams comes in with the right. Williams goes to the body. Chase tried to counter with the right hand. Williams is frustrating uh, Chase over here as Chase is trying to move in. Williams is backing up. He's waiting to counter. So as Chase is being aggressive, Williams is waiting for him to make a mistake. 414 on the clock. A nice kick to the body by Williams. Williams resets and backs up. Left hand sliding in, just missing the face of Chase. This fight was supposed to happen on a previous card. Oh, man. Nice combo by Williams there. And Chase got bounced back and forth by the knuckles. Oh, man. Here, Chase is trying to lead up with the right. And Williams just grabs the body. This could be big. If Williams could get this takedown, this could be massive. Chase gets an underhook and tries to spin off the fence. And Williams is like, okay. Chase fixes the hair. <laughs> Moves forward. 340 on the clock. So far, Williams is winning. Both fighters checking each other out. As Williams throws the left in there, Chase just swipes it away. Sherman swipes away another left hand. Chase a little reluctant on going in there. Yeah, he's got to get back to that. Finishes it with the leg kick. Another leg kick. Yeah, just keep working on those legs, Chase. Oh, man, Williams with a nasty combo right on the face of Chase. And Chase just eats it. Chase eats a stiff jab by Williams. Another left hand by Williams. Chase is just a punching bag right now. Oh, <laughs> come on, Chase. Come on, bro. He's walking down Williams. Williams is kind of huffing and puffing, resetting, and then just loads up with the right hand on Chase. So Chase is eating some heavy shots by Williams. But there we go. Chase with that leg kick. I do think that if he keeps on spamming the leg kick, it doesn't seem like Williams likes that. Williams resets to the other side of the cage. And Chase backs up and ducks underneath a right hand by Williams. 240 on the clock. Nice left hook. Oh, there's that leg kick again. Spins around Williams. He does not like the leg kick. Chase has got to finish all those strikes with the leg kick. There's a leg kick by Williams. Another leg kick by Williams. So Williams trying to give it back to Chase now. And Williams comes in with the left after a leg kick. Chase walking forward. <laughs> Sherman hits him with that leg kick again. Chase got to keep going with that thing. Chase is walking down Williams. Williams trots to the other side of the cage. Chase comes in with that leg kick again. Rips it. And, and Williams is, oh, nice left hand. Chase gets to the body, spins around Williams. Now Williams to the body, spins around Chase. Chase gets wide legs, and Williams drives the shoulder in. Chase hits him with a couple of shots to try to separate. Tries to put a knee in there. Williams tries to grab the knee. Williams is still trying to go for the takedown against the fence. 145 left in the first round. So Chase doing a good job with the takedown defense, and Williams resets back to the center. So good job by Chase staying up on the feet here. You don't want Williams to take you down late like he did in the first round. Interesting round here between the boys as Williams throws the left in there. It could come down. If Chase could finish this round strong, he could win it. But he's got to get going. And both fighters are kind of huffing and puffing as Williams walks backwards. Chase got to get back to that leg kick. There it is. The leg kick lands again. I mean, Williams is not even trying to check it as Williams throws a jab, jab in there. And Chase was threatening to throw the elbow as he comes in. He's walking down Williams. Williams backs up again. Williams tries with the right and lands it. The right hand comes in on Chase. That lands on the dome of Sherman. Early fights here. Sherman moving forward. Sherman got to come on. Keep going with that leg kick, man. As Williams charges in, Sherman just shrugs him aside. And nice left hand by Williams and then a right hand by Chase. 
That has Williams trotting around the cage. Reset. Nice jab by Chase. Williams shoots him for a takedown. That's tough. Oh, nut shot. Ah, oh, Williams with the nut shot. Stop the clock. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on, man. Come on. So Chase on the ground. We got a cup shot here. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got in there. Oof. Oof, yeah. Oh, my God. It rubbed it right up. Like, oh, okay. I thought that was a... All right. Oh, my God. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. The first angle didn't look like it. That's a sack. Ouch. 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 <laughs> Ouch. You know, you really didn't have to hit me in the pussy. Come on, everybody. Sing along. Cop shot. That really fucking hurt. Cop shot. Why did you do that? Cop shot. My balls are inside out. Cop shot. My penis is in pain. Cop shot. Cop shot. Yeah, the first angle, it didn't look like it. It looked like it, it just kind of maybe grazed a little bit and hit like the could have been a liver shot. But um, the second angle, it definitely looked like the knee really pushed up on that cup, pulling the bulls into the body. So Chase is good. Both fighters. So here's the problem. Both fighters had to have a chance to recuperate. So the guys are getting a little tired at the end of that round. Whoa, Sherman trying to move in here as Williams is throwing some heavy stuff. Sherman with the 1-2. Sherman coming forward. Sherman hits him with the right. Sherman walking him down. Hands by the hips. And Williams just resetting. I got to be honest with you. I think we got split. I think one Williams, two Sherman. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the chat. Close round, but I got 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Let me know. Let me know what you think. Sherman sh stopped all the takedowns in the, in the second. Hand injury? Who's got the injury? 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 one. Okay, so this could come down to the last round. Come on, baby. Ten. I got a big $10 on the line here. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Who wants it more? Yeah, those leg kicks were the most significant strikes, I thought. I just kind of wish... I think Sherman's a little reluctant, too, to keep going with those because maybe Williams will catch the leg and get the takedown. <clears throat> we got one two zip, but mostly one one's in the chat. Are they pointing to his... Ah, oh, fuck. Is Sherman working with an injury? That would be my luck. <clears throat> All right, we'll see. So left hand... Okay, here we go. Round three. So, let's see. Does he have a hand injury? I'm going to keep an eye on that left hand. So, the jab's coming out by Williams. Oh, Sherman with a nice left hand followed by that leg kick again. Yeah, just keep chopping at that thing. You can see a little damage on the leg. Oh, beautiful right hand by Williams. Williams trying to go all in and then shoots him for the takedown. And Chase just grabs on his nuts and comes in forward. Chase comes in with the left. Oh, nice right hook by Sherman. That circles around Williams. Williams charged it with the left hand on the chin. Then backs up. Williams has a very awkward style. Oh, nice left hand by Williams. Beauty. Coming to the face of Sherman. Then a left hand to the body by Chase. Damn, like I said, Chase could take a punch, man. It's pretty nuts. That's pretty. That's going to be frustrating, man. Williams landed very flush there, and Chase just absorbs it. Chase pushing Williams around. Williams stops. And then resets, backs up to the cage. Sherman moving in. Oh, nice left hand. Oh, nice left hand again by Williams. Damn, Williams is doing a good job landing and moving. Just resetting to the other side. And Chase just follows him over there. Oh, there we go again. Nice left hand by Williams. Damn, Chase is getting popped. Chase got to turn up, man. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting nailed. Chase trying to come forward with the jab. Trying to go to the body. Williams backing up. There's a right hand by Sherman. Stumbles in. Williams with a good left. Williams is getting the better on the feet. Williams doing a really good job in his third round. Three minutes and 19 seconds. Chase moving in. Chase hits him with a left. 
There's that leg kick again, and here comes Chase. Combinations, but the threat of the takedown stops the flurry. Nice knee to the body by Sherman. Williams goes for two legs. Oh, the w legs. So now Sh Williams is going for a single leg, and here comes elbows by Chase. On the side of the head, ripping him is Sherman, and Williams is trying to go so hard for this single leg. High up on the crotch of Sherman. Sherman is defending. So Williams with control against the cage with 246 on the clock. Chase is trying to escape. He sprawls onto the knees right back up. Williams drives the shoulder in. Wide leg Sherman this time. And Sherman sprawls and uses that weight on the back. Pushes Williams off. Shoves him away. And Williams just trots over to the other side of the cage. Great defense by Sherman. Moving in. Williams unsuccessful again. One for eight for takedowns. The one takedown that landed won the round, the first round for Williams. Nice left hand by Williams there as Chase is just walking into punches. But if you look at the strikes, 88 to 70. But 86 of them significant for Williams. And there's another nasty leg kick by Sherman. Oof, that leg, man. Sherman, keep going with that thing. There's a kick to the body by Sherman that backs up Williams. 150 on the clock. Chase moving in. It's kind of a dogfight going on here. As Williams shoots in for the takedown, Chase stops it and just pushes him off. That's got to be exhausted, man, trying to stop all those takedowns. There's William with a left. And then Williams backs up. Sherman moves forward. Left hand again by Williams. And then there's a nice left hook by Sherman. Hits him with a leg kick again. Sherman to the body with the left. As Williams throws the left hand out simultaneously, there's a nice left by Williams. Landing on Chase. Another nice one by Williams on the face of Sherman. Sherman walks him down. Sherman huffing and puffing as Williams trots to the other side of the cage. Resets. 110 on the clock. Chase moving in. Heavyweight action as Williams hits him with the left. Williams is fighting way smarter, man. Chase hits him with that leg kick again. Chase coming in and Williams ducks underneath. Resets. Chase moving forward. 55 seconds on the clock. Nice left hand by Williams. Chase, you got to fucking wake up, bro. You got to wake up because Williams is winning this round. Chase looks up at the clock. He's huffing and puffing. Chase looking exhausted out there. And there's the right hand by Williams again. Williams backs up with the hands down. And Chase moves in. Another one. Williams lands again. Uh, there goes that. Chase is about to lose his fight as he comes forward with the jab. Chase comes in with the left again. Williams stomps on the lead leg. A nice left hand by Williams. Chase moves into it. Chase comes in with the jab, stops the takedown, tries to hit him in the knee with a Muay Thai clinch. Williams spins around. Chase huffs and puffs, moves forward. <laughs> Chase hits him with the jab. A nice leg kick again, pushes Williams off. Williams resets to the other side of the cage. Oh, nice right hand by Williams. Cracks on, I mean, uh, by Chase, excuse me, cracks on Williams. Now Chase with control against the cage. Both fighters are tired here. That is the end of the fight. Yeah, Williams won. Williams won. Oh, my God. Yeah, Williams won. No doubt about it, man. <laughs> Chase, what are we doing? Ah, uh, God, Sherman. Wah, wah. <laughs> Chase. Oh, my God, dude. All right, we're going to go to the judges. There's your scores over here. Williams did a very nice job in that third round, man. Very, very nice job. So here's the thing. Let me just say this. Okay, let me just say this. Um, for a guy that was a massive favorite, a minus 400, he kind of didn't fight like that. Now, he did enough to win for sure, but I got to be honest with you. Carl Williams is not very good. He's just way better than Chase. You know, he's uh, Chase, is, Chase is a mess. He's a mess. So many problems with Chase's game. The late kicks were working, and then he's just like, ah, I'm not going to do that anymore. He's a mess. But the one thing that Chase did well was stop the takedowns. I would say that all those takedown attempts tired out Chase. You know, he kept on stuff and stuff and stuff, and he had that problem in the first round. So Williams had a good game plan, got in there, got the job done. Okay, let's hear the scores. Let's get a corrupt scoring. Keith Peterson's like, come on, boys, let's go. We don't have time for this, especially with ABC coming. All right, Bruce with the scores. Fingers crossed for a robbery. Scorecards. <laughs> 
30-27. Oh my god. Well. Williams got the win. There, 30-27. Like, well, there goes that. Chase and Jessica Rose Clark should get together and have a baby. Right? I thought Chase won at least one round. I did, but it doesn't matter. Chase, he shit the bed. He shit the bed. Him, I think Chase, one's in the chat if you think Chase and Jessica Rose Clark should get together and make babies and make, they could make the worst UFC fighter of all time. Right? Chase Sherman, Jessica Rose Clark, they make a kid. It could literally be the worst baby of, anyway. Okay. Okay. All right, we're just we're we're fumbling here. We're fumbling the bag, but it's okay because I got four more bets, <laughs> and I don't know why I bet on Matt Brown either, but I did. I did. Immortal. He's a legend, so I did. I just did it. Okay, leave me alone. I did it. I pulled the trigger, and I went for Matt Brown for the win over Court McGee. Although a Court McGee decision makes a lot of sense, but I went with Matt Brown. For the hell of it. I dropped 15 bucks on Matt Brown. The immortal one. Let's try to bounce back with a dub with Matt Brown. We still have bets that can get me over plus Money Moss again. I made a lot of bets tonight for today's uh, stream. So, not worried. I'll bounce back. But we'll see. As Matt Brown here, a, a plus 180 on Tapology. I had him at... What did I have Matt as? I had Matt at a... Plus 174. Okay. So close. <clears throat> All right. Who you pick it on this? Let me look at goat milk real quick. I tell you this card though. I had a lot of high expectations for the card itself. And I feel like we're kind of getting not what I we signed up for. I don't know. So here is, uh, I think, Classy Choke. Are you in? For, no. Uh, Tony Pring. First place with 340. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to release these allergies from my nose. So let me just put this over here real quick. Actually, let me change this before we get into the next fight. I cannot breathe. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Round one. <clears throat> Damn, Zertak is doing nothing for me today. I think Jesse might be in the mix. She says she's putting the baby for a nap. All right, I'll be right back in one second. Okay. Oh my god. I can't breathe. What do I do, guys? How do I get rid of these allergies? Matt Brown, six foot. Court McGee, 5'11. Both guys 170 championship weight. 42 is the age of Brown, the immortal one, and McGee, 38. Senior citizen fight, 75 inch reach for both guys. Orthodox. Virtually identical. Okay. Guys, if you could do me a favor. Okay. Oh, it's all in my head. Yeah, I did nose spray this morning. I just I just blew my nose and I feel like my brain just came out of my nose. Um 
Guys, if you are having some fun today, or if you feel bad for my allergies, hit the like button over there. We're looking for 420 likes. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. 78,300, we unleashed the dragons tonight. Uh, this is UFC on ABC, UFC Charlotte, uh, and Matt Brown is being announced by Bruce Buffer. Let me know who you have in this fight, who you think's going to win. <clears throat> this fight don't go out of the first. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, if you think this is not going to go out of the first, then you would say Matt Brown's going to win this fight. Because I feel like Matt Brown is capable of a finish. But I did pick Brown by a decision. I, I do feel this is going to be a decision, but we'll see. By the way, this card is not really getting people excited to tune in on ABC, you know. But I think this fight should be very good. So Court McGee is very good at decisions. And Matt Brown, well, Matt Brown is a legend, man. Matt Brown's been around for a minute. 42 years of age, still doing it over here. Court McGee trying to come in aggressive with the body shots. So let's go. Who do you got? Who do you got in this fight? Or who do you have would be proper English. Brown bouncing around here. We're looking for 420 with the likes as Brown slips in the leg kick. Spins around, throws the jab. Court McGee trying to move in. Every time I see Court McGee, I think Dude Perfect. I think of that weird, annoying guy in Dude Perfect with the beard. Dude Perfect could be possibly the most annoying group of men on this earth. Hey, guys, let me throw a Frisbee 500 miles into a basketball hoop. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's my Dude Perfect impersonation. I'm going to shove this golf ball up my anus and then sh and then fart it out into a fucking soccer net. Whoa, <laughs> dude, perfect. Sorry. 350 on the clock. Court McGee moving in. Court McGee, he's threatening, but he's not pulling the trigger as Matt Brown hits him with a leg kick. Dan Mergliot is your ref. Nice leg kick by Brown, but Court McGee grabs around the body looking for a takedown. Matt trying to stop it. McGee gets him. Down on a knee. And Matt Brown trying to get back up as Court McGee is looking for the neck. The immortal one pulls the leg out for the time being. Matt Brown is trying to fight the hands here, trying to get back up. Court McGee wisely trying to go for the back, and Matt does get back up. I wonder, does Matt Brown have Mark Coleman in his corner? The hammer? McGee hitting him with the knees to the hamstring. I'm very invested in this. Not only do I have 15 bucks on a geriatric Matt Brown, but it's been a minute since he's fought. Nice right hand by McGee. McGee controlling against the fence, and Brown is trying to stop the takedown. Brown doing a job getting back up to the feet, but McGee has a strong hold against the cage. The younger man holding Matt in place with the underhook and trying to hit him with some left hands. Brown is putting pressure on the right arm of McGee. Looking to get off the fence with 225, but McGee doing a very good job grinding on Brown and hitting him with left hands. Court McGee, a pretty sizable favorite here against Matt. As Matt is huffing and puffing, trying to get away from the cage. McGee is going for a one leg. Matt doing a good job stopping the takedown attempt, but he is stuck against the fence. He's huffing and puffing already, Brown, trying to control his breathing, looking around, saying, how do I get off this cage? As McGee is holding him there. Play a funny sound effect while they're fighting? Okay. Pearl cream. Little pearl cream. You like that? How about this? Pearl cream. How about a little pearl cream? You want pearl cream? Pearl cream. You like that? Okay, there you go. I, I'm here to please. Knee to the body by Brown, and McGee says, let's separate. He didn't like it. So McGee comes in with the one-two, and Brown fixes his trunks, moves forward. McGee tries for the head kick that's blocked by Brown. The immortal one moving in. God damn, he looks old. Matt Brown just slowly walking forward. Matt Brown looks like a he looks like a skeleton from a video game. Like he looks like one of those, I don't know, not a boss, but oh, nice leg kick by Brown. And there's a leg kick by McGee. He looks like a henchman. Right? Doesn't Matt Brown look like a henchman? Slowly moving forward. Nice kick to the body by Brown. Matt Brown, can, he can play guitar, man. He does look old, man. He does look a little old out there. But credit to Brown. Still competing at the highest of levels. 
Matt's slowly moving forward as McGee is giving him the Oh the right hand by Brown oh! Brown knocked him out He knocked him out cold He knocked him out cold Holy shit Oh my god Matt Brown just knocked out Court McGee cold Holy shit And I'm getting yelled at by Jesse It's okay it's, it's a knockout Matt Brown holy fuck Oh my god that shocked the fuck out of me and ladies and gentlemen plus money moss is back baby we're back immortal immortal what put him in the hall of fame now put him in the hall of fame right now Let me watch this again. Right hand. Bang! Right on the nose. And McGee is just like, down. Oh, ba-bang! McGee folded. And he just gave up. He's like, I'm good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I was saying, listen, Matt Brown wins this fight. The best way is a knockout. And Mark Coleman, holy smokes, Plus, money, Moss does it again. Yes. Woo. Let's go. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Wow. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. Holy smokes, man. It feels good. I'm back in business. Back in business. In fact, I should be even now from losing the first bets. Right? So I have replenished from picking that underdog the uh, tomfoolery that was the previous bets. So I've erased the Chase Sherman and Jessica Rose Clark. I'm good. Matt Brown has put me back in good standings. I'm kind of even there now. So now I need to hit on my next bets. This is why I make six bets. I made seven bets actually, but six straight bets. So let's get plus money over here. Damn, man. Matt Money Brown. That was vicious. What a way that goes into the ABC card. Jesse came in. She was all upset because I woke up. I think I woke up the baby. The baby was napping. Dude, that, that shocked the fuck out of me. Yeah, that was, Wow. The, boy, did the UFC time that right. That goes... Look at this, man. The prelims end with that. Now they're going to go to ABC. So you know people are going to be flooding over there after that. Like, the card's been a little eh. And Matt Brown just knocked out Court McGee. Like, what the fuck? Dude, that's insane. That's madness. That's madness. Um. Oh, big money, man. I, I bet 15 bucks. Big money, big money. Um, <laughs> the biggest, the biggest of money was won on that bet. So, wow, what a win for Brown! Holy smokes, he knocked out McGee. That's crazy. Twenty six dollars and ten cents. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. So a little under, a little under, even, but still, that's that's a big win. I needed to, I needed that, I needed that. Wow, Matt Brown, I'm going to hear this post-fight. Wowzers. What a win. He looks very happy. He's telling the DC. The injury's a bitch. The training's up and down. But his mind... He's like, the worst part about here is the 30 seconds I got to step out of here. So he just loves the game, man. Wow, Matt Brown does it again. Holy smokes. Right hand. Yeah, how many knockouts does this guy have? How many, how many knockouts does he have? Holy smokes. Ian Gary's a dead man walking, yeah. Holy smokes.
Wow, he's next to Black Beast in knockouts. Wow, man. Dude, that's crazy, man. What a beast, Matt Brown. What a beast. He screw the judges who were ripped me off. <laughs> Matt Brown. So Matt Brown's on the mic right now. Great performance by Brown. And by the way, the guy's a badass guitarist too. Have you ever seen him play guitar? My man, he he could shred. Okay, so the prelims are done, and that was what a way to end the prelims. I'm gonna go over to Goat Milk. Oh, dude, that, that was wild, man. That was wild, that knockout. That's why we watch this game. That's why we watch it. So, C-Days. Let me just double check. C-Days in first place with 365. Congrats, C-Days. Wonderful, wonderful. Big win, big win. Yeah, I was only going to throw five bucks on him. And then we were like, last night, we were like, fuck it. Fuck it, let's go for it, baby. Let's go all in with the 15. Let's go, champs. Yeah, man. Holy smokes. Massive, massive win for Brown. Good stuff. Okay. Let me check. All right, let me see. Did uh update on, and if you're just jumping into the stream, welcome to the MMA holes. Uh, we found out that uh, Biggie Boy has a, indeed a Biggie Boy in the pants, but the UFC has done him dirty and photoshopped his cock out of the picture. So if you could tag us on Instagram, Instagram or Twitter, we will give you the retweet on this. And we need the UFC to explain why they photoshopped Biggie Boy's package out of his trunks. What is that about? I'm going to go over to Twitter and see if there's any. Oh, we got some notifications here. We got to make sure. Okay. Heavy. Please explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he says, please, please explain yourself. Let's go, champ. Let's go. That's right. Come on, guys. We got to get this out there on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, we got to get the justice for John <laughs> Rosen strike. We got to get this out there. So if you post this, if you post this, we have to make sure the UFC knows. Like they always show your tweets on air. These are the tweets that the UFC should be showing. These are the tweets. Twitter, if you don't have an account, make one. Follow at the MMA Holes. Add us. Retweet it. Hashtag UFC Charlotte. To be everywhere. In fact, I'm going to make this. Should I make this the. On Twitter, should I make. It's crazy, man. It's craziness. This is nuts. How do you. How do you. How do you. How do you get away with something like this? Discrazia. Discrazia. Morono gets it. Um, did I pick Morono? I think I did pick Morono. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I did pick Morono. Yeah, pretty confident on that one. I'm with you. All right. So this moves over to ABC. I'm curious, is ESPN still... I'm going to leave it on ESPN. I hope it stays. And I don't have to go to ABC. I, right, Sar Lux? I mean, that's wrong. That's completely wrong. It's just, it's part of him. It's, it's part of the man. How, like, you Photoshop that off of him? I mean, I've heard of cancel culture, but I mean, canceling people's junk? Uh, did I post it on Instagram? No, I need to clip it. We've We've lost our clip person, so... He fell into the abyss. So, after the show, I have to clip it myself. But I will I will put this on Instagram. Cuz something needs to be done about this. You can't be you can't be photoshopping guys junk out of their their shorts. If you take the picture and it's there, you leave it there. You don't take you don't make girls breasts smaller in their shirts. The way, I mean, this is ridiculous. It's sexist against men. Salt Poppy is about to fight. Hey, hey, Wait. Who the fuck is that guy? Hit the wrong sound bite. I don't know who Salt Poppy is. Jeff Molina spars. I mean, Jeff Molina must really love that picture. 
Yeah, what is... <laughs> we should tag Jeff Molina, too. <laughs> Jeff Molina. Oh, my God, dude. What do you think Jeff Molina thinks about this? I bet he'd be, he'd be livid right now. Damn, man. It's crazy. How do you How do you get rid of that? It's just so funny that the UFC actually spent time photoshopping his cock out of the pants. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen doing this show. That might be one of the funniest things ever. So if you don't share that on Twitter, you're just wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> Being proud of your junk. Tim Means wife cheated on him. I seen a what? Tim Means his wife is a slut. Why what what happened? Why is Tim Means wife a slut? What happened? <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> That's like a a bold claim there. What, what did she do? Jarzinho transgender Rosen strike. That was Tim Elliott. Oh my gosh. Whoops. Calling Tim Means wife a slut and it was another fighter. You thinking Tim Elliott? Dude. Ah, oh, super chat. David, David. Save Rosen member. Save, I mean, listen, rest in peace. Rest in peace to Rosen's junk. Rest in peace. Find the photoshopped image. You would think the photoshopped image is the right one. Well, that is not the photoshopped image. In fact, it's the left, it's uh, it's the, uh, excuse me. You, th you would think it's the left one. It's the right one that's photoshopped. The left one, untouched. Bricked up. Strapped to the side. He's got his piece strapped to the side. And then the UFC goes in there and gives him like, he looks like Marvin Vittori when he was wore his shorts backwards. He, he put an ass. It's like space balls. It's like, it's like, <laughs> hold on. What's it? <laughs> it's like, you know, when uh, Mel Brooks had his, his pants on backwards. That's what it looks like. Space balls. That's what it looks like to the Space Wolf fans out there. They would get that reference. Why didn't anyone tell me my ass was this big? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is Rosenstrike. This is Rosenstrike right now. There he is. Is Rosenstrike. <laughs> Scratching his ass. There he is. That's Biggie Boy. There he is. That's that's Mel Brooks. There it is. Beautiful. What a movie. Why didn't anyone tell me my ass? What a movie. A movie that we never got to see a sequel to. Like I feel like it maybe maybe it's better off untouched. Just leave it as is. Bartholomew. All right, so the first fight over here is Tim Means versus Alex Morono. So guys in the chat, do you know do you know if this will be on ESPN Plus as well? Yeah, especially with John Candy gone and well, you could. You could do it like down the road and the offspring or the the family and just do different characters in the same universe. You could do that. You know, you just can't. His wife is cheating. What are you talking about? Tim Means wife. Oh, let me look it up. Tim Means wife is cheating. Yeah, it could be true. I don't know. He's screaming about it in the chat. There's nothing about it. Yeah, there's nothing about it. It's Tim Elliott. Oh, my God, dude. You don't know the difference between Tim Elliott and Tim Means? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, dude. Stop! Stop it, Ed! Cut it out! <laughs> There's a big difference. In memory of Shaley Lip, 2001-2023, Shaley Lip. What did she die of? Shaley Lip. That's sad. That's terrible. Shaley Lip. Dana White shares heartbreaking backstory recently deceased MMA. That's terrible. Just heartbreaking. Thank you for sharing this. My heart goes. Wow. Oh my God. Right? This is an MMA star, Shaley Lip, uh, 21 killed in a car crash. Oh my God, dude. I, I, ah. Uh, dude, that's horrific. Pretty girl, too, man. Oh my God. Dude, that's terrible. I know your name. Rest in peace. All right, Dana. <laughs> All right. I know your name. I guess that's him trying to say he was she was good enough. She could have been in the UFC or something. You could just put rest in peace. You don't have to put that obnoxious I know your name. That's terrible, man. Oh god, that's that's that's, that's horrific. A car crash. I know your name. Now let's go play blackjack. Uh, Dana White's reaction to the tragic news was echoed by several UFC athletes who wrote the message. Okay. Really said, awesome for you to share this. I don't know her, but I am sure it was a dream for you to know her name. Mm -mm -mm. Laura Sanko sucking cock. Uh, uh, Conor McGregor put something out there. Michael Bisping really said, oh, that's a bummer, man. How did you... How was it like a drunk driver or something? Oh God, it's fucking horrible. Like, like my, oh yeah, she's a fighter. Colorado native, uh, Shayla Lip was killed in a car accident involving two vehicles on the I-94 bridge connecting Fargo and Moorhead. It was reported that about 11.30 a.m. on Sunday morning, Lip driving a 2015 Chev uh, Chevrolet Malibu uh, collided with a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. That was headed east, except for Lip, who was the pr only person in either car who wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Oh, my God. Everyone else got out of the incident unscathed. Guys, wear your fucking seatbelt. That's terrible. The amateur mixed martial artist from Fargo, Minnesota Academy. You know what's funny? This will be my tip of the day. I, um, oh, fucking hell. I never wore my seatbelt when, when I started driving. I was like, ah, who needs a seatbelt? You know, who needs that shit? I have a friend. He's the dumbest motherfucker on, on earth. He bought an actual, like, buckle without the belt and clicks it in so he doesn't hear the, the beeping sound. I, I think he could possibly be the stupidest man on the planet, the dumbest man on the planet. Um, like, it, I, it drives me nuts that he does this. But when I was a kid, I got pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt when I first started driving. And he's like, where's your seatbelt? And this cop, cop, like, just ripped me a new asshole, gave me a ticket. And then from that point on, I always wore a seatbelt, right? And I was like, well, why am I not wearing one? It's, it's not like it doesn't change your day, you know? It doesn't do anything. It's just a fucking seatbelt. An ejector seat. Pretty much that's what it is. Yeah, guys, wear your seatbelt. Don't be a fucking idiot. Don't be an idiot. You are an idiot if you don't wear a seatbelt. It's just it's just the dumbest shit. This poor girl lost her life. Could have been saved if she wore a seatbelt. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it would have at least increased her chances of living. Oh, God. If anyone learns anything from this story, wear your fucking seatbelt. Don't be that guy or that gal. I don't wear it unless I'm in a little car. What the fuck? Dude, that's the dumbest shit. If, even if you're in a big-ass truck, you could still get launched out of the fucking... I don't get it, man. It's not it's not a macho thing to not wear a seatbelt. It's, it's just it's just plain dumb, man. If you have a family that cares about you, put your fucking seatbelt on. <laughs> what if it makes you look lame? Dude, that's like I mean it's <laughs> that's that's like the logic. It's like I don't want to look like a herb. I don't want to look like a dork with my seatbelt on. Just wear your seatbelt, please. Don't drink and drive and just put your seatbelt on. It's the dumbest shit. If, if one person starts wearing their seatbelt from this story, you know, 
She's she's changed one life. You know, it's crazy, fucking nuts. It's there for a reason. It's not there for, as a nuisance. It's not the man holding you down, trying to keep you on this earth. <clears throat> Craziness. Wear your helmet. Yeah, a lot of people in Arizona wear motorcycles without helmets. That's like putting a fucking condom on your toe. <laughs> it's the dumbest shit, but yeah, people do it. I'm cool. Look at my hair flowing in the wind. Rum, rum, rum. Look at me go. <laughs> Just wear a fucking... If you got a motorcycle, wear a helmet, man. Just wear it. That's sad, man. No, I know you're joking. <laughs> wear a mask. Dude, if you think that's the same thing, it is not. A seatbelt and wearing a mask is way different. That whole mask thing, and that's, you know, that's a whole nother conversation. That's what people like to do. They deflect. You know? They try to use analogies and, and deflect because they're, they're too fucking stubborn to wear a seatbelt. I'm going to put it to you this way. If you don't wear a seatbelt, you probably are a little retarded. I'm not going to lie. Like, you might be a nice human being, but you're probably a little slow. Just put your fucking seatbelt on. It's, it's, it's not brain surgery. I love my friend to death. He doesn't wear it, and I think he's the dumbest motherfucker for not doing it. He's got kids. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, that's terrible. I feel horrible for that girl. I feel horrible. <laughs> See, belts are for squares. <laughs> what a square. Look at that idiot with the seatbelt on. Look at that dope over there. Yeah. It is weird, though. If I didn't get a ticket, you know, for some reason that knocked sense into me, that ticket. And then I just, you know, as I got older, I'm like, I don't know why I didn't wear it in the first place. It was dumb. <clears throat> Broke your neck on a roller coaster accident. Doctor said I would have died if I was wearing a seatbelt. That said, I always wear one. <laughs> you broke your neck on a roller coaster accident? How the fuck did you do that? That sounds like, bro, you should be rich. Because you don't have to sign a waiver to get on a fucking roller coaster. If you break your neck on a roller coaster, I feel like you would be. That's a massive lawsuit. I might take one for the team. I might break my neck, get that payday. All right, so we're waiting for Means versus Morono. We'll bounce back into the positive talking here. <laughs> Roller coaster for the win. Roller coaster one, my neck zero. How many people are scared of roller coasters? Mm -mm 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 -mm. On the ticket, they are liable? I mean, I you're not signing anything. I mean, I guess you're purchasing a ticket, but... No, if you get hurt on a ride, dude, you're not signing anything. Unless... I mean, there, there are warning signs, like of epilepsy and stuff like that. I haven't been to a park in a minute, so... Terrified of roller coasters? Broke my neck twice. Oof, that is not good. I'm, I'm scared they will fail. I've seen so many videos of rides breaking. Yeah, rides could break. I mean, anything can happen, right? You can walk across the street and get hit by a car. Something could fall out of the sky. That one, girl, you sh wait, you can't get on rides because of your height? Or are you using that as an excuse? You mean to tell me if you walk up to the, the, the thing, you can't get on a ride? Let's go, champ! Is that true? We're going to have to stuff your socks. <laughs> we got to stuff your shoes with socks. <laughs> uh, I mean, roller coasters, they're, they're, they're kind of a goofy thing if you think about it, right? But they're pretty safe. Done with roller coasters? Why? Just too old? Or some people get to an age where you're like, I don't want to be rattled around. 5'2"? <laughs> yeah, you're probably good. Don't go on rides uh, at the county fair because, yeah, yeah, county fair rides, you're kind of taking your life into your own hands for sure. Those those are those are pretty wild, man. And then you got, like, young kids operating it and who knows what they're doing with those things. But I tell you what, Ellie gets of age, I'm going to get on one of them. I did it all through my childhood. If Ellie's going to say, Daddy, I want to go on this ride, me and Ellie are going on. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be the dad with the stuffed animals. At the side in the stroller. I just refuse. I could Jesse could do that. 
I remember I went on that um like that bungee cord jump. It's called the Daredevil Dive in uh, uh, a great adventure. And it's basically it just pulls you up, you pull a cord, and it drops you. And you're just bouncing off this bungee cord. It's terrifying. And I was so scared, but my ex and my mom were like, We're going on it. And I'm like, I gotta go on this thing now. I can't I can't be a pussy. So um so I went on this bungee cord thing with them and I made my mom pull the ripcord. I was so scared. But I had to go on it. I didn't want to be a pussy, man. There's nothing worse than a guy like, I'm not, I'm not going on that ride. <laughs> you can't do that, man. You can't do it. You got to suck it up, man. No matter how terrified you are, you just got to pretend pretend you're not scared and you got to get on it. All right. So that's terrible with that story with that girl, man. All right. So I picked Morono for the win. And this is cool, man. So if you have ESPN Plus, bang. You don't have to change the station. You just stay on the app, and you're good to go. So I got Morono by a decision. I feel pretty confident about a Morono win here. I think he should be a lock. I didn't put a bet on it because he's a decent-sized favorite, but we'll see how this thing goes. Girth Mountain. You rode one of those in Florida with the bungee cord thing? It's terrifying. Like, a bungee cord things are terrifying to me. Like, anything that drops you like that. Like, I don't care about roller coasters. You get a thrill from it. I don't like when they just pull you up and just drop you. Like, that terrifies me. But, you know, if my kids are going to want to go on it, I got to go on it, you know. Or my wife or girlfriend or whatever. Jesse's terrified of roller coasters. She's very scared. David. Wow. David with the five memberships. Let's go, David. Come on. All right, before we get into the first fight of the main card, a big uh, Santa Claus gifted, gifting of memberships. He gave it to Levy Wop, J Dig, Ed Boy, Jeremiah, DJ. Let's go, champ. Thank you, David. Thank you so much for that, man. That was very kind of you. Super cool. Super, super cool. So Tim Means, seven, seventh most uh, significant strikes in UFC welterweight history. 1,111, 19 wins by knockout. Damn, that's a lot of wins by knockout. 16 first round finishes. Very nice. Wonderful, wonderful. D-Rest is not scared of roller coasters at all. He's enraged by them. That man has sued more roller coasters for discrimination than you can imagine. <laughs> How do you suppose he gets all that dono money? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tropic Tom. Appreciate Let's that. Go, and there we go. There's the members coming in. Let's go, baby. Super cool. Thank you guys for the donations. So we got 478 people watching. 217 likes makes absolutely no sense. Hit the like button if you're having Let's fun. Go, uh, Thomas saying very cool chat energy. Thank you, Thomas, man. Nice of you to stop by. And here we go. We got the live chat fired up. We got the first fight on the main card ready to go. A packed go, house champ. in North Car Carolina. The champions are coming in. You can hear them in the background. But 6-2, the Dirty Bird. Moroto 5'11", 169 under championship weight. 170 for Means, 39 years of age for Means, 32 for Morono. Let's go, champ. 72-inch reach for Morono, 75-inch reach for Means. Both orthodox fighters. Best community in the world, the MMA Holes, live chat, ready Let's and rocking. The champs are coming in. There's Levy Wap, a member, courtesy of Big Dave. And chat, make sure you hit the like button. We have 223. We're looking for a 420. So we could smoke it up, eat it up, do it up. I think I might do a little gummy action at the end of the stream with you guys, and then we'll wind it down. So if you'd like to get high with the mystical... Go to cbdx.com. Use promo code MMAHOLES for 20% off. Now, we ended the main card. We ended it with a betting win from mybookie.ag. Will we keep the wins going here? As we had a rough tapology. But all I care about is getting up plus money. That's what it's about here. Because we got to make some cash here while we enjoy the fights. This is the first fight. Tim Means and Morono. We're going to get ready for the play-by-play. -play. If you're new to the show, we have the round above the boys. We'll have the clock going so you know where we are. We'll have the live stats going. And you'll see the damage appear on the bodies of the competitors. Round one's about to get started. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on through my mouth. I'm going to look at it. 
absorb it and give you the info. Round one has begun. Uh, Casey Jones, baby. Gifted one double champ. Come on. There we go. KC. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, KC. Appreciate it. That's Gondo the Dragon. Say hello when he stops by. Let's go, champ. And Biodroid has gotten the membership. All right, here we go. Wow, Dirty Bird coming in with a nice strong left hand on me. On uh, Excuse me, on uh, Morono. So Morono backs up, grabs the leg, and zings in the right of his own. Another right hand by Morono means trying to clinch up with him. This should be a good opening fight to the card. The one-two coming in by Morona. Nice strong left hand by Means. Dirty Bird coming in with whimsical kicks as he puts the heel upstairs. Spinning in right hand by Morono. And all, all of a sudden I see some damage on the face of the Dirty Bird. Both very tough fighters. Been around the game for a minute. And they are scrapping here. A lot of fights between the two. Good left right hand by Morono. Morono is an underrated fighter like not many people really talk about Morono but I mean he's a scrapper Morono stuck against the cage and Dirty Birds got him there with the underhook Tim Means looking to slow down the pace maybe get a takedown here with 343 on the clock fighting on ABC so big stage for these guys ABC how many people in the chat are actually watching along with us? Or how many people are relying on the commentary? Let me know. A knee separates him, means lands it. So Morono circles back to the middle. Dirty Bird says, I had enough against the cage. And means comes in. Wow, man, they are both connecting in the pocket and then separating. ABC watching. I'm watching Fight Pass. Hell yeah. I can watch in common. Okay, I like that. Multitasking, pretty cool. It's nice of you guys to keep us on in the background. While we watch the fights, or if you can't get the fights, we'll tell you what's going on as Morono tries for the head kick that's blocked by Means. Means walking forward, and Morono bouncing around. He's just slowly circling. Means resets back to the center. They stand on the monster can. If you'd like to sync up the clock, we're at 2.43. And Morono collides in. Nice right hand, too. One to the body, one to the face. Alex landing nice, strong strikes. Alex moving around the cage as Means looks to close the gap. Means throws a nice left hand to the body. Means slowly trying to come in, and Alex cracks him with the right. All twos on the clock. Body shot by Means. Both guys reset back to the center. So first round of welterweight action here. Means trying to kick to the body. I saw Evil Dead the other day, Evil Dead Rise. It was very entertaining. If you like dysfunctional, gory movies, I'd say give it a shot. And if you saw it, let me know what you think or thought. Right hands by Means coming in. Morono bouncing around. They're playing patty cake with the jab hand. Morono looking to engage as Means stands and controls the center. Morono comes in with the right to the face, Means to the body with the left. Nice kick to the body, just toes grazing on the belly by Means, and then a right hand ripping in. Oh, nice combination by Means, and then, a, I mean, uh, by Morono. Then Means cracks in with a left. So they're going strike for strike here in the first round. Very close one. We'll see how this thing winds down, but good start. Morono trying to close the distance here, but Marine, Means just standing and holding his ground. Morono comes in with a left misses. Means just swipes him away. 105 on the clock. Morono circles back to the middle. Nice one, two by Alex. Means eats another one and then tries to slap in a follow up left hand. So Morono kind of. Oh, nice head kick by Means. And then a right hand, a right hook by Morono. Man, Morono eats that flush and then comes right back in the pocket, throwing some more combinations to face of Means. Damn, these guys are landing heavy shots early. 37 seconds left in the first round. A fight night that's on ABC. That would be nice. Free fights. I would like that. Don't have to pay for ESPN Plus or any of that fun stuff. Nice left hand by Means. Damn, this is very close, man, this round. 15 seconds left. Morono charges in with the right. Right on the face of Means. Means just absorbs it. Another right hand by Morono. Means comes in with a flying knee. 
Pushes Morono to the fence. Morono trying to punch his way off. And Means just flurrying in with combos. Means comes in with a beautiful left hand at the very end of the round. Wow, that is a that is that is super close. That round is very, very close. Means cracks him with a beautiful shot to end the round. I do feel that Morono has a, a slit like a slight edge. But you look at the numbers here, it kind of favors means. What, what do you guys think in the chat? That's super close. Thank you, AJ, for the subscribe. Very good round. Good, good round. Can go either way. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I'm like, I'm split. I, I kind of want, hmm. Considering how much of an underdog means is, I mean, you got to give him credit or how he handled that first round. He controlled the center. He landed very strong shots. But so did Morono. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who got that. I am splitting all right, I'm going to say Alex because I just felt like he had the better. I don't know. It's close. It's too close. I could be biased. I'm trying to fix the cage. And there we go. Close it up. Oh, they got Shelly Lips super chat. on the cage. The girl that died, they have her. Close and a little gay. A little gay? You think it's a gay round? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, David. Could be a gay round. Very possible. Razor thin, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get much closer than that round. I would not want to be a judge there. Okay, here we go. Round two has started. Let's see if they pick up where they left off. I tell you, Means doesn't look Means doesn't look bad at all. Means comes in again. Nice left hand zinging towards the chin of Morono. With 4.30 on the clock, Morono starts to circle around the cage again. Morono stops and circles, comes in. Nice right hand by Means countering in. Means making this very tricky for Alex in the second round. Comes to the body with the left. Alex retaliates with a left hand too, but Dirty Bird controlling the pace here. Whoa, a Morono tries for the head kick. That Oh, nice combo. Damn, that was like four, five, six punches coming in by Morono. Nice flurry. And here comes Morono again, throwing some volume. Means tries to kick towards the body. That swiped away. Alex comes in with the jab. So we are in the second round of action. Morono versus Means. We're three hours into the stream with almost 500 people watching. Deposit your like in the box and let's keep it flowing here. Means gets a takedown. Beauty. 342 and Means gets a solid takedown on Morono. And that could be problematic for Alex. The favorite fighter trying to get back on the knee. He gets back up. Eats a knee by Means but does get back to the feet. So Means cannot hold him down. And there's a right hand by Morono right on the face of Means. Now, looking at damage, eh, a little more on the face of Dirty Bird. Just the nose, a lot of blood coming out of the nostrils. But other than that, the rest of the face looks okay. And Morono eats a head kick. Morono, I don't know. He doesn't even budge. Damn, man. Kevin Holland watching, saying solid scrap. Kevin Holland, the man who finished Tim Means. Whoa, a spinning back fist by Morono misses. Means goes for the takedown, and Morono adjusts for a guillotine. <gasps> Whoa, Morono going for the guillotine is a tap. Oh boy, yo, slick guillotine by Morono. That was gorgeous. He goes for a spinning back fist, doesn't work. Tim Means says, Okay, I'm gonna take you down now. You fucked up. And Morono says, Nope, I got a backup plan. He jokes, he chokes him out, dude. Holy smokes! So, another win for the mystical. That was gorgeous. Means timed it perfectly, the takedown, and Morono gets the neck. Wow. See, now Means has that long neck. Lots of grab there. Want to watch this again? That was gorgeous. Oh, my God. Dude, that was like the smoothest, smoothest submission. Didn't The legs weren't even... Oh, my God. He just had a tight lock. Then had the legs over. Oh, my God. That was gorgeous. Beautiful win by Tim... Der uh, I'm not Tim Means, excuse me, by Alex Morono, the Great White, with the carnage in the second round. That was gorgeous. Carnage! Wow. Lick the carnage, embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage, vote oh. for carnage, make babies with carnage, play Wait. jokes on carnage, masturbate with carnage, ejaculate the carnage, propose to the carnage, enjoy pancakes with the carnage, celebrate the carnage! Kevin Holland took advantage of it with the Dars, you know, having a long neck. Does not help you in mixed martial arts. It does not help you. You can't really tuck the chin in on a long neck. 
If you got a long ostrich neck, it's just there. And Morono grabbed it. You know, if he had a Cody Stamen neck with big ass traps, <laughs> tougher to get. But man, Morono smooth, very very smooth finish on ABC. What a win! What a win! Let's uh, reset the clock over here. Let's go, champ. Uh oh, what do we got here? Oh, another five gifted baby, David, and he does double champ status. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go, Dave. A champion. Look at the members coming in. If you want a gifted membership, put your hands up in the air. Do you want it? David's giving them out. Let's go, champ. Wow. Very nice. Grease, you are a member. Crazy Big Dave. Let's go, you are now a white belt of the chat. Let's go, tripping hippie. Woo! Let's go, champ. Jason Osada. What up, Jason? You membered up, baby. Wow, very nice of you, David. Thank you so much. We got the greatest community in the world. Absolutely in the world over here. And thank you for the subscribe. Daniel Lemos, appreciate you. And welcome to the community. We got the best community in the world. The MMA Holes. Been doing this for almost seven years strong. Reacting to all the UFC fights. It's a pleasure to be here. Hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. I need you guys to do me a favor, completely free. Hit the like button over here. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, 78,300, we let dragons loose. Could be a steep goal, but I have faith in the people. We will let dragons fly at 78,300 subscribers. I am getting closer and closer to the 80K, and I got to get another tattoo when that happens. So if you want to see me in pain again, uh, hit the subscribe button. I got to take a quick break over here. When we come back, we're going to roll through the rest of the main card. Thank you guys for being here. It's always a pleasure hanging with you guys. And stand by. We will be right back. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel, stay wonderful, wonderful, and check out our sponsors. Check it. Don't go.
Gucci Underworld of Legends. Okay, guys, it's time to kick it into overdrive. Thank you to our sponsors. We are live early on the MMA holes. If you're here to have a good time, bash up the like button. It's time for you to take us to the next level. You have a chance to make the MMA holes go viral. The MMA holes hour here. Oh, you're wonderful, wonderful JB. Here we go, you? friends. Wonderful, wonderful. Rev it up. Howard. Hit the like button. Tonight's episode is filled with delight. Tonight's episode is filled with might. Tonight's episode, we dive into the fight that on Saturday Let's night. Let's go, baby! Take it out. Fish it up! Round one is about to begin. Oh, the head kick right here coming in. It's about to finish. Hammer fist. More left hand for coming in. The fight is over. Fucking likes, man. This is what we're giving you today, Fire man. What the hell's going on here? If you're not subscribed, hit it, hit the notification bell, join the party, the revolution, the MMA Great night of fight. Most of you, Crazy stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, kitty, kitty, bang, bang, motherfucker. Smack a light. How is nobody talking about this? Great fight, like I said, and I might seem like the casual. A little extra mystical tonight. Mystical. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. He's out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. We're looking for 420. We're trying to make dreams come true here on the MMA holes. And that is right. That was Biggie Boy's That was Biggie Boy's girth right there. The UFC has taken his package away, photoshopped it, and gave him a vagina. I shit you not. The left untouched, the right touched. And the UFC has done this. We must make them pay for them sin their sins. Will he be victorious tonight? If Rosenstrike loses this fight tonight, it is the UFC's fault because they took his dick off. And that is not wonderful, wonderful. It's their fault. I blame the UFC. By the way, my name is Mystic Moss. I'm Chris, King of the Dragons. And I am here to do the fight reaction that everyone needs and never knew they wanted. We're going to react to uh, the next fight on the card, which is right over here. Not here. UFC website. Not playing. Uh, Carlos Olberg, who is Israel Adesanya's buddy, versus Ehor Potieria. Um, Ehor. I put money on him. Not confident on it. But I dropped a couple of bucks. MyBookie.ag. How much did I put on Ehor? Um, Ehor. What I put on him? M -E -M -E. What did I put on Ehor? Rodriguez. Oh, here we go. I put a big five bucks. Five, I mean, he's a big plus money. I put five bucks. It went $15.90. I swung at this one over here. On Tapology, though, I picked Olberg. Olberg's looked very good. He's looked very, very good. By the, guy, by the way, the guy that put the one blemish on Olberg's resume is coming on the show this Thursday. So, Olberg did take an L to Kennedy in Chaku, who has a great story, and he's coming on the show 
Wednesday night. This Wednesday. Very excited to be interviewing the man who took Olberg's soul. That's coming on Wednesday. Um, last Wednesday, we had uh, Matt Steamroller Frivola on the show. So after this stream, go check out the interview if you missed it. Uh, run it back. And Steamroller was great. Absolutely great. He just knocked out Drew Dober. He came on the program. So another reason to subscribe to the channel. If you want to get some dysfunctional fight reactions or if you want to get some fighter interviews or just like cringe, welcome to the MMA holes. That would be an awesome interview. Thank you, Ozzy Cat. I hope so. I hope it is an awesome interview. That guy's a great human being. He really is. Like, really a sad story, but um, super dangerous fighter. He just took out Devin Clark, uh, our buddy Devin Clark. So we must make friends with the man who killed our MMA hole, <laughs> Devin Clark. And uh, <laughs> David does it again. Oh, my God. David is on a gifting spree. And this is why you got to be subscribed to the channel because David has just hooked up the chat again. He's done it again. David is like Santa Claus. He gifted double champ status five to the community. The W's in the chat for Big Dave. Wow. He did it again. This is That's glorious. So <laughs> Ozzy Cat got another membership. Holy smokes. Big Dave did it again. Wow. Let's go, champ. Trent is a member. Dave, you fucking did it, yeah. David, David, Dave's in the chat. Let's go, champ. Wow. 322X has become a member. Wow. D -d 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 Dave, so baby. BHFJ420. Dave got you covered. Dave got you covered. That is awesome, man. Thank Let's you for that. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Cold Wax MN. I see some new names that got memberships. Hell yeah, baby. If you got that membership, whether you're an OG or a new G, show your emojis in the chat. I want to see which emoji. Let's see. What emoji can we put out there? Let's see if we can take over this chat with something. How about this? Since we are MMA holes, let's see that MMA holes token. The MMA holes emoji. Can we have an um, MMA hole emoji explosion in the chat? That's what I want to see right now. MMA hole emoji explosion in the chat. Let's get it popping here. Come on, chat. Let's go. Let's go. MMA Welcome holes. to the show. Tonight on the MMA Holes, an extravaganza. Let's My go. name is Mystic Moss, the King of the Dragons, and JBM, the Queen of the Dragons. We are Come ready on. to hit it into high gear tonight. The fights have begun. And hit that like button. Here we go. Get the right that. arm tucked under the chin. Get oh, it. Get 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 You guys did it, baby. You did it. 
I love it, baby. Uh, welcome to the new members of the chat. Listen, listen. You're not going to have this much fun anywhere else. I'm telling you right now, I can guarantee that that is not happening in the other chat rooms. So thank you. Thank you. And that song over there, that guy kind of gets me going. I like that. I think that was an oopooful classic. Uh, if you make music and you want to make music for the show, make sure you send it our way. Slide into the uh, DMs. Uh, at the MMA Holes on social media, Twitter or Instagram, or you can hit us up on Discord. Slide in there and say, yo, I make music, and we'll play it. We'll play it on air. That's uh, we got some very talented people in the community. So uh, thank you for your contributions, and let's do this. Okay. So Olberg versus, versus Potieria. I think Olberg's going to win. I got him by knockout in second round. But I did put five bucks on Ehor just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. This is definitely the best MMA channel I've been through them all. Let's go, Justin! Let's go! Let me ask you this question. What channel... Does what we do. We got the cringy, crazy graphics over here. We got the fighter interviews. We got the craziest. I mean, there is no other channel putting up this. This kind of content for fight reactions. We got the play-by-play -play for you. We got nonstop energy from moment one all the way to the very end. Whether it's a hour stream or it's a nine-hour stream. We're constantly giving you the energy. Not one channel can duplicate what we do here. And most importantly, we have dragons. Here's the tale of the tape. Oberg, six foot four, Potieria, six three, two oh four for both gentlemen, thirty two years of age for Oberg, twenty six for Potieria. Uh, 75 inch reach for Potieria and 77 inch reach for Israel Adesanya's boyfriend. Orthodox versus Southpaw. I want to hear the pronunciation. Potieria or Ehor? Oberg is chinny. That's why I did put money. Potieria. Poti area. Okay, thank you, Bruce, for the pronunciation. That one girl has been Let's a member for 23 it. months. Cheers to the best channel around. Cheers to you. Cheers to that one girl, part of the 7% strong. Thank you. Oberg is terrifying. Yeah, Oberg is, he is a very scary striker, but like they did say earlier, he is chinny. He's been caught before. And you never know with this scary Ehor. This guy's got that Ukrainian blood in him. This is a good fight. It's a good fight. Like I said, I picked uh, Olberg knockout second round on Tapology, but I couldn't resist putting five dollars on a plus three hundred fighter over here. So I did it for the hell of it. Let's see if we can get that plus money win. I win either way in this one. Tapology, we get the win or betting wise. I'm rooting for the bet. Oh, right off the bat, Ehor comes in for the takedown. Ehor looking very confident. He looks confident at the faceoff and looks confident over here in the cage. That confidence could be a problem, though. Olberg is a dangerous striker. So round one has begun. Let's see if I can get... Dude, I hit on this plus money. I'm golden. I'm golden if I can hit on this plus money one. Potieria coming out of the southpaw stance. Olberg out of orthodox. Potieria throwing the kick to the lead leg. And Olberg's just chilling. He's just waiting. You know, he throws a right hand out there. He's just feeling things out early. Just taking his time as Potieria is coming out aggressive. Olberg throws the right out there again. Does not land it. Potieria is the man that's showing the aggression, but... Olberg is just taking his time, man. He's just moving his arms around, just feeling things out, getting used to the cage. Olberg circles around after a spinning back fist wildly misses by Ehor. Potieria still on the hunt. Respect by both guys here. Oh, head kick coming in, partially blocked by Ehor, but Olberg got that foot up there very quick. A lot of talent coming in from New Zealand. A lot of talent, exciting fighters. Let's go, and Oberg is one of them. Yo, David. Let's go, David. Does it again, baby. Dude, David's about to give the whole chat a membership. 
Dude, that is the coolest shit ever. Let's go, David. Thank Let's you so much. Him. And if you got that membership, drop your emojis in the chat. If you're very active in our chat room, YouTube pushes you in front to get the membership. So that's a little hack if you want a membership. Very cool, Let's David. We got the champs coming in. You can hear him in the background. Olberg backing up. And he hears, oh, he shoots him for a takedown. He goes face first into the cage. And here comes Olberg with hammer fist. Olberg's trying to finish the fight. Keith Peterson is watching. Whoa, 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 whoa. Olberg steps away. And Keith Peterson was saying, should I step in on this? And Olberg, what the fuck That's kind of so stoppage? Fair. Whoa. Whoa. That was the weirdest stoppage ever. So Olberg thought he got it done, right? He steps up and starts celebrating. Keith Peterson didn't stop the fight. Whoa. Dude, what the hell was that? Now, listen, Olberg got the finish. Olberg got the finish. So I was off by one round on Tapology, but hold on, let's see this. Yo, Ehor just went lunging in, and Olberg just capitalizes. Here, let's watch this again. Ebert comes in with the wild right, then he shoots in. Oh, the left hand came in, hit the back of the head, and Ehor went face first into the cage. So Olberg was trying to get back up, but his head was getting rocked around. He was in bad shape. Wow, Ol yo, Oberg stopped the fight himself. And Ehor was trying to get back up. Ehor is arguing. I can't even say good stop because I just watched the fighter stop the fight himself. Like, he literally said, dude, that was weird. I'll give Oberg the carnage over here. That was bizarre. That was, I don't know what Keith Peterson was doing there. Embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage Vote for carnage, make babies with carnage Play jokes on carnage, masturbate with carnage Ejaculate the carnage, propose to the carnage Enjoy pancakes with the carnage, celebrate the carnage Okay, I'm gonna quote someone from the chat They said it perfectly Said he was in bad shape, but what kind of stoppage is that? This is Justin Station It's a perfect play Like, listen, if Keith Peterson lunged in there and says Yo, I'm good, that, that's over um, I'm fine with that but Peterson was kind of standing there, and he waited for Olberg to walk away and celebrate. Then Olberg looks and says, holy shit, Peterson's not stopping his fight. And then when he went to jump back in, Ke Peterson jumped in to stop the fight. Ehor gets up and argues, but it was a good stoppage that never was a stoppage. Like, <laughs> what was that? I don't know how to explain that. That was the most bizarre brain fart a ref could have. Anyway, Olberg, very nice win. So he came in with a strike, and it wasn't like he deliberately hit him in the back of the head. He came in. The strike wound up landing uh, in the back of the head of Ehor, and Ehor went face first into the cage. So being off balance, getting hit, Ehor still still arguing this. And I don't blame Ehor for arguing. I mean, he clearly was getting fucked up. But Keith Peterson didn't know what he was doing in that situation. And Ehor is just shrugging his shoulders. And now Ehor is showing some respect, rightfully so. I mean, listen, Oberg came in, and respect by both guys. Uh, he, he hits him with the shot. Ehor goes flying into the cage. Let me hear this interview. This is weird. This is just a weird thing. How does it feel these types? No, talk about the stoppage. That was bizarre, man. And credit, credit to Oberg not killing the man. Thanks to my opponent, Ehor, for lunging in like a lunatic. He lost his balance, but Olberg had that killer instinct. Oh, here we go. Check hook. And it did. It came in on the back of the head, but it didn't matter because Ehor was lunging in. So it's not like Olberg purposely hit him there. But that was literally in the back of the head. Ehor goes flying into the cage. Ah, you know what? Hmm. Side, back of the head, doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's not like he deliberately did on purpose. The follow-up strikes came in. Dude, weird, weird sequence there. Okay, so he... What's up? Okay. All right. 
New Zealand, help me out here. What's wrong with your guys? Why are you guys rhyming? What's with the Dr. Seuss? Put on the cheddar, make it better. Like Izzy does that too. I think Volkanovsky might do that as well. New Zealand. Is Dr. Seuss massively popular there? Why in post fights and in interviews they start rhyming? What's <laughs> What is that? It's the cringiest shit ever. Put on the cheddar and make it better, yeah? Like what the fuck just happened there? All right. Very confusing. Let's go, but champ. Olberg's handsome, so we'll give him a uh, pass. Here we go. Kudos. Oh, my God. David Bugner does it again. Put on the cheddar and make it better. Yeah, what the fuck does that even mean? All right. Let's go, champ. Cat in the hat shit. Shaq Odom. <laughs> yes. Big Dave showing his go, big champ. balls, baby. Showing his big balls. Dave just giving memberships out to everybody. Let's go, champ. Come on. Let's go, champ. Zib Yosef. Membered up, baby. David. David's David's letting those balls hang. He's letting those balls hang in the chat. He's up top, pinned with his five uh, gifted memberships. He's just dropping double champs to the chat. Let's see that beautiful chat, man. David going nuts. We got a crazy card. I don't know what the hell's going. But, hey, listen, finishes. We're seeing finishes. Wonky stoppages. Craziness here. But I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun, man. You come to the right places, DJ. That's right. That is right. <laughs> Yo, Lil Gloom. Yo, Gloom going in. He's, he's coming in. Whoa, he's coming into the Gloom. No way. Double champ status. Gloom, 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 Gloom. Everyone's got a belt. You got a belt. Come on. It's infectious. Keep them coming, boys. Let's go, Woo! Champ. Five more. Double champs. Wow. Let's go, champ. The retarded Paul brother. Making it all worth it. Let's go, champ. New members. I mean, how many new members on this stream today? How We have to have about like 30 new members, courtesy of you guys out there Let's gifting go, memberships. That is the coolest shit. Coolest shit. Giving back to the less fortunate. Love it, baby. You guys rock your badges, new white belts of the chat. Welcome. Welcome to the membership club, the championship club. Club. Thank you so much for the gifts. Very cool. Super cool. That's what I'm saying, man. We got the best community in the world. They gifted memberships out to the peeps. It's more rare to have a green name now. Man, oh man, look at you guys. Got your belts next to your names. David is the man, and, and that, would, that was Lil Gloom, too. Lil Gloom jumping in. So if you are a member, you can gift out to the community. It is an option. Very cute. Very wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know why I said cute. <laughs> I was going to say cool, and I said cute. <laughs> Very adorable. <laughs> Very adorable. You know what else oh, is adorable? Super chat. This super chat over here. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know why you congratulation. I just lost the bet, but thank you, Ready Samedi. Thank you very much for the two dollars. Very cute donation right there. Appreciate that. All right, how am I gonna get? How am I gonna win now? I got. All right. So I have to run the table here. Okay. I have to get Anthony Smith and Daniel Rodriguez, two underdogs. At least one of those. I I gotta get two. All right. I gotta I gotta end strong here. 
I got to end strong with Anthony Smith and Daniel Rodriguez. That is the next fight, by the way. Rodriguez versus Ian Gary. That is next. Let's look at goat milk real quick. Vertisol Soil with 490 with the points. Congrats. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So Anthony Smith. I got Anthony Smith. It was almost even money, but I do need that one. I definitely need that one. What I need very badly, though, is Rodriguez. The Rodriguez one, very important, 15 to win 35. So if I run the table the rest of the way... I'll feel good. Actually, if I get Rodriguez, at least I'll get back to 300 over here. But I do need both. I need both to 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 kind of get even. <laughs> it's bad bad night for me. Might have to stray from the parlays. But if I can, yeah, if I can get those two bets, not so bad. I hit one bet out of and two wrong, and that dopey parlay. So let's see. If I hit the next two, I'll get three. Two wrong. I could take it. Yair versus uh, Yair versus Volk is a nice one. Yeah, that's a good fight. That is. Who is Al Jermaine Sterling rooting for? Yair Rodriguez or Alex Volkanovsky? Who do you think would be a clearer path to double champ status for Al Jermaine Sterling if Aljo can get past Sean O'Malley? Let me know. Mm -mm. Yeah, battle would have been good. Yeah, I dropped the ball in that. I did drop the ball in the battle. So, yeah, if, if I could hit the last two bets, then I'm I'm around even. Actually, no, what am I talking about? Oh, shit, I didn't update. Oh, no, I only have to win one bet. So, if I win... Oh, here we go. If I win one bet, I'm, I'm 308 on the... Shit, man, I'm looking at the wrong... Th I didn't refresh. Okay, so I was, what, 320? So, I need to... If I hit Rodriguez, I'm over. I'm plus money over. If I hit on uh, Smith, I'll be even. Okay. Shit, I didn't refresh it. Okay, I don't feel so bad. Okay. Not bad. One bet. Just got to win one. Just got to win one. Let's hope it's the Rodriguez one. I think that's not bad here. Like, So Ian Gary is good. We're going to learn a lot from Ian Gary in this fight. Now, Daniel Rodriguez did have a tough time making the weight. Ian Gary played the game with the pizza. But I pick Rodriguez. I pick knockout in the first. I think Ian might catch his first L here tonight and his biggest step up against Rodriguez. Hopefully, it's a good fight. I see we got a banger next, his life and logic. Nothing against Ian Gary. I just want him to kind of prove himself before I could jump board. He seems like a really nice dude. Aljo can beat, can't beat anyone going up. So you're saying Rodriguez and Volk take out Aljo. And shout out to KC, gifted another membership, baby. Thank you, KC Jones, baby. Oh, super chat. David. The more in the chat, the better for you. That's right, baby. The more in the chat, the better is right. We're almost at 500 in here. 300 uh, likes. Let's keep hitting that like button, and that's how we get into the algorithm. Because the YouTube, you know, they don't play nice with the MMA holes. So we need you guys to help out. Thank you, KC Double champ status. Let's go. Any Suriname in the chat? Let's go, champ. Uh, Volk would smash Aljo. I agree. I concur. I would pick Volk in that fight as well. You got Rosen. No, I picked Almeida. Nothing against Suriname. I always love when Rosen strike fights because Suriname shows up, man. Hey, Suriname, if you in the chat again, let be seen. Show your biggie boy. If you're in the chat... <laughs> Explain this, Suriname. What happened here? What what the hell? What happened? Ian, round two submission. Who watched the live stream outside of weigh-ins in New York when Biggie Boy's brother showed you? <laughs> hey, good luck, OG, right there. Yeah, yeah, we did a, a stream outside of Madison Square Garden, and Biggie Boy's brother showed up. I didn't even know who Rosenstrike was. That was his first UFC fight. And his brother came on as an interview. That's that's OG shit right there. True story. Very nice guy. Usman versus Hamzat and Kobe versus Shavkat would be epic. Uh, would be on the same card. Um, I really hope that they do that at 170 and it's not a catch weight. Those weird sausage rumors. <laughs> Good luck. 
dog stuffing that thing in something. Suriname. The Suriname missile you're talking about? He's half the man he used to be. He is. Ian is a Connor wannabe. So in the beginning, yeah, I was with you on that, but I think he's starting. Someone said if, if what McGregor and Wonderboy had a baby, it would be Ian Gary. I think that's pretty accurate. I don't spread rumors. I mean, I hope, I hope that's not true. I hate, I hate that fight at 180. I think it makes no sense. Suriname is next to Brazil. We uh, talk kind of in English. So Pinto Sound, welcome to the chat, man. Welcome Suriname. Always like uh, like Biggie Boy streams because um, I think Suriname's got a cool fan base. I really do, man. You guys, you guys got that positive energy. You're very supportive. But let me just say this here: no offense, guys. I did pick Almeida. I did go with Brazil. I am a little partial to Almeida just because I think this guy is going to be a champ. UFC committed a crime against humanity for removing his BBC. They did. Ian is actually a good fighter. I think Ian... Listen, I think he is... I think he's okay. I do. I think he's got a lot of skill. Um, and he's moldable, which is good. He goes to... What was he out of top team? Or wait, where is he? He's in Florida. I know that. Oh, Kill Cliff. Okay, so that... Yeah. He, he trains with guys like Michael Chandler. He's got like beasts in his gym. So Ian Gary has a chance to do something special because he is trainable. He is moldable. He listens. You know, it's not like Connor going in there all stubborn. You know, he takes advice. So with a guy that's tall and big for 170, who's got very good striking, you know, he has he has a chance to be the future. But I still have to see more. You know, I need to see more. I don't know quite that yet if he does if the chin is quite there. Um, or if he has all the skills, but he's still young, right? He's 25 years of age. We need to learn more before we crown this kid. Yeah, questionable chin. Yeah, he is. He's very chinny. So I do have D-Rod finish in the first round. Nothing against Ian Gary. Um, I just want to see more from Ian. That's all. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Rosen fight going to be a uh, fight IQ. We will see who has real contender skills. Good fight. Fuck Ian. He's nothing compared to Connor. Well, I, it's different. When he did get on the mic and, and you know, give that Connor shtick, it was cringy. And, and Ian has had cringy moments with the media. But I think he's getting a little bit better. I think his interviews are getting a little more tolerable. Um... There is something that's weird about the kid. He's a little awkward and goofy, but he seems like a nice guy. He does seem like a very nice guy. They just marketed him as the next Connor in the promo. I did see the highlights. I didn't hear it. Is is that what they're looking at? Yeah, they got all the celebrations coming up here. They got the Irish flag. I am partial to Irish fighters. Like I do root I typically root for Irish fighters. But Ian Gary, I'm, I'm on the fence, man. I just don't know what to think. All right, here we go. So, yeah, the UFC is playing this up. This is a big opportunity for Gary here, man. Massive opportunity. This could be the coming out party for Ian Gary. Ian Gary is making his walk to the cage and then making it pretty epic. It's here on ABC as well. So think about this. It's on national TV. So they want Ian to show up. Ian, this is, this is, the, this is the fight. And I see it was at Jamal Hill in the background over there. Jamal standing up and clapping. Listen, we'll see. This is it. Go big or go home here. Ian Gary on the main card, ABC, about to fight Daniel Rodriguez. Has a massive opportunity. Can he capitalize on this moment or will he fold? Will this make him a star? Great walkout song. I can't hear it. What is he walking out to? I can't hear it. I just hear DC screaming some nonsense. I, all I hear is DC. Shav guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But don't they train out of the same gym? Isn't Shavkat? I don't know. Yeah, Shavkat would do bad things to Gary. He took his wife's last name. 
There's no, there's almost no way he can win. <laughs> he did, but it's a, it's a cool story, man. I still have Gary over here, but Ian Machado, Gary. Yeah, he did, but he did for the kid, and and I kind of like the story. It's actually kind of cool, but I get it. <laughs> I get it. He's walking out to Layla. What, Eric Clapton? Got you on your knees, Layla. Begging, darling. Is, does he really have that? That's a weird walkout song, but maybe... Uh, it's a good song, but it's a weird walkout. I guess he wants to stay zen. All right. Here, here comes Rodriguez. Rodriguez got the... Uh, he got the jail tats. He's walking to, towards the cage right now. My man is a plus 240, 36 years of age. So 11 years older. Molina got you on your knees, Molina. Sucking, darling, please, Molina. I see you, Tropic. Lay is the war worst song. Um... It could be overrated if if Eric Clapton wasn't attached to that song. I think, I think this might be a controversial take. But when I found out as a kid that Eric Clapton made the song, it got better. But yeah, if I just heard the song and didn't know Eric Clapton was attached to it, yeah, yeah, could be overrated. I'll put it to you this way: if I'm in the car and Layla's on, I'm gonna say it right now. I'll change. I'll change the station. <laughs> I, if I'm in a bar and I'm drinking, I'll sing along to it. But if I'm in the car, this is God's honest opinion, truth. I will change the station. I, I don't need to. I've heard it a gazillion times. And I'll just change it. Put something else on. Maybe put a little Gaga on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, gay bar. If I'm if I'm at a gay bar, I don't think Layla would be played at a gay bar. I, I don't see that, but whatever. Yo, David, five more, baby! Fire in the hole, David! Fire in the hole, David! David! Thank you so much, David, for the gifted memberships, dude. You are going crazy tonight. 36 years of age versus 25, Ian Gary, 6'1", Rodriguez, 6'3", Gary, 170 for Gary, 171 for Rodriguez, 74-inch reach, Connor reach for Rodriguez, 74.5, half-inch advantage for Gary, if that's even an advantage, but orthodox, Gary, southpaw, Rodriguez, big test for Gary, an appropriate test, I feel like this is a very good matchup here, you know, he's not rushing him too fast, but Rodriguez is a tough fighter. So this this should be a fun one. Ian Gary being announced right now. I want to hear the buzz. All right, Gary giving the the mean mug to the uh, camera, putting his hands up. The future. He's kissing his forearms. What does he have on his forearm? Was he got maybe he got a ta tattoo? Got some Irish flags. Yo, Irish know how to party, man. Let's go, champ. I've had the most fun with Irish fans in a crowd. The champs are coming in. Thank you so much, man. <sighs> Let's go, champ. Okay, here we go. Mr. Smiley's a member. The champs are coming in courtesy, courtesy of the Bugner. Thank you so much, Bugner, again. Future always ends up in the past. Let's go, champ. Okay, we're getting ready to start the clock here. I am definitely invested in this fight. One, I got money on Rodriguez. Two... I would love to see Ian Gary make... I want to see if this is the fight that we Let's all go, go back to and say, wow, remember that fight with Ian Gary on ABC? He proved everyone right or proved everyone wrong, whether you hate or you like him. Round one has begun. Thank you again, champs. Thank you. Let's go, champ. Leo England, 20 months as a member. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate it. Okay, so Rodriguez has a number next to his name. 15, not looking to get rid of it, and Gary looking to steal it here. Let's go, champ. Man, we got champs all over the place. Let's go. So with 4.37 on the clock, Rodriguez having respect. He's bouncing in and out, and Gary's just staying very patient. Gary does have very good striking. And he's got that youth in his favor as Gary waving the left hand out there. 
Rodriguez kind of goes in, collides, and backs up. He's throwing that right. Rodriguez with the left to the body. So the, the chest shot left coming in, Rodriguez. Nothing to go crazy over. Rodriguez zips in with the right hand, but he's protecting the face. There's a kick to the body by Gary. That's partially swiped away by Rodriguez. Ooh, nice left hand by both fighters, actually. Gary lands and Rodriguez lands. Let's see who gets this fight here, man. I'm kind of, yo, oh, nice right and left by Gary, zipping him in. Smooth striking by Ian Gary. Yeah, the, the kid's got, he's definitely skilled. There's no doubt about it. Let's see. Slowly trying to get better in each and every fight. There's a kick to the body by Gary. The future bouncing back and forth. He's saying the O is going to stay. Nice right hand again by Gary. Gary quick with the right. I wonder, like, Rodriguez is not the type of guy to be taking you down. Well, let's see if he tries to go for it. So they're in the clinch here. Rodriguez trying to push Gary to the fence, and Gary spins off. So now Gary controls the center. Is this the welterweight Conor McGregor? As Gary shoots in, there's that right hand again. Even though he only has a half-inch advantage with the reach, I mean, it seems like there's four inches advantage. Gary looks very long out there. There's a right hand by Rodriguez, and Gary kicks to the body. Rodriguez zips away with a left and wildly misses. 255. So far, Gary looking okay. Oh, nice head kick by Gary. Got in there real quick, and Gary's giving him a nod as Rodriguez puts one into the belly, and Gary charges in again. So the heavy underdog having some trouble early as Ian Gary looking smooth. 235 on the clock. Gary comes in, and Gary's a little reluctant as he's coming in with that combination. Realistic of the speed of, I mean, uh, Rodriguez is a little reluctant, reluctant of the uh, speed of Gary. Excuse me. <laughs> my allergies are, are affecting my brain now and my mouth. So, oh, Gary with the head kick, a shin to the side of the head. Rodriguez is down. Here we go. Gary is with the get ground and pound. He's looking for the finish. The future is looking to stay. As Hammerfist are coming in, Rodriguez is covering up, and that is it. That is it. Holy shit. Mergliata says no more, and Ian Gary just mowed through Rodriguez. Okay. All right. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Dude, I'm in. I'm in. To just run through Rodriguez like that? ABC, big stage? Listen, that was a massive, massive win for Ian Gary. The question has been answered. Is he going to be a champ? Well, I don't know quite yet, but I got to say this. My man's going to make a serious run. Serious run. He looks so good, so confident. Oh, my God. He ran him over. He fucking ran him over. Holy shit. Guys, chill. I see hype train with question marks. Dude, shit. Ch the guy got the win. He got the win. Very nice win by Ian Gary. Wow. Holy smokes. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Wow! Look for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play Please. jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Woo. Post to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! Wow. Holy smokes. He just mowed him down. Beautiful. Beautiful win. All right, we're going to hear what he says. What is that, Jonah Hill celebrating in the back? There's a bull Jonah Hill going crazy. That is that is massive win. Massive win for Gary. Holy shit, man. He literally made a statement with that win. Wow. Dude, 12-0. and 0. That That is... I gotta, I, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked by how comfortable he looked in there, how patient he looked, how fast he looked, how crispy he looked. Just set up Rodriguez, hit him with the head kick, and just, dude, that was a beautiful win. Absolutely beautiful win. Let's see what he says on the mic. Do not blow it, kid. Whatever you do, hit the mark, baby. If you could land this post-fight interview as they go to a commercial this is big this is really big right now he did what he had to do in the cage if Ian Gary gets on that mic and just explodes the crowd dude can he nail it can he nail the landing fucking hell man he, he's got skill
Everyone's going to say, oh, what is he going to do against a wrestler? That's what everyone's going to say because he clearly has the striking. But as guys like Israel Adesanya have shown you and Conor McGregor is like, you just, you can do it with smooth striking. Okay, here we go. I'm going to listen to Gary's post fight. Okay, this is very, this is crucial. Crucial here. He, he, he got the win. He ran over Rodriguez like he was nothing. So half the fight was won. I need to see something on the mic, baby. Sell me, baby. Come on. Come on, Ian. Give me something good. Give me the chills. Give me the quote. I don't know. Rodriguez holding the monster energy. Oh, my God. Come on. Give me. Hope he calls Bilal. Oh, that'd be great. Ian nodding to the camera. Dude, this is the moment. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the interview. Ian Machado, DC. <sighs> Big win. I knew it was better. Heike was beautiful. New welterweight top 15 in the world, baby. <clears throat> okay. Highest ranked opponent you for it for it. He doesn't have more power than I did. I'm gonna make sure he knew that. I'm gonna knock his ass out. Okay, here we go. Oof. Man, that head kick was beautiful. Yeah, Rodriguez duck. We've seen that so much lately. Just selling the kick, man. Like selling it like when they least expect it. It's, oh, dude, it's so nice, man. It's like that right hand is like coming in and he doesn't pull the trigger on the right, follows it with the kick. It's the right followed by the kick. We've seen it so many times or a left followed by the kick, the head kick. Who do you want to fight next? Here we go. Ah. Uh. Okay, he calls out Neil Magny. He calls out Neil, Neil Magny. Okay. Uh, safe call out. Safe call. Neil, listen, Neil, is, Neil has got a lot of records. Very beatable. Uh, very beatable. So, uh, interesting fight. Interesting matchup. And Ian just kissed his corner. <laughs> uh, made out his corner. Very nice guy, right? Nice guy. Uh, it, it, it does. It feels like... Connor infused with uh, Wonder Boy. It's weird, man. It is a weird combination. He he took the Irish flag from the uh, from the crowd, and Ian Gary. So that's kind of funny. How about that? I like that move. So the UFC did away with these guys walking around with flags. Ian Gary just took the flag from the crowd. He just took the Irish flag. So the UFC doing away with that is crazy. Love that Ian Gary just took the the flag and walked through the crowd with that thing. Now, I hope those fans get their flag back, but that's pretty fucking cool, man. Okay, what do you guys think? Very big win for Ian Gary. He calls out Neil Magny. Here's what I will say. Here, here's the pluses and minuses and more pluses than minuses. He mowed down Rodriguez first round, made it look easy. Okay, that kind of caught me off guard. I didn't think he was going to do that. Like him winning, not impossible, but mowing him down in the first round the way he did effortlessly pretty impressive um he gets on the mic he's very confident and smooth he he got through it he calls out neil magny okay it's actually a very smart fight right you're moving up you're fighting a guy that you could beat uh, that's definitely a beat a winnable fight um the problem i'm having though and help me out in the chat if you if you feel this or if you don't feel this i want to know your thoughts on this i still I still don't have chills. 
I don't know why. Like when Hamzat has run through people, I get these chills like, oh my God, this guy's legit. When Connor did it, oh my God, this guy's re- legit. There's so many guys that have come into the UFC. I'm like, oh my God, like, like I get chills. Like, and I, I go back to these moments. I don't know why I don't have it with Ian Gary. I don't know why it's not there. I feel like he's got the it factor. I feel like when it comes to his fighting style, but when he gets on the mic, I'm just like, whatever. I don't really care what he has to say. I'm not trying to be a dick, but why am I not feeling this? I love the Irish fighting. I love the Irish pride. I got the Irish in me. I always root for the Irish, and and I want to root for this kid. What is it? Why is he not? Why is it not happening? He's a McGregor clone. You don't have it because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Uh, the itish factor. Yeah, it's weird. Like, very marketable because he's kind of a family-friendly McGregor, right? Which is great for the UFC. That's perfect. You could put this kid all over, and and kids will look up to this guy. He's he's a guy you you know he's he's the guy you want to bring home to your parents, right? If you're if you're a young lady looking for a suitor, or if you're a Jeff Molina, I don't know. He's not a real Irish guy. He has blonde hair. <laughs> He took his wife's last name. <laughs> uh, McGregor overshadows him. It's because Connor uh, poisoned you. You got the sickness. <laughs> maybe. Dude, yeah, maybe I just need the edge. There's not enough edge. What is it? Why can't I get on board? All right, so now I need Anthony Smith to break even. And I don't even like Anthony Smith. I like, I'd rather Walker win this fight. But I picked Anthony Smith for the win. I gave my reasonings why I'm not the biggest Anthony Smith fan, but I feel he's the better fighter. With that being said, that logic on this card, the experience and all that fun stuff go kind of out the window. So I'm kind of regretting picking Johnny uh, Anthony Smith to win this fight. I've been picking Walker a lot lately and betting on Walker, but this time I bet against with Anthony Smith. If I win this bet, I will get back to even and my bets are fine. Okay, so all I need is Smith to win this fight so I can be even with my bets and I don't take it on the chin. I'm still on a good streak with my bets. I need Anthony Smith to win this, but I am rooting for Johnny Walker. I would love to see Johnny Walker go in there and knock this guy's head off his head, neck. I, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. Anthony Smith's another one. This guy gets on the mic and I'm like, God, fuck, why did he say that? It's annoying. Uh, Walker's going to get his head kicked off. Well, I hope so for my bets. Walker should win Smith too slow. Man, I, th- I feel as if Smith's fight IQ, man. I, I feel like the problem with Walker is he's kind of a dummy in there. You know? But he's got so much talent. Walker is so... He's such a skilled athlete. Whereas I feel like Smith could get you on the feet. He can get you on the ground. Like, there's so many ways Smith can go about winning this fight. What do you guys think? I was more fight about his post fight interview than his fight. No, actually, I was pretty. His win was pretty impressive. Very impressive his win. And then he kind of, I don't know. I'm just like whatever. Get this guy out of the cage. Uh, I feel like my pecker grew two inches after I became an MMA. Oh, that's true. A member, yeah, it does that. So become a member, guys. Morono, Ian, Gary, and Anthony Smith on a parlay. Morono, Gary, Smith, looking good. Looking good. Smith is done? No, he's not. Although he could lose his fight. A pick him fight between the two. Smith lost his last two. Ankalaev. Okay? Ankalaev literally beats everyone. I mean, I don't know what happened in that last fight, but Ankalaev should be champ. Um, Ankalaev is a scary dude. He also lost a Rakich uh, decision there, but he bounced back. Devin Clark, uh, Jimmy Crute finished. Uh, finish Ryan Span by submissions. You saw how sc- scary. Here's the thing: Ryan Span is a big, scary, hard-hitting man. And my, uh, yo, Anthony Smith's jujitsu is ridiculous. Now, now Johnny Walker showed that he's got some good jujitsu as well, but Anthony Smith's got he's got other level jujitsu, man. Uh, Walker via KO. I feel like that's that's the that's the way. If Walker's gonna win, it's gotta be a KO. If it goes to a decision, I got Smith. I'm also, I think Smith could submit him. I think uh, Smith could TKO him too. I hope Walker wins. 
Adam, what's your question? I didn't see it. Who won between Ian and D-Rod? Ian smoked him in the first, man. Just ran right through him like he was nothing. Very, You would say this would be a signature win for Ian Gary. On ABC, made it look super smooth. He calls out Neil Magny afterwards. So this is the moment, man. This is th this is the moment. Ian's going to hit the rankings. This guy's going to make noise. He will most likely become top five. I don't know quite know if I could see him as a champ right yet, but top five, yeah. I, I do see him uh, picking the right fights and getting into the top five. After that, it's going to get very tricky, but he's a very big welterweight. He's got very smooth striking. Um, wow. Why didn't he call out Wonder Boy or some shit, man? I know Wonder Boy is pretty high up there. Give me Wonder Boy versus Ian Gary. Dude, fucking inject that into my veins. How do you call out Neil Magny? Wait, where's Wonder Boy? How high up is he? Dude, Wonder Boy versus Ian Gary like is euphoric. Like that that's a fight. That makes all the sense. I mean, he is very low in the rankings. Steven Thompson 7. Dude, you can where's Magny sitting? Magny, so Magny's at 11, so that's a little closer. Dude, see, that's the thing. Like you call out a guy in Neil Magny's 11. Dude, call it make take a shot, man. Dude, Ian Gary versus fucking Wonder Boy. Come on, man. No one wants to see Magny. Yeah, who calls out Magny? Dude, like, I feel like you dropped the ball there. You know? Oh, my God. Jack Della Maddalena. Oh, my God. Dude, could you imagine that fight? This dude and Ian Gary. <laughs> these two going at it. Oh, my God. But I would, I would like Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, like, it just makes so much sense. He's not calling out Shavkat or... I mean, Sean Brady's a problematic fight, too, but he's Sean Brady was just knocked out by, uh, what's it called, Bilal. Dude, Stephen Thompson's the fight. Dude, he calls out Neil Magny, like, what the fuck? Anyway, okay. All right, so some interesting stories coming out of this card. We are going into the co-main event. We got almost 600 people in here, and it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure and an honor to be doing fight commentary with the best community in the world. But guys, we need your help. We need your help. We got to get to 420 with the likes. We got to at least hit the goalie goal of 420. So if you haven't hit the like button, please, I ask you very nicely, hit that like button and help us out over here. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I know, I, I, right? Neil does have a target on him. Leave him alone, Neil. Neil will take any fight, though. Neil's a, Neil's a dog, man. Karate Hottie, best nickname ever. Love it here, says Lou Dog, baby. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Bouts about to start. Smoke them while you got them, says Ed Boy. Yeah, I'm going to have a little, I think right after the last fight, I'm going to pop an edible. I'll hang out with you guys for a little bit, and then I'll wind it down. But it's nice to have these early fights, man. It's 1.30. We'll actually have like the day. I'll have like the day to hang with the fam. <clears throat> Smith saying John Jones is not that good as a fighter as everyone thinks. Dude, Smith says Smith has some of the worst takes. The worst. And maybe he says it for clicks. But God, he says things like like I, He's not a stupid guy. Dude, I can't I can't listen to the dude. Holland versus Gary would be the uh test for Gary. Oh, dude, yeah, Holland versus Gary. That's pretty good. That's a good fight. Dude, that's that's a fight, man. That's a scrap. I, I am down for that. I like the Wonder Boy thing because it's two super nice dudes. You know? And and Holland Holland could mix it up. You know, Holland could drag this thing down to the ground. He's not he's not terrible on the ground. If you take every aspect of MMA away, isn't that good? Uh, you idiots keep repeating that line from Smith, but uh, never say what he said after that. Dude, Smith has a, a fucking... You can... There are so many things that Smith has said. There's so many things. Like, Connor should be in jail. Um, like, like, it's like, dude, fucking get off your high horse. <laughs> Chill. Like, he just says, like, it, it, there's so many... Like, we've done... I've done so many shows saying, why the fuck did Smith say that? 
and playing clips of Smith crying about something. It's like, dude, man, like he's, I don't know. Maybe you're, Smith, you're part of Smith's family, but I, I don't know. I don't get it. Someone broke into Smith's house and broke out of their alive. What the fuck? This guy. Get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> That's that's the guy that broke into Smith's house. Although in in defense of Smith in that one, um, that guy sounded like he had rabies. Like if a guy breaks into your house and sounds like this, get out! Get out! Get out! you better put some bullets into that guy's head. You be- <laughs> uh, dude, Vince, if you go back into our streams, I guarantee I'll make you a, a Smith hater. I guarantee it. Now, like I said, we uh, Jesse and Fire is good friends with Anthony Smith. He's good friends with him. He says he's a great guy. He probably is a very nice human being. I'm not saying he's a bad person. He just has horrific takes. Horrific. Like, the dude cries more than anyone in MMA media or has a podcast. Like, the dude's constantly crying. So, it's just like, I don't know. Even Jess. Jess was a massive Anthony Smith fan. She can't listen to him anymore. Dude's a fucking goofball. He's always bitching about... About something. All right, here we go. Co-main event. But, but with that being said, I picked him in this fight. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, t- I'm telling you, I wouldn't be saying this about Anthony because he seems like a nice guy. Like I'm not trying to say he's a bad person or a bad human being. Uh, he's a tough dude, tough son of a bitch. He's a, he's a solid fighter, and that's why I picked him in this fight. But... Some of his takes, like every time I see something go viral that Anthony Smith said, it's just like, I scratch my head. I'm like, dude, why? Why are you saying this shit? Jesse was a big Anthony Smith fan and she, she jumped off the boat. All right, here we go. So here comes Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's just, <laughs> this dude's an avatar. Dude, Johnny Walker's out of his mind. Now, how do you not like this guy? This guy's a complete goofball, just having fun. I love the fact that Johnny learned English. That's pretty fucking cool, man. He's got all the talent in the world. This guy was supposed to be John Jones, and then, well, not so much. But my man has won me a lot of money, Johnny Walker. You know, I've, I've gambled, and we've, we've won together, me and Johnny. So how could I not root for Johnny Walker here? Just living life, having fun. Big Solid six foot six guy. He's taking his shirt off. He's doing a magic mic dance. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in there. Dude's a complete goofball. The one knock on Johnny Walker was the fight against uh, even John Cavanaugh is looking over to the corner like, oh my God. Uh, the knock on Johnny Walker, though, was the fight against Santos. That was a horrific fight. He spun into the commission over here. He's hugging his corner. <laughs> dude, dude, this guy's just having fun. He's just fucking, I don't know what is going on with this guy. But uh, anyway, back-to-back wins. second uh, Tie for second most knockouts among active UFC light heavyweights with five. Uh, three shortest, third shortest average UFC fight uh, time among active UFC light heavyweights. So 554. Man, when he, when he hit the scene, he exploded, right? Like everyone was on the Johnny boat. And then he just fumbled a couple of times. But one thing about Johnny, other than the Santos fight, he's usually very exciting. Very exciting fighter. So, you know, you see Johnny Walker. If Imagine Johnny Walker as a champion. Dude, it'd be nuts. Johnny Walker's a crazy dude. So does Anthony Smith spoil the party? Both fighters are pretty much even in the pluses and minuses. Dance boy dance. I don't know what he's doing in there. He's like convulsing. Uh, let's see. If he didn't do the worm and get hurt. Yeah, that was so stupid, man. Yeah, if he didn't get injured. Yeah, maybe that could have. Smith is boring. Uh, I don't know about that. I've knocked Smith for a lot of things. Boring is. Damn, bro. He got knocked out in his last fight. He got submitted. He got the submission win in the fight before that. A knockout on Jimmy Crute before that. And then a submission to Devin Clark win before. I mean, my man's always involved either a finish or what? No, I don't see Smith is boring. Here comes Smith now. He's making his walk. He's smiling to the camera. Yeah, maybe. You know what it is? Maybe it's because like Anthony Smith looks like a retarded John Malkovich. Maybe I'm just like, I'm prejudiced against his looks. (laughs) 
Looks like John Malkovich with Down syndrome. Maybe that's why. That could be it. So maybe my take is off. Maybe I'm just being... It's just the look. I can't look at the guy. Looks like Sloth and John Malkovich had a baby. Anyway, that could be it. Smith is technical and not boring. No, he's, he's a very solid fighter. Matt Damon? I don't know, man. He's got the John Malkovich eyes. Rocky Road? Fight smart. Yeah, if Anthony Smith fights smart, he should win this fight. Um, this is an interesting matchup, though. It's a good co-main event. Solid co-main event. Anthony Smith, it looks like, was he hugging his daughter? And that must be his wife. There we go. Hugging the family. So he's having a little family moment before he goes in there. He's still looking for his teeth after Glover. Dude, that was hilarious. Where Glover was like apologizing to him and he was knocking his teeth out of his head. I picked Glover in that fight, actually. And Jesse picked Smith and we were, we were kind of going back and forth. Glover's the fucking man. I love Glover. Uh, we're in North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, super chat. MOS the Mac. Let's go, Life. Thank you for the five. Thank you, my man. Very kind of you. So, as we approach the co-main events, the top fucking dog is still boxing history made. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Will he stay the top dog? Stand by and find out. Thank you to everyone that dropped a donation tonight, whether it was a Super Chat or Streamlabs. I do appreciate the support. All right, so Anthony Smith won three of his last four fights, finished 33 out of 36. That's pretty good, right? 33 out of 36. Wow. That's a lot of finishes. He's giving Smith a verbal BJ. Uh-oh, are they going to be biased for Smith? All right, who are you rooting for in this fight? Will Rosenstrike get his dick back uh, before the fight? I hope so, man. I hope my man, you know, gets his dick back. Okay, here we go. Co-main event, tail of tape. 6-4 Smith, 6-6 six, six, Walker. 205 for both guys. 31 years of age for Johnny. 34 for Anthony Smith. 76-inch reach for Smith. 82 for Johnny Walker. Orthodox. Walker. Orthodox. Smith. Here we go, baby. Very excited. Don't like Smith? Yeah, I don't know. There's something about him. I don't know, but there's a lot of things. I'm I don't know. I can't I can't just I don't know what it is. That's some reach, right? 82 inches. That's 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 a long ass reach. I want Walker, but I feel like Smith will take him down and not let him back up. I do feel it's gonna hit the ground as well. I do. But Johnny Walker does have he's got some crafty jujitsu too. He submitted Cootie Lava. Dublin, Ireland. It's kind of wild, man. Johnny Walker, out of all the camps, he goes to SBG. That's very interesting. Right? He's been there for a little for a minute. Now he's got on two fight win streak. Big fight. Horrible white boy tattoos. Bruce is on Coke. Bruce has just got that energy, baby. Smith win when he is underdog, but if he isn't, he always loses. I got to see if that's a true stat. Was he the favorite over Glover? Uh, Anthony Smith on the podcast with this being said, he is a level above Johnny Walker and sh he should not ever lose to a guy like Johnny Walker. Did he say that on his podcast? Tommy, is that, is that, did that come out of his mouth? I mean, it's one thing to believe in yourself, right? But you better back it up. I do think he is a level better than Johnny Walker. I do. All around as a fighter. But Johnny Walker does have... He's got some really serious skills. I just feel like Smith's got the fight IQ. Okay, here we go. Keith Peterson. Cigarettes. Booze. Referee. ABC. It's going down. Anthony Smith. Johnny Walker. Will we see a finish? I got Smith by submission in round number two. He's got acne like a 16-year-old. 
Johnny Walker. Okay, so here we go. Round one has begun. Johnny's staying very stoic. As he comes around, he looks to throw the kick to the body of Smith. Smith's got a very concerned face throwing out the jab. Johnny throws out the jab as well as Smith fakes the leg kick. Smith slowly trying to walk forward. And this is like a start like with the uh, Thiago Santos fight. Smith backs up from a leg kick by Walker. Smith looking for a way to engage in the right over the top. Nice right hand by Smith on the face of Walker. Walker trying for the front kick, and Smith avoids that as he backs up. Anthony looking to engage and move forward as Johnny Walker is moving the head back and forth, trying to come in a little quirky. Johnny staying very patient, comes in with the leg kick. 4.08 on the clock. Johnny looking to switch on the stances on the way in. Got the chin tucked in. The shoulders rolled forward. And backing up, trying for a leg kick there. Anthony Smith just staring him in the eyes and patting on that lead hand, that jab hand with the left. Anthony looking for a way to engage. Throws a right in there again towards the face of Johnny Walker. 3.45 on the clock. So Smith is ranked number five, Johnny Walker number seven. 656 people watching. Get ready. Suriname versus Brazil in the main events. We'll be reacting to it. Hit the like if you haven't done so yet. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Johnny Walker slowly moving in on Smith. Not much action here. As Smith switches on the stances. They're waiting for each other to make a move, and Johnny trying for the kick forward. Oh, comes in with the head kick blocked by Smith. Flies in with the knee, and Smith steps away. Smith hits him with a left hand. Whoa, a leg kick by Walker. Stumbles Smith. Oh, a nice right hook by Smith. And Johnny says, give it to me. Johnny hits him with some more leg kicks. So the left leg of Smith got a little messed up there, and Smith wobbled, but then he cracks him with a nice right hand. Johnny just absorbed it. So the power of Smith, not a problem for Walker. Walker comes in like the Terminator. Comes in with the jab. Nice long reach. And Smith eats a left hand. I mean, uh, Walker eats a left hand. 2.43 on the clock. And there's a kick. Mid kick. Low kick. Johnny Walker. Both guys come in with whipping jabs. 2.30 on the clock. Damn, man. Johnny coming in, Smith trying to tee off with the right hand, and Smith just ducks the head as Johnny punches through it. Whoa, a flying knee trying to come in by Walker, and Smith puts the head away. Nice leg kick by Walker. Again, Walker doing a really good job ripping on that left leg of Smith. Smith trying to move in on Johnny. Johnny very patient. A lot, a lot of uh, evolving in Walker's game. There's a right hand by Smith, a kick to the body by Smith. Two minutes on the clock, first round. I feel the tension right now. In this round, as Johnny Walker slowly comes forward and Smith hits him over the top of the right hand. There's a nut shot as Johnny Walker kicks Smith to the nads. We stop the clock. We'll watch this again as the cup shot song plays. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. You know, you really didn't have to hit me in the pussy. That was really uncalled for. Hitting someone in the pussy is just rude. Cup shot! That really fucking hurt! Cup shot! Why did you do that? Cup shot! My balls are inside out! Cup shot! My penis is in pain! Cup shot! Cup shot! Thank you. Uh, so the shot hits inside the leg. It does graze on the package a little bit there. It wasn't a flush, but bang, but it did hit enough. To cause some uncomfortableness, it looked like. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel good. So, here we go. Smith is good. They reset back to the middle. Luckily, no one got hurt there. So, with 140 on the clock, Johnny Walker's bouncing in and out as Smith is moving in. Whoa! The heel coming up. Johnny Walker coming in from all crazy angles. And here comes Anthony Smith charging him wild. Wow, shooting him for the takedown, and Walker hitting him with the hammer fist. Walker hitting him again. He's trying to make pay, make Smith pay, as Smith is begging for the leg. Smith trips down two legs, and Walker stumbling around. Anthony Smith trying to show off that jujitsu, and he's on top with the half guard. So Walker looking to make him pay, but Johnny Smith, I mean, uh, Anthony Smith, excuse me, uh, on top. This is where Walker does not want to be. Walker does have jujitsu too, but Johnny Walker... Does not want him to be on the bottom of an Anthony Smith takedown. 
The lucky news for Walker is Smith only has 53 seconds to get something going here. He's sitting on top of the guard. Anthony Smith did eat a lot to get this takedown, so he's better make sure he makes good use of it because he did eat a lot of shots on the way in. So Walker trying to grapple and get back up. He's trying to make it very uncomfortable for Smith. Smith having trouble landing anything from this top position as he does have the forearm on the side of the face of Walker. Smith looking up to the crowd. I don't know whose corner he's by. I think he's by his own corner. So Johnny Walker stuck on the mat. And Smith is looking over. He's just looking into the crowd. Hits him with an elbow. So I guess that's is that Smith's I guess that's Smith's corner. And Walker sits up. He's trying to get up. And man, Walker muscling his way back to the feet. Johnny's back up. Smith's trying to Whoa, Johnny with the takedown now at the end of the round. Wow, Johnny Walker just showing the strength there and muscles Smith down. So when it comes to the strength, Johnny clearly has it. That's an interesting round. Man, Anthony Smith charging him recklessly for this takedown. They're showing the highlight. What a highlight that they're showing right here in slow motion. Wow, Smith got caught on the way in on the temple, but still muscles his way through to a takedown. And ah, Man... Who got round one? Smith didn't do anything with that takedown. He didn't. I might have to give that to Johnny. Might have to give that to Walker. He didn't really do much with it. I want to give it to Smith because we got money on him, but I think Johnny got the first round. Uh, let's see. Anthony does not make it out of round two. 10 9, 1 0 Walker. So, wow. Everyone's going Johnny. Okay. Worm got it. Walker 1 0. Okay. Okay. So, we have a slight advantage in control time for Smith, but he didn't really do much with that. They're showing the Shaley lip um, on the cage here. The poor young lady has passed away because of a car accident. That's that's uh, pretty sad news. But here we are in the co-main event, 741. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Looks like the whole chat unanimously going Johnny Walker round one. So we'll, we'll go with the chat. I'm, I'm leaning there. Yeah, because I, I don't think Smith really did anything with the takedowns. So Johnny feeling himself here in the second round. And uh, yeah, Johnny Walker, you know, showing a little more intellect in his fighting. There's more leg kicks by Walker. Very nice job. Smith trying to step in. Oh, there's a nice right hand. And see, here's the thing. Like, early in that round, Anthony Smith landed a couple of flush strikes. I would not be surprised if some of, when it comes to effective strikes, Anthony Smith might have had the lead there. But we'll see how they scored it if it goes to the decision. Hopefully it doesn't. Those leg kicks, very nice by Walker. He's got to keep working those things. Try to chop down Anthony. But I understand why he's reluctant to throw it, man. I think he might grab it and shoot. There's another leg kick by uh, Johnny. So 350 on the clock. And Smith, I don't know, he kind of looks a little discouraged out there. Johnny just kind of staying calm, not really moving much, waiting for Smith to engage. Smith is just trying to put motion forward so he can get uh, Walker to bite. But Walker's not biting. It's a leg kick by Walker, right hand by Smith. And Smith's right, his mouth is wide open. Like sucking in air in the second round early. Nice left hand by Smith. Pops on the face of Walker, but doesn't really do much there. And nice right hand by Smith on the side of the head of Walker. Smith hits him with a left. So Johnny eating some shots here with 310 on the clock. Leg kick by Smith. Smith trying to mix it up here on the feet. Switching on the stances, an outside leg kick, Johnny. A little slow pace here. As Man, is it me or does Anthony Smith look exhausted out there? He looks shot. There's a leg kick by Smith again. All that unnecessary movement that he's doing out there, it's making me tired watching. Walker should have already been... Uh, Able to win this fight. They both suck. <laughs> There's some more leg kicks by Walker. 2.33 on the clock. It's bad when I have a second to look at the chat. That goes to show you that the pacing has slowed down significantly. We're going strike for strike here. There's a leg kick by Smith. All twos on the clock in the second round. 
And I, I, oh, Smith goes over the top of the right. It's like he's having trouble breathing, it looks like Smith. He darts in with a left hand, just trying to control his breathing. Nice check by Smith, and then hits him with a leg kick from the check. Don't really see that much. And here comes Walker with the right over the top, grazing off the forehead of Smith. Walker using that reach. Smith backing up. Oh, counters in with a nice left hand. Smith, beautiful right, a left by Anthony Smith. His more leg kicks by Walker. Walker looking to spin in with something, but doesn't pull it off. Just spins. 145 on the clock in the second round. Heavyweight fight coming up. Rosen Strike versus Almeida. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as we are reacting to UFC Charlotte. Anthony Smith trying for a head kick, spinning around and missing with that, 124. So the pace of this round has slowed down significantly, but I give a slight edge to Anthony Smith so far. We'll see how this ends. Just I'm talking very slight. Walker's throwing out that jab, and Smith backs up. Either these guys are gassed or they're playing possum, but, I mean, Anthony Smith looks... So shot. Anthony points at the leg. I think his left leg might be hurting him here. How many strikes have landed? 23 to the legs by Walker. My gosh. He did the same thing to Santos. Left hand by Smith. Kick to the body by Smith. And then Johnny Walker trying to spin in cartwheel style, but doesn't really land there. Smith gives him a nod. 44 seconds. Left in the second round. Okay, this, this round, not a very... um. Fun-filled round here, but we'll see how it ends. It looks like Smith is kind of talking to him out there. And Johnny backing up as Smith is walking in. God, Smith looking exhausted as he's talking. What is it? I wonder what Smith is saying to him. And Walker's like going like this. Wow, right now Walker's a minus 285. Interesting. Nice leg kicks again by Johnny. Okay, so, oh, Smith hits him with the left and the right. Here we go. But here's the thing. Even though Smith has landed very flush with some of these strikes, Johnny doesn't look phased by the power of Smith at all. I think it's 1-1. Yeah, I agree with John here. I think it's 1-1. I think Smith, like, just smidged the second round. It could be 2-zip Walker, but I do feel like it's 1-1. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Um, but, no, not a crazy good round at all. <laughs> If you're not watching this, I'm doing it for you. Yeah, I think I think Smith's effective strikes were a little bit better in that round. Not enough to like blow my mind, but I feel like by a smidge, Smith got that round. It could go either way, but I, I'd say Walker won two Smith. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Leg kicking competition. Yeah, Johnny Walker's been doing that a lot. 26. 26. Leg kicks coming in on Smith, and maybe Smith's legs bothering him too. Might making him make him more reluctant on going crazy. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? With all the talking, uh, Smith is fighting a boring fight. Yeah, both. I got to be honest with you, they're both kind of boring me. Smith catching Johnny with a left hook KO. I think uh, he wins his fight. I do not think Smith's going to knock him out. I did pick submission in the uh, third round. I don't see I don't see Anthony Smith knocking him out. I don't, but the power is not doing anything to Walker. Like Smith has landed pretty flush a couple of times. I also think those leg kicks are diminishing the power of Smith striking. There's another right hand by uh, Smith again. Walker eats it like it's nothing. So 4:35 on the clock. Who knows how they're scoring this thing? I need Anthony Smith to win to be even on my bets. Even if I lose this, it's not a terrible loss tonight, but I would like to be even. With that being said, Johnny Walker is fighting pretty safe. Um, could be up to zip. Both fighters are fighting very safe. This is rough, man. A little stalemate here. Johnny's not even moving. He's just staring at Smith, and Smith is trying to engage. Let's but go, champ! Johnny's waiting. Thank you, Mike H., member for 36 months. Smith is eating those leg kicks. Dude, Smith... The left leg is really feeling it. There's a nice knee to the body by Walker. Smith resets back towards the center. Okay, what's happening here? Keith Peterson calls a timeout. Is that an eye poke? What the fuck? What was that? What, was, what happened there? I guess there was an eye poke? Keith stops the fight. 
You imagine if Anthony takes... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's an eye poke. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. Nutshot and eye poke. So Johnny Walker's got to watch the fingers. And Keith Peterson actually caught that pretty good. Okay, Anthony Smith shaking his head. No, he's not happy. And here we go. Re resume here. Let me uh, reset the clock over here. Okay, close enough. We're about a second off. But, um, okay, Anthony Smith versus Johnny Walker has <laughs> resumed. Uh, okay, so we have a nut shot and an eye poke. That happened. Oh, there's a right hand that hits the shoulder. Smith landing it. Walker backing up. Now Walker trotting to the other side of the cage, making Smith chase him. 320 on the clock. As Smith backs up, avoids a leg kick. Oh, this fight is terrible. Johnny Walker trying for a heel upstairs, and Smith comes in with the right. Johnny Walker stumbles back, and here comes Smith. He comes in. He's trying to get Johnny against the cage here, but Johnny does a good job of uh, manipulating the feet around the cage, trotting around, and Anthony chases him. Anthony's chasing him to the other side. 255 on the clock. Nice leg kick there by Walker again. Those leg kicks landed beautifully by Johnny Walker, just trying to chop him down. Another leg kick by Johnny. Damn, 38 leg kicks by Walker, and Smith's got to be really be feeling it. That leg is, that's not looking, yeah, that leg is looking really bad. So Anthony Smith in trouble here with a bad left leg as Johnny Walker has to, he doesn't have to do anything. He's just got to hit the leg. Smith is trying to kick towards the body, but he looks like he could barely stand on that leg. Now Smith is he's resorting to switching stances here, back to orthodox, and then stomping Johnny on the lead leg. Oh, my God. Dude, Smith... I mean, here's a, uh, here's what's frustrating to me. Like, if I'm a Johnny Walker fan and you see a guy that's almost on one leg here, like, you wonder why Johnny is not, like, being more aggressive. What the fuck? This guy, yeah, they just said he's having... Uh, now, Anthony Smith shoots him for the takedown and Johnny slips away. It's very frustrating. Uh, Anthony to the body and a left to the face. I feel like, like, Walker's, like, playing with him here. Now, Anthony Smith just crawls in. He's on his knees. Johnny hits him with a couple of shots. And Anthony's like, I can't really stand. So I'm going to just try to shoot him for a takedown. And Johnny Walker's hitting him with some left hands. Anthony Smith's on his knee. And, whoa, boy, Anthony's just like, please let me get this takedown. Oh, this is rough to watch. Now, Anthony Smith tries to attack the leg of Walker. Walker stands over him. 127 on the clock. And Anthony Smith begging for mercy here. And Walker's going like this. <laughs> and Anthony gets back up. Anthony showing some damage on the face. Oh, my God. Anthony Smith. Dude, what the fuck, bro? Johnny, Johnny, put him out of his misery. More leg kicks coming in. Anthony looking old, tired, and hurt here in the third round. A head kick popping in. Anthony Smith, how's that podcast career going? Because I got to say this. I mean, unless you get a walk-off here, he does land a right hand. I do not see you winning this thing. As left hands by Walker are coming in. Walker, he doesn't have that killer instinct, man. You got a dead guy in front of you. Dude, like, Anthony, oh, my God. See, I don't like this, man. Walker's going like this, trying to, he's playing with them. He's playing with them. Walker, kill him. What are we doing? Put him out. Hits him with a lay kick, follows up with a jab. Walker's just playing too safe. Dude, you're giving too much respect to a, guy, a wounded animal. Another lay kick by Walker. A front kick by Walker. Smith tries to come back with the right. A jab by Walker. Here comes Johnny. Hits him with the right and the left. What are you conserving the energy for, man? There's 12 seconds left. Unload and put him down. Flying knee by Walker. Anthony grabs him. Oh, my God. Anthony is so hurt. He's bent over. He stumbles. Dude, this is crazy. All right. Listen, Walker won. A knee comes in at the very end. Walker won this fight. Dude. What the hell? So Johnny Walker gets the win. I don't I don't see how he doesn't win this fight. With that being said, I mean, he played it so safe and and, and Smith was visibly visibly hurt. Like wouldn't Walker try to go for like the finish and get a bonus here? Like he I don't understand it. Smith was so hurt. What do you guys say in the chat like that, that's got to frustrate Dana White very much. I guarantee, I don't think Dana's there. Well, maybe he is because it's on ABC. I would love to hear a post-fight with Dana White with that. 
Anthony Smith, man. So on the other side of things, Anthony looked terrible. <laughs> he looked absolutely terrible. That's it, man. This guy's done. That's it. That's it, man. Anthony Smith, I'm sorry. But um, listen, I try to give you all the benefit of the doubt, your fight IQ, your time in the cage. Dude, get back on Believe You Me. Stop fighting. This is this is just this is crazy, man. What did I just witnessed. One, get one. out of here! Get out of here, Anthony Smith. Smith is pure garbage. <laughs> what a quitter. I mean, listen. I don't know who to be more mad at. I don't. I honestly don't know. I mean, you have an injured guy in front of you. You can collect a quick bag. Maybe Walker was just mercy. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to put him down. That's like you, you see a fucking... You see a cat or a bird in the middle of the road that got hit by a car. And it's flopping in the fucking road. Put the damn thing out of its misery. Put him out of his misery. That's mercy. Put him out of his fucking misery. Oh, look at this. Johnny Walker jumps into the crowd. And he's talking to Jamal Hill. What's this? Oh, my God. Dude, how do you do that? What the fuck? All right, we're going to get to the uh, official decision. Twenty one twenty nine twenty eight two thirty twirty sevens and Walker's trying to give respect to Smith. Let's see. <laughs> Johnny Walker. <laughs> He's still a funny fuck though, man. <laughs> He's making these stupid ass faces. Does Anthony Smith give nah he doesn't say anything to him? Alright, let's hear what Johnny has to say here. Dude, what the hell? No, oh, I did terrible on my picks today. I don't want to finish him quickly. Wait a second. You're saying to beat him quick is no joy? Wait, what the fuck is he? I can't. I didn't understand what he said. I don't know what he said. His accent's too thick. Walker should retire as well. Dude, it's frustrating to watch this kid. I mean, he broke him down. Walker had a great game plan, broke him down. It's like you have this wounded animal in front of you. It's really bizarre. All right, so he's talking about him going out to Jamal Hill after the fight. What did he say to Jamal? I'll see you at the top. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Guys, Walker does not beat Jamal. He doesn't beat Yuri. But I, I just kind of wish he is Walker celebrating like a dolphin. I don't know what he's doing. He's he's on a pogo stick. I don't know what the fuck. Listen, the guy's a goofball. When he's on, he's exciting. He's an exciting fighter. But when he's off, you see this or you see the Thiago Santos fight. And I got to be honest with you. I can't watch those fights. Those fights drive me nuts. Oh, my God. Dude, what are we doing here? Oh, God. He is a nice guy, Johnny. He's a very nice guy. I like. I still like him better than Anthony Smith. So I'm glad he won. But my gosh. Pogo warm? Like, what was that celebration? I don't know. Okay. Well, at least we got this heavyweight scrap. This will not suck. I promise you. This will not suck. This is going to be a good one over here. I got Almeida. And I got him by a finish. Now, listen, Biggie Boy, I like Rosenstrike. I like Ru I like Suriname in the chat. I like you guys out there. You guys always uh, support your man. But I got to go Brazil on this one. I think Almeida's going to take him down. I think he's going to do dirty things. I think he's going to do dirty things. This card is a weird-ass card, man. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know. I'm going to have to digest this and maybe on Monday figure out how I feel about this thing. Um, let's go to Goat Milk. Let's see how people are doing on Goat Milk. Let's see who's going to be the champion of the ABC card. And George Diaz with the 600 points. Wow, nine correct. Very good. Very, very good. Okay.
So if you're just jumping in, craziness here. As Biggie Boy was showing off the schlong, early in the week we noticed that Biggie Boy's got a big package. The picture on the left is Biggie Boy's schlong. So we made a bit out of it. We had a little fun with it. And then as we tune in today and look at the UFC website, I shit you not, the Photoshop picture is the second one. This one here. They put a vagina on him. They took off the big cock and they put a vagina on him. Boo, UFC! Boo! What the hell? How dare you take his penis off his... What the heck is going on here? So that happened. So I need you to screenshot that. Send it to the UFC complaint. Send it to the complaints department. How dare they? they t how dare they take Suriname's cock off? How dare they? I'm gonna take a quick leak. Let me put this up over here. I'll be right back for the main event. Okay, chat. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end this party strong here. We got three hundred and ninety nine likes. Three hundred ninety nine likes. If you guys could do me a favor, let's do this. If everyone hits the like button at the same time, YouTube explodes. Can we get this thing to four hundred and twenty likes? If we get to four hundred and twenty likes, I will pop an edible. That's right. I will put an edible in my body and we will get hi. Let's go. Can we get it? Before the main event of the evening. 420 is what we're looking for. Can we get it done? We need you guys to help out the MMA holes live. Let's do it early. Let's do it. Oh my god. Yes. Yes! Yes! Woo! Let's go, champ! Let's go, baby, we did it! Before the main event, I will have my gummy. And I will celebrate.
<laughs> there it is, the Brajol. All right, main event, Suriname versus Brazil. Jouton Almeida versus Biggie Boy. Okay, okay, okay. Good luck to everyone playing Goat Milk as we have a close run at the top over here. So good luck to the peeps playing. May you have victorious, I don't know. Uh, Ian Gary had a big night tonight with a finish in the first round. Anthony Smith looked terrible. Uh, Johnny Walker gets the win, and now we have Jouton Almeida. Is this guy the real deal? Is this guy the real fucking deal? That is the question. Jouton Almeida, I believe so. So we have two hype trains. Actually, it's a real big step up for Almeida. Wow, the website is really glitchy. For Almeida, we have a big step up for Ian Gary. So, interesting stories. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. that gummy, that tastes delicious, by the way. Imagine Smith fighting Jiri Lol. We would have a fatality in the octagon. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, listen, Anthony Smith, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm never giving that guy the benefit of the doubt. I don't even know if, I, I don't even know if he'll uh, fight again, to be honest. He might as well just go back to, just, just stay, stick with podcasting. You know, no need. You know, you're doing your thing. Be a media member or something. I don't know. He looked he looked terrible. Anthony Smith looked very bad in that fight. That I've never seen Anthony look like that. Like we've seen him get run over. We saw Glover take his soul. But this fight here, he just looked like a broken human being. He didn't he didn't look right. Now Jout Almeida is a guy that I really believed was gonna be a champion. And here's a massive step up for the dude. Man, he is fighting. In the main event over here in Charlotte, he's walking through the building and he is about to carve his way through the crowd. In the chat, any Brazilians here? Any Suriname here? Where are you from? Let me know as Almeida is just absorbing the moment. High five in the fans on the way to the octagon. Yeah, Walker didn't look good either. He didn't. Actually, well, Walker had a game plan. He executed it. Um, he, you know, he just was like, I don't know. He just wouldn't pull the trigger. It was, it was very frustrating. Almeida fist bumping the light heavyweight champion. Your stream isn't working. I got you covered. Don't worry. I want to know if KSI got bet. I don't even, I guess he's, he's fighting on Misfit. I don't even know who he's fighting. Over one and a half rounds, putting the house on it. I felt like it was the end of Smith's career when he handled when he handed his tea to the ref. <laughs> Looked like he was wanting to wanting out. Uh yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Anthony Smith. I think that I think that's I think we're done with that. I hate KSI and all that shit. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> KSI. <laughs> I'm not it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Jake Paul. <laughs> With that goofy ass laugh, I'm good, man. You you could let me know what happens there. Let me know if I miss anything. He's a weird son of a bitch, man. He's a weird dude. All right, Almeida's in the cage. Here he is. Almeida's there. He is. Oh my god, this guy's a scary dude, man. Trotting in there, all shredded up. Uh, what was you, that you or Jess in the MMA fighting stream when those two guys were being rude? Me or Jess in the MMA fighting stream? Uh Oh! What are you talking about? When the chat... There, there are people that do not like our success. That was me. If, if you see anyone in the chat, usually it's me. Yeah, there are people that do not like our success. So my existence drives them nuts. My existence, just me being alive, drives them nuts. Um, and anytime I pop in a chat, I don't even say anything mean anymore. I'm just a very nice guy. You know, I go in there. I believe in po positive vibes. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dude, there are some people that really dislike us, and it makes me very happy. So, yes, and thank you for popping in the chat and uh, saying nice things. I appreciate that. Hammerback dropping a big hammer of a $10 donation coming in Super Chat as Biggie Boy 
Another speaking of scary guys, Biggie Boy has got that face. He's got that face like you don't mess with this dude. You don't mess with him. And he just slowly walks up to the cage. No dancing, no, no, no crazy stuff. No high fiving. He's all business. And a very big fight. He is ranked number nine and he does not want to go backwards. He wants to go forward. So he's got to get this big, tough opponent out of his way. And he's got to show the world that he is indeed here to stay at the top of the heavyweight division as he disrobes. They don't matter, Henry. It's all good, man. It's all good. I got to be honest with you. I don't... Uh, I do... I have this weird... It might be a narcissistic trait, but when people start like... As long as they mention us, that's all I care about. They could say whatever they want. I don't care. I just want to be mentioned. So if I, sh if I drop in the chat and we're, we're dropping the wonderful wonderfuls, I'm thrilled... If I jump into chat chat and people are just fucking shitting on us, oh, I don't... Ah, super chat. As long as they know me. I don't care what they say. Biggie boy for the win. There win by go. choking Almeida out with his anaconda. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> so you're saying... Oh, okay. Well, that that's a surprising outcome. You're saying that he's going to take his anaconda out of his, sh his shorts. He's going to wrap it around Almeida's neck and choke him out? Well, he can't because they ripped it off his body. UFC said no more. No more of that. <laughs> what a donation. Thank you, man. Red corner knockout and blue corner in 30 seconds. I don't care what people say about me. Uh, you were talking about me. That's it, man. Here's the thing. when you're Especially when you're doing a YouTube channel, you just want people talking about you. Who gives a fuck what they say? Who cares? We already have a positive chat, man. We have a great community over here. I don't need to be pat on the back in, in other, you know, channels. I don't give a shit what they say. Just mention my, say my name, say our name. I didn't name this after me, this channel. I named this the MMA holes. When you say the MMA holes, when you drop, wonderful, wonderful. you're showing the community that you have pride in the community. It's about us. So as, as long as I see the MMA holes in the chat, we're representing. Even if you're saying bad things, you're, you're showing some love. So it's all good, man. Almeida and Biggie Boy have entered the arena. The combat zone, I should say. The octagon. 6-2 Rosenstrike. 6-3 Almeida. 231 the wait for Almeida. 265 right on the button. Rosenstrike, 35 years of age. 31 Almeida. 79 inch reach for Almeida. 78 inch reach for Rosenstrike with a 10 inch cock. Orthodox fighter, both guys. Who wins? Who gets it done? I'm looking forward to this fight. This card's been very bizarre. But we have the best community in the world to hang out with. We are 11 fights in on this card early on a Monday. And I thank you for stopping by. Brazil is taking it home. Yeah, it says on the tail of the tape. He's got a 10-inch cock. They had to remove Rosenstrike's cock so he could make... <laughs> <laughs> Is that why? Yeah, he came 265, but with the cock, he was about 300. <laughs> had to take it. That's an extreme way of cutting weight. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do this. You guys ready for a cock meat sandwich? That was one, that's probably one of the funniest lines in a movie. Cock meat sandwich. Name the movie chat. Who knows the movie? Name the movie Cock Meat Sandwich. I left very hard when I heard that in the, for the first time. And here's Bruce Buffer oh, screaming and yelling. Super chat. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for the 499. Very kind of you to drop that donation. Appreciate that. Cock Meat, Cock Meat Sandwich. What movie is that from? Man, big opportunity for big uh, for Rob. Um, uh, Almeida. Here is the fight, baby. It's about to go down. I got the clock ready to go. We hit 78,200 subscribers. Let's go, champs. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. Another another goalie goal over here on the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Biggie Boy being announced right now. Both guys are very scary. Never would want to be locked in a cage with either of these guys. Uh-oh. I think we got a winner in the chat. Very good, very good. It's not Full Metal Jacket, no. Good job, guys. You have good taste in movies.
The first Harold and Kumar is is it still holds up. It's still funny. Let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. Are we going to get Carnage? I mean, how do we not get Carnage in this fight? Guaranteed Mystic Moss seal of approval, seal of guarantee, I should say. Uh, Carnage will happen, and Almeida's giving him respect. Well, Almeida is just towering over Biggie Boy over here. And Biggie Boy's just thicker. He's got the girth. Okay, here we go. It's about to go down. Brazil against Suriname. You guys like the chat over here? You guys got prime real estate? What's that? That's a weird... You see that? It's like something... Oh, it's my wire. That's kind of... <laughs> Edible didn't even kick in yet. Oh, man. Rosenstrike is going in hot for the kill. And shooting him for the takedown is Almeida. Stuffed by Biggie Boy. Here we go. Yeah! Big boys! Let's go. 445 on the clock with number ra ninth ranked fighter Rosenstrike moving in on Almeida. Almeida bouncing in and out. Wide legs. Kicks forward with the right leg. Almeida bouncing back and forth and Rosenstrike moving in. Very slowly. Reluctant to go crazy. And Almeida trying to disguise the takedown. Gets it! Almeida gets it. Doubles and gets the takedown on Rosenstrike. Rosenstrike looks very weird on the ground. <laughs> I don't know why. It looks. It lo he looks odd. Being taken down. And Almeida just grabs two legs. He goes in with that right. Tries with the legs. There's a nice elbow from the bottom by Biggie Boy. And let's see if Almeida could do something with this. Almeida, you do not want Jelton Almeida on top. We talk best grapplers of heavyweight. We were talk talking about C Curtis Blades. Well, we might be seeing it here with Almeida. You got John Jones, a great grappler. Could you imagine Almeida versus John Jones? Oh, my goodness. So Almeida sitting on the leg, the left leg of Biggie Boy. Rosenstrike's not done, but he's 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 in a bad spot. Away from the cage, and Almeida's just slowly moving his way up the body of Rosenstrike. Almeida is trying to collect the head and arm. He might try to set up a Dar, so let's see what he does here. He's got a lot of options. He could move over to a mount, side control, Dars, whatever. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Almeida is just trying to get very high up on the heavier fighter. As Rosenstrike is trying to maneuver his way, he's kind of he's getting trying to get close to the cage. You can see him slowly sque squeezing, but Almeida has a left leg trapped between the legs of Rosenstrike. If that leg gets free, this could be big trouble for Suriname. I'm surprised Almeida is able to sit on top of him with that monster cock, but it got taken off. There's a knee to the body by Almeida, and Rosenstrike still trying to slowly move his way to the cage. They're placed right in front of the commentary team here, so they got a front row seat of the action as Almeida is just trying to solidify the body of Rosenstrike. Man, this kid is strong. Almeida is trying to release the leg be from between the legs of Rosenstrike. Rosenstrike doing a very good job locking up that left leg. If that leg was free, things would be very different right now. But Biggie Boy's got to get his ass up. So Jelton on top. He lands the takedown. The control time adding up. Not crazy damage from the top position yet. But now a knee comes into the body by Almeida. Ouch. To the rib cage of Biggie Boy. Man, Rosenstrike does not want to be here. <laughs> Rosenstrike trying to fight from the bottom. And Almeida still can't get the leg out from between the legs of Rosenstrike. Uh oh, it's slipping out. Oh, boy. That's a problem. The good news for Biggie Boy is he's got the cage there. It's making it very tough for Almeida to get anything going. But Almeida's slowly pulling him away from the cage. Now Biggie Boy scoots the body to the fence. And Almeida puts a hook in. Oh, man. Almeida's advancing. Now Rosenstrike goes back to the mat. And Almeida just quickly mounts him. Oh, here it comes. 130. And here comes the ground and pound. And Biggie Boy rolls over. And Almeida says, give me your neck. He's going to choke him right here. It's going to be a choke. And Biggie Boy's trying to fight it. Almeida's looking to take him out. That's a tap. That's a tap. It is over. Easy work. The best fighter in the UFC. The best fighter at heavyweight is here. He's here. He's here. He's fucking here. I picked Almeida's submission in the second round. He does it in the first. This guy is the truth. He's the truth. I'm sorry. You you can't stop this fucking guy. Jalton Almeida is legit. What a fight. 
Uh, what an easy performance. Just slowly fucking taking that neck. And oh my God, Almeida is just, he's the truth, man. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! This dude was submit Curtis Blades. This dude, this dude is, he's an animal. And what's crazy is he's not even like the biggest, like he's, t he's tall, but he's not like the heaviest heavyweight out there. Could you imagine if this guy, if this guy packs on more muscle? Like if it's even possible? Holy smokes, Brazil, you got yourself a fucking studded heavyweight. This dude coming into the UFC from the contender series, what was that? That was one year, seven months ago. Think about what this guy has done. Now, now listen, Biggie Boy is the biggest opponent that he has, he's faced. But the the amount of ground this guy made up in a year and seven months, contender series submission, knockout, submission, submission, knockout. Come on, dude. And now he just got another submission. Dude, stop it with this guy. This guy's a cheat code. That's what he is. He's a fucking cheat code. He's a massive problem. John Jones should fight Steve Bamiocic and then run for the fucking hills. No one wants this guy. Pavlovich Smavlovich. Although Pavlovich versus this guy. Dude, how can I see that? Pavlovich versus Almeida because Pavlovich got takedown defense and he's got heavy hands. He's got a chin. That's the fight. That's the fight to make. I'm chubbed up. I'm chubbed up thinking about that fight. But BBC took the loss. Almeida gets the win. What do you guys think in the chat? I mean, not surprised by that one at all. Oof, frozen strike. He took one for the team there to take that fight. What do you guys say? Almeida is dominant. Uh, he will make Pavlovich hesitate to make a mistake. I, I tell you what, Pavlovich got very good takedown defense. If it stays on the feet, Pavlovich is a mutant. You know? Um, Almeida versus Pavlovich is... I'm going to wait to see um, what Almeida has to say here. He doesn't speak English, but we'll get the translation. Good thing this fight was free. Well, you know what? You're going to see you're gonna see Almeida on pay-per-views very soon. You, you probably will never see this guy on a fight night ever again. And the UFC has got to be foaming at the mouth. A Brazilian star. 31 years of age. This fucking guy is scary. All right, I'm going to listen to the post-fight here. This guy's scary. Could you have expected it to go this good? I mean, his rise up. I mean, think about it. Dude, this guy's been finishing everyone from the contender series. He's doing this at heavyweight, and he's not just sparking people. He's fucking dragging them down and just breaking them. Let's go. He's absorbing the crowd right now. I hope he can learn English, man. Uncle Laev. Well, let him. Let him do. Uh, let him do some heavyweight stuff first. He's thanking for the the warm respect. I wonder if this guy. Oh man, imagine he packs more muscle on. Who's the oldest fighter in heavyweight? Uh, oldest at heavyweight. Uh, that's a good question. Hold on, let me look at the roster. Who's the whole oldest fighter at heavyweight? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, heavyweight. Jones is getting a Stipe. It's got to be Stipe. Yeah, I, I forgot Stipe is still fighting. Yeah, Stipe is what, 40? He's like 40 or 41 or some shit. Wonderful, wonderful. Biggie boy had a fat chance. I said IT. Watch Jones suddenly retire right before he has to fight this dude. Or he'll dodge Almeida the way Bisbing dodged Romero.
What is all right? Let me ask you in the chat. Thank you, D man. What is a tougher fight? So this guy doesn't speak English anyway. Uh, but what is a tougher fight for John Jones? Pavlovich, we might have recency bias, or Almeida. I mean, we have two guys here that you would think Jones doesn't want to fight. Could you imagine what Almeida? Imagine Almeida versus Ngannou. Like, why did Ngannou have to leave? Why? Why, man? Almeida's not even a massive... Like, he's tall, but he's not like a big... Like, he's... What was he, 235? Fucking hell. Gave up 30 pounds? And still took him down and made him his bitch? Almeida, Pavlovich. I, I actually think that's a very tough question. Pavlovich is so scary. He could stop takedowns, and he can take a punch, man. You, it's it's tough to starch that dude. And then you do. You have Tommy Aspinall. You can't, you can't keep him out of the equation. Tommy's there, too. Heavyweight has gotten... Thank God for this newer talent coming in. Heavyweight has gotten very interesting, and then John Jones getting in there. I mean, let's go. You can't dismiss gone, but after what John Jones did... After what John Jones did, I feel like Almeida wins. Pavlovich beats gone. I feel like um, I feel like Curtis Blade still beats gone. I'm gonna say it. I think he does. I think he grapples the fuck out of gone. But yeah, Jones. Yeah, Jones is gonna get in, get a quick bag, and get the fuck out if he's smart. As much as I would love to see John Jones go in there and uh, you know defend the belt a couple of times, that'd be great. But whoa, turn it off. Okay. Let's go to goat milk and see who won the goat milk. George Diaz, number 82. You're about to be on our scroll, baby. Congratulations. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wow. Ethan was very close. Yeah, George Diaz, 82. Ethan was right there with the 655 in points. So very nice job by George Diaz. Congratulations on a weird fight night during the day. I did very bad. I got the main event right, which is kind of cool. Um, my bets, you know, I was, I, I'm down 20 bucks, which is not terrible. It could be worse. Uh, let's see. Could be worse. So, oh boy, this might be one of my worst performances. Thank God it's an early card. I got one, two, three, four, five, right? Oh my God. Out of 11, almost 500, five out of 11. Anthony Smith, terrible. Rodriguez got smoked. So here's the fights that stand out to me on this card, and then we'll wrap this up. Almeida, of course, and and Ian Gary. See, Almeida, I, I see. But here's the thing. You can't quite crown Almeida yet. Like, I feel like he could be a champion, but at heavyweight, it's it's really tough, man. That Pavlovich is... That Pavlovich scares the hell out of me. I really want to see the fight between Almeida versus Pavlovich. I would love to see that thing. Um, So Pavlovich... I mean, Almeida, he's legit. Johnny Walker just did what he had to do to win. That killer instinct not there. It drives me nuts. Johnny Walker could be possibly mo the most frustrating fighter in the world. Anthony Smith, uh, come on, retire. Ian Gary, um, I mean, what can, you, what can you say bad about Ian Gary's performance? Nothing. He went in there and just starched Rodriguez. His striking is smooth, man, super smooth. Um, it seems like he's got fa uh, you know fairly decent takedown defense. I would like to see him... You know, fight some of the like Shavkots and these guys. Like, you, if he stuffs takedowns, dude, this guy might have the. He might be the next big striker at, at welterweight. Um, but he's very good. He's long, rangy. His fight IQ seems like it's getting better. So I, I did like what I saw there. Uh, Carlos Olberg. This is a bizarre, weird domination by Olberg. Uh, Ehor just like charges in and gets hit kind of in the back of the head and face first into the cage. Olberg with the finishing instinct. Weird stoppage. But Olberg, another scary striker to look out for. New Zealand style. Morono, uh, nice win over Means. He got that slick uh, guillotine choke. Um, and Means shoots him for the takedown and he gets it. A Morono. But what stands out, Matt Brown. Dude, Matt Brown looked old. And then fucking starches him with a right hook. So beautiful win for Brown. Chase Sherman, go away. Uh, DeSilva and Draj gets a unanimous decision. Who cares? Uh, Mandy Bohm quit. I, I, this, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about Mandy Bohm. I'm not even going to give her any attention. She'll probably be cut. Uh, Brian Battle with a crazy emotional win. 
Starts off the card um, after the Lisboa fight. But battle looked so good, man. Cracks him with a counter. He was patient against the cage. Almost like what Izzy did to Perea on Gabe Green. So very nice win. Bounce back for battle. And Jessica Rose Clark. Get away. Get away. Get back to OnlyFans. I don't know. Get away. A lot of things to talk about, actually, on this card. Weird card. I don't know how it rated. Out of 10... Super chat. Six five. Can you PLS search Riag Riag right now? He's good. Research Riag Riag? Who is that? Who is that? Let's say. Who is that? Thank you for the donation, man. Appreciate that. I never even heard of that. Research Riag Riag? Umar Riag Riag Kane. So he's from 1FC? Five and one. Oh, we've seen this guy fight. Yeah, yeah, I know who this guy is. This guy is like roided to the gills. I've seen this dude fight. Yeah, I've seen him. He's a scary dude. He's scary to look at, man. This guy is like, he's like an animal, man. Unanimous decision, ground and pound. Yeah, there's limited to talk about when it comes to mixed martial arts with him. But he's five and one, and he's a very scary looking human being. I know exactly who. We, we actually did a reaction to one of his fights. I do recall. Uh, thank you for the donation. Thank you very much. But yeah, what do you give it out of 10? I see a 4 out of 10. What do you give it? Uh, I'm going I'm going to be optimistic because there are some bright spot, spots from this card. It is free. If this is a pay-per-view, it would be different. But I'm going to give it a 6.5. I'll give it a 6.5. Uh, let me know in the chat. What do you get? Give this card out of 10 if you consumed it with us. D-Rod Tang. A 6. A four, a 5.5 out of 10. Six is fair, says the sausage. 5.6 out of 10. Don't hit him, bully you, son. Shout out to Leon Ed Edwards, the family, doing well. Uh, 6.869. 4.3. Okay, so we're like a middle ish. Where we are. Okay. I think the chat fell asleep. It's okay. It's a long stream. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thank you for the donations. And let's celebrate. Speaking of donations, the man who came in, man or I'm not sure. It's Boxing History Made, who hit the top dog and he did it twice, baby. Dog. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Top dog. 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 Come on. Congratulations, Tom Fook and Dog with the photo nah, 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 nah. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, especially the, the gifted memberships that came in tonight. Uh, crazy stuff. I want to thank uh, the Photoshop team for the UFC taking uh, out the dick. There was just too much dick on this card. So I'm, thank you, UFC, for doing that for us. Uh, thank you to the chat for hitting the like button. And uh, give me your thoughts down below in the comments section. I know it's very tricky to find those comments, but if you could spoon us. I like the love, man. I like the love. Hit the comment section. Uh, give me your thoughts on the fights that happened tonight. Do you think Ian Gary's the real deal? Uh, Almeida, very special performance over there. Um, just so many things to talk about. Uh, Jessica Rose Clark, you still going to beat off to her? I don't know. But spoon me in the comments afterwards. Thank you for stopping by once again. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever it is, and don't be an a-hole. Be an MMA-hole. Yeah!